You're begging to get a real fucking job. It's the money, stupid fuck. I love it. Go, 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 go. I e-bag. Hell! It's been tough. I always think that it's my fault. Drinking gin. Yep, I'm toxic. I love Hulk Hogan's dick. My ass is so fucking stretched. Oh no, you did it, you motherfucking piece of shit cocksucker. Mark my fucking son. I'm coming for you. No. Hello, everyone. Gout, 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 gout. Say it again. Pieces of dumb fucking shit. Slurs. Why am I toxic? I love it. Hello, everybody. Hello. This is the new song. You can go listen to it. The uh, link is in chat. Big ups, everyone, today for the the pre-festive chill, the pre-holiday chill. <laughs> it is actually the holidays, isn't it? Let's go back to, to the carried individual. Hey, we came back in time just for Mustang. Carry done. 2014 Mustang, 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 red, 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 with a black racing stripe. B6. It's a B6. Driving in the Mustang. Bitches don't give a fuck. They do something my dick. Driving in the Mustang. Bitches don't give a fuck, they just suck in my dick Driving in my Mustang Driving in my Mustang It's a V6 Driving in my Mustang Driving in my Mustang It's a V6 Biggest bitch in my car I'm fucking a porn star In my car I'm fucking a porn star I'm fucking fucking a porn star yeah, I think once I played the What Does the Pig Say? Hey Santa, stop smoking that doobie in my chat. Stop it, dude. It's fucking illegal. I'm not afraid of salvage title. I'm not afraid of blade tossing it all. I'm not afraid of 1D1 and no bar. You gotta give Santa edibles, dude. <laughs> Get Santa baked. <laughs> when Santa is baked, the elves are just fucking around. Playing League of Legends. Bitches don't give a fuck. They just suck in my dick. Driving in my Mustang. Driving in my Mustang. It's a V6. Driving in my Mustang. By the way, because it's super festive, uh, we're gonna be watching his video from 2017, his Christmas theme chill. But first we're gonna watch the one from 2020, to know exactly what expects us tomorrow. The only difference is that this year is 2021, the number is bigger, and it's gonna be the same shit. And he's gonna play Skyrim, it's gonna be awesome. Content control. Oh yeah, this one is cool. This is a cool one. Cherry diamond. Cherry diamond. Cherry diamond. You open. Oh. If DSP saw Cat on a detractor stream, wow! Imagine. <laughs> that would be sweet. Hey, what's up, King Jed? What's up, 
with Albert Cole. We haven't played a pistol grip yet. But after this, I'm gonna play something that comes out tomorrow. Whoa! And of course, he says the N word already. Hey, what's up, Storm Martin? A little bit more music, and then we're going. <laughs> All right, let's let's get into the the new style stuff. The topic I want to discuss is depression. Depression, depression. is not a joke. It's not something to be joked about. When you are not alone. You are not a horrible person because you have this. It's not your fault. There's still this coming out tomorrow. And it's still in the back of my neck, the back of my head. Where did you go, Kerry Diamond? Here it is. It's WWE Champions time. Um, over the last decade, it has. It's been tough. It's been tough. Over the last decade, it has. It's been tough. It's been tough. Um, Bill's a beggar. Bill's fat. Bill's a loser. It's been tough. Bill's a faggot. Bill's fat. Bill's a loser. Bill's a beggar. It's been tough. Bill's a beggar. Bill's fat. Bill's a loser. It's been tough. Bill's a faggot. Bill's I'm gonna give you a shout out after this song. Bill's a beggar. Super Meat Boy is in the stream chat, whining and complaining. Say that I never talk to anyone unless they tip me or they send me money, which is completely false. All he's been doing is sitting there all night complaining that he's depressed and no one cares. And everyone's basically ignoring him because you're like, dude, we just don't care. You know, you come in, the first thing you say is you're depressed. And what are we supposed to say to that? Now he expects that I'm going to derail the whole stream to talk to him live. So let's do it. Super Meat Boy, how you doing? You're really depressed tonight, huh? You're really depressed. Hey, big ups to Scumbag Josh for the super chat. Merry Christmas, everyone. Hope you have all been good or Santa will fill your stockings with gout. Gout, 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 gout. Uh, big ups to Scumbag Josh. My stream Let's go to the next one. Is, 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 uh, the company's name is Burnell Productions. It is internet content creation of on-demand and also live video streaming services. Big ups to your dad. I'm the one who operated a successful YouTube channel. Please tip me. I'm the one who operated a successful YouTube channel. Because I have bills coming up. Please pay my bills. Please. Draft for cash. You better take a sale, sale, sale. Please pay my Please. bills. I'm nervous. Draft for cash. Get a real fucking job. I'm the one who operated a successful YouTube channel. Please tip me. I'm the one who operated a successful YouTube channel. Because I have bills coming up. They fucked me again, left and right, and my ass is so fucking stretched out at this point. It's time to push back. It's time to push back. I'm the one who operated a successful YouTube channel. Please tip me. I'm the one who operated a successful YouTube channel. Because I have bills coming up. I've never, ever used a hateful slur. Ever. That pisses me off. Yeah, I wanna watch some baggy. So some coma. Bill's a nigger. You better take a sip. <laughs> you better take a sip. Fifteen tip, ten dollars. Gout. Gout, 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 gout. You know what it is. Big ups, FIFO for the tip. And Ryan thirty three for super chat says, uh, "Can I be a mod? I promise I'll dox all the trolls." <laughs> Dude, you know this shit is for fucking behind the scenes. Can't be giving me money in the front of the scenes. 
<laughs> you already know what this is. Okay, let's get into the actual uh, truth of the matter. Let's start first with a pre-stream to the previous year's Christmas special. I'm gonna skip through the garbage because trust me, there is plenty. Let me get the Christmas music back up. Best of chill piano vibes. Peter Joe's. I've never had Feeling Peter like Joe's we're in a uh, yes, I don't know what some it's jazz bar where they watch weird people on the internet. Gonna taste like. All right, he's gonna talk about food. He's gonna talk about games. He's gonna talk about festivity, generosity, and, and all the other good stuff. Let me change the layout. All right, we're back. Hello, everybody. Welcome to the stream. And uh, yeah, let's let's get going. Let's get lit. Let's get lit. And this is the, the lit hat wasn't there apparently, but okay. Let's start with this. All right, good morning, everybody. How's everyone doing? And he's quiet. Welcome, welcome. Actually, That's my great. camera. I think my camera is pointed too too low for this right now. We should aim it a little bit higher up. Yes, I am wearing my nice Zelda Zelda pants for today's holiday event. <laughs> what's hey, going what's on? up, Mandy? <clears throat> uh, that's true. If I skip through all the garbage, then we're not gonna be watching anything. But garbage is kind of in in the case of his videos, it's kind of relative because all of it is garbage. Oh, after this, we get a an unrecorded GTA 3 segment. <laughs> Great fucking gameplay. Great gameplay on that stream. Still here, Great fucking gameplay. To the Christmas 2020 marathon event. <clears throat> marathon that event. Right. Once a year. I sit down and I get festive with all of you. Not to say that we haven't sit had down and I get festive. Decorations, the special <laughs> pop-up awesome. messages, and everything going on. But today, we just have a good time. It's not about ongoing playthroughs. It's not about being serious. It's about just kind of messing around and getting into the holiday spirit. You know, Christmas is in only two days. Today is the twenty-third of December, twenty twenty, and. <clears throat> It's great once a year to kind of just have a good time with all of you, reminisce, hang out, have some fun conversations, all right. and play a variety of games while... Variety you know, of games. Stuff like I wonder drinks. what he played. <laughs> Which by Let's see, actually, while by he's way, talking. I want to look up if there's drink. some edit, because this by itself is, like, I have long. no desire to start drinking yet. What no desire to drink is, yet, though. Uh, get set up, and once I start actually playing video games after this pre-stream, uh, then I will begin to drink. Um, I'll tell you all about that in just a moment because I'm going to tell you all the plans for today and everything. It's so and, weird. Um, and everything we're playing. It's so before. weird that... Oh, he played the AVGN game. The Angry Video Game Nerd game. He played that. Oh, right, no. Just so you know. Depression. <laughs> the guy so, who uh, inspired well, everyone, him. Allegedly or something. Doing well. You know, it's Christmas week. Uh, a couple days before... Oh, Christmas Minecraft. Week. He played okay. fucking Minecraft. Gonna and have Call of Duty you know, Black very, Ops very, Cold War very multiplayer. Year this year. That was uh, disaster. Pandemic and everything going on. Oh, pandemic. Really okay, he suffered. He suffered, guys. List it up. He suffered last year. Are going to stay safe and not going to take the risk of doing giant gatherings. And, you know, we have so many problems in the world right now. United States only recently getting a little bit of hope from these vaccines that are only being administered basically to the frontline employees and those who are so much at risk. Uh, either in the healthcare industry or those who are like in, in, in old people's homes and stuff like that. You know what I mean? Um, so because of that, at least things may get better in the long term, but I know many of us this year are not actually... Okay, this is a fucking... <laughs> this, is, this is worthless. All right. <laughs> All right. With, I hope you have All a good right. time. I hope you have a good that. time. On my stream is giving me money. <laughs> you know, I can't obviously Forgot to say this. Viewers, but I'm happy to do special Christmas events like this. Wow. So Great. You know, we can kind of have a good time together. Uh, this year, I have been privileged to be able to entertain you at a time when many other people were out of work and at a time when many other things became very inconsistent. I was able to still be consistent. Yeah, consistently terrible with the fucking garbage content <laughs> in a year where society collapsed. One pig was consistent. Fucking it's epic. An this guy is so fucking great. Thing. And boy, did you guys reciprocate with the pop But if you haven't seen the pattern already, every year it starts out as the previous year was both good and bad. And, and the bad parts are because the trolls fucked with him or YouTube fucked with him. But every year in the end of the year, it was a good one. It was good, man. And then he complains all year and then it goes back to it being good positivity and the support Sounds this year. very it was one hell of a positive year for me on my streams Still? and everything kind I of guess. around when we came to public opinion and all kinds of stuff um 
So thank you guys very much for that. I really do appreciate that. And I certainly hope that you guys will enjoy today's special event. All right. Most definitely. So oh, wait, is he going to eat food on the stream? If he doesn't eat food, then we can just tell him to fuck off. Because it just... I'm scrolling through the timeline and it's just a bunch of waving his hands around and looking at chat. Let's see the, the pre-stream, the actual post-stream from yesterday. So from what, because I didn't watch this live, I watched uh, maybe after, until after the break. And he was sitting on like 37, 34 dollars, something like that. And then he, at this point, he decided to stop playing the game. He was bored. So let him explain himself. This is unrecorded, by the way. This was a stream exclusive. And of course, Ann Lee collects all of those uh, unrecorded segments. He, it's like Pokemon for him. And uh, he brings all of them to us. Uh, which, these unrecorded segments, they're some of the best DSP content you can get. And this is at the very end of the stream. Stalling for tips. And all right, guys, you'll I, see. You'll see. Know, Let's just see. hang out for a little bit and talk. I was just bored. I was like, you know, I got to the point where I'm like, I'm turboing through the game so fast. I just didn't want to play it anymore. You got bored on the very first stream on the premiere. I probably, you know, just what I just did there, right? The three hours we played today was probably five to six hours of the original playthrough. I remember the fails and everything taking much longer. You know what I'm saying? So I was like, dude, if I do another two missions, I'll, I'll fucking beat the okay, whole game okay, in okay. one sitting. Oh. And uh, my prediction, and also a bunch of other people as well predicted this, that by the time he gets to GTA 3, it's going to be critical mass of toxicity. Toxicity. It's going to be so fucking toxic. Because you already played two GTAs, they were glitchy or whatever, broken, but they were easier than original, so not a lot of rage. But with this one, and the tips have dried up, man. For some reason, I don't know why, people aren't contributing. So, anything else you guys want to talk about or chill or, you know, it's up to you. Um, I'm in no rush. At the same time, if you guys are bored, we can just take a break. Remember, tonight, Lost Judgment, 6.45 p.m. Pacific time. We're finally finishing the school stories and seeing the ending. And Yeah, let's I'll see the ending. Suggested, I'll turn off the hiding of the likes and dislikes, and I guess we'll see huh? what you guys can see on the stream. Okay? What? What, what was that gimmick? I don't remember the hiding of the dislikes and the likes to be some kind of a gimmick with him, but let's see. Yeah, Chicken Man says this game is super easy. I don't know what that Darkness gimmick version. is. Darkness says, yeah, the game isn't very exciting anymore. Yeah. Shh. What's for dinner? Do you actually want to know? Oh, dinner no, today, not this. Breakfast for dinner. Oh, of course Waffles, they are. Strawberries and eggs. Strawberries. So a couple fried eggs over easy. And then toast some waffles with some nice. butter. Nice. So and, uh, super low and effort. And have a few strawberries with it. That's what we're Epic. having for dinner. We, just, we ran out of dinners. We're like, well, we'll just have a big... They breakfast. ran out of dinners in the freezer, probably. Because they don't they don't cook fresh food. That's the thing with DSP. He, he explains to you how much they, they like to cook and how long it takes him to wash the dishes and to cook and make themselves a meal. These motherfuckers, they cook like people that are on kitchen nightmares. And Gordon Ramsay goes there and he figures out that everything they cook is straight from the freezer. And it's just warmed up in a microwave. And then they continue to explain how their food is the best in town. And it's very chill and interactive. My wife's not home. She's at work. So I'm just going to make it and then she's going to come home. It's just food. freezer food. And, and some pastas that are, that are like already made from the store. Did they deliberately make it easier, says Mola Viking? See, here's the thing. And this is exactly what we talked about with San Andreas. When they were making the definitive edition, they added in checkpoints. They added in things that made the missions easier. The cars don't blow up as easy, right? And these missions were infamously you'd be hunted down by a bunch of gang members or cops. All of a sudden, there's a few, but not too many, right? They made it way easier in that regard so that people who didn't play the classics, okay, could still play them and find these accessible. But if you play... Okay, frozen food is not interactive, but it is chill. By definition of being frozen, it is chill. The classic, essentially, you could still have fun. Frozen food is chill. Factor, right? <clears throat> but what happens when the, you play the classic and you're you're basically um, at a situation where you want that original experience again? Like, for example, do you remember what? when we first started playing San Andreas and we did the infamous train mission? I beat it on hey, the thanks, first time, zero problems because they <laughs> improved the AI shooting, so there was nothing challenging. 
Big Smoke just took everyone off the train easily. Done. We didn't even get through the tunnel to hear all the dialogue and the, there were jumps and stuff coming up. None of it happened. We skipped it all because the mission ended in like 10 seconds. Remember? So that's kind of the similar situation here. When you make it easier and more accessible for the for the people who didn't play the originals, okay, that's great. But then you kind of ruin the game experience for those who did and want to relive those experiences. What? You know? Dude, this is this is a nonsense fucking complaint. It's such a nonsense complaint because it's a very old game and they tried to modernize it because it it is so old that it's kind of unfair at some points because nowadays all the games are more simplified because of course it's a it's a bigger mass of people that are playing them but come on it's an old game they just kind of made it newer and with optimizing the mechanics comes a drop in difficulty because it's just when it's more polished it's just less difficult but yeah, the original experience, he's acting like it's something really completely different to its core than what it is today, which is really not. Just maybe a couple of missions are a little bit different. And you can actually finish the train mission in San Andreas as, as it was intended. So and not uh, I definitely feel like it's, I disappoint feel like Big Smoke. It was too easy. I absolutely feel that. Like, I've, I've coasted through a lot of the things. I feel like Cat was way fun, too easy. And it took a lot of the charm out of the playthroughs. At the very same time, having the music back in the playthroughs was a huge boon. People liked that. Oh, yeah, the music, of course. No, see, and you're you're right. Mullah Viking says it's weird they did not include a classic mode. They didn't care. They really didn't care. You could tell... Classic mode? ...was not... They didn't put a ton of time and effort into it. Bill, you were dick riding it immediately after it came out he was actually praising it to a, a very very silly extent where he didn't even get the the whole impression of it yet uh, he was even praising it before he actually played it because he was really hoping to cash in on it and then it turned out that the game that he hoped would make his november i think was the november it would save november and whenever it came out but it uh, actually kind of didn't Basically did a, an upgrade of graphics, tweaked a few little things here or there to make it more accessible, and that was it. <laughs> they didn't really put a lot of time into it. Zebra says, which urine series are first? It's always, it always, oh, hold on, I'm stretching my legs. Ooh, it always goes with the- The uh, first urine series is the top 10 worst DSP moments of uh, 2021. That's the first. And then you can do af anything you want after that. Countdown and then the game of the year. What I would like to do this year is possibly whoa do yeah you can set a new year's uh, resolution to not burp on the in the microphone anymore you can try that in one stream come on it's a daytime stream it's like so fucking bizarre it's so bizarre that he allows himself to burp like that and act like an animal it confuses me to, to such an incredible extent because you know nowadays uh, depending on where you work you can have online meetings instead of normal meetings and it's just the shit he's doing there. He's just sitting in front of a camera and talking, which is a very human thing to do. And then the people that usually do that try and make themselves not snort or burp or belch in the camera. But he doesn't give a fuck. He genuinely doesn't care. It confuses me so much every time. So unprofessional. It's so unprofessional. So the one stream will be the year end, the year end series. The first half of the yeah, stream. Big up Spurt Cobain. Countdown. The second half will be the Game of the Year awards for me. All right. But again, I can't do that until I beat Lost Judgment, which is what I'm trying to do. Okay. <clears throat> Carlin Jr. says, has my opinion of the collection changed at all? You're you were dismissive of the criticism at first. It's, uh, my opinion is the same. My opinion hasn't changed. This collection isn't anything amazingly special. At the same time, it's not the worst collection ever made. It's not the, a terrible game. You know, people, oh, this is cyberpunk. If you said no. this is Cyberpunk 2077, no. you're actually a dishonest jackass. Yeah, no, no, for drama. no. This game is nowhere near uh, the vicinity. No, no, Phil. Uh, first of all, you're stupid. And second of all, he read exactly what I read on Twitter. And I'm, I'm going to tell you honestly, I read an article that said, of course, you get those Polygon, Kotaku, clickbait shit. And basically they said the the gta trilogy definitive edition is so flawed it's so glitchy and clunky and has issues that people are comparing it the the way it came out and the reaction that the community got they're comparing it to cyberpunk that's what the the comparison is 
the reaction of the crowd when the game came out. It's not how broken it is or how glitchy it is. It it really isn't. Because it's a completely it's it's uh apples and oranges comparisons, man. It's completely different. Key of cyber because you have on one hand three games that came out 15 years ago and you have one game that came out a year ago or a year and a half or whatever it's been so far. It's completely fundamentally different in, in every facet. And he picks somebody on Twitter that said something dumb while they were taking a shit and is making a big segment about it. Punk in levels of fucked up in this. Yes, there levels were, of fucked up in this. The graphics were kind of messed up. The graphics ended up patching and fixing some of the weird things like the rain. Like what? And shit. It's fine now. Hey, right? yeah, the, the rain. Now, what about the fog? We're seeing the fag is the draw distance changed a little weird, especially for San Andreas when you're flying around. And also the fact that when they made it more easy and more accessible, it kind of ruins the classic experience of what the game was intended to be at the beginning. No, no. Easy and accessible are very different things. Okay. I know what he means, but again, uh, there are the two terms that are difficulty and accessibility that are different terms. That it's still a nice collection for $60. And he should know this because he's a professional game critic and experienced gamer with 13 years of professional experience and still confuses difficulty and accessibility because he's the guy. Games, yeah, I like the graphical overhaul. I would actually say the graphics look much better in Vice City and in GTA 3 because those games actually look like shit. San Andreas, they had actually upgraded the engine multiple times. So when San Andreas <laughs> came out on PS2, it didn't actually look that bad. But these uh, games, I mean, this game looks like dude. I mean, I, I don't think upgraded the engine is, is what they did, but okay. It's terrible. Okay, but let's let's say it in, in Phil's language. Let's say standards. And now that's what happened. Decent, you know? So no, I don't hate this trilogy. And no, my trilogy didn't change. It's just that most people were so fucking polarized to the point oh, where okay. like, oh, the worst game I've ever seen. Oh. No, no. What, look, man, come on. Now, if I go on Twitter and I find someone that says something completely outrageous, some, some flat earth kind of guy, and I come on my stream and I start ranting about him, I think I would be the stupid guy because I give this one person on Twitter that there's not even any proof of them that they were legit in what they said. They might have been just shit posting. Because come on, we all know what Twitter is about. And this guy just gives those people so much attention. Why? They ripped everyone off. Oh, the cyberpunk yeah. is here. And it's not at all. It's not even cool. Well, that's a, first of all, the cyberpunk of this year is a buzzword. It's a clickbait title that you put in an article of your journalism magazine to get a couple of clicks. And you do this alongside with some uh, weird thumbnail that is also clickbait. So this is nothing new. It's nothing new. Every year a game comes out that gets called the something of this year. It, it used to be the Fallout 76 of this year. So Cyberpunk was the Fallout 76 of last year. Basically. And now GTA is the Cyberpunk of this year. It's, it's just a fucking... Like, it's a thing, man. It's like, whatever. But he cares so much about what other people think on Twitter, which is very uh, a bad practice and a bad thing to do because people on Twitter think all kinds of stuff. And if you care about what all of them say or uh, groups of them say, you're never going to be happy. You're always going to be salty like this guy who can always find someone to hate on on Twitter, which is silly. Just have fucking fun, man. Close to being that situation. King Verbs says he got Cyberpunk for $10. He feels like he got ripped off. No, that's a, that's that's straight up a bad take because the game will eventually be in a good state on some uh, on some platform. Probably not on the base PS4, probably not on the base Xbox One, but at some point it will be playable and it will be enjoyable. But uh, of course, that's going to be in some time. And I think now if you pick it up for like $10, you're going to make an investment that even if they don't end up fixing the game, you can still give it a try. And for $10, it's way worth it. A good way to judge a game is when you're playing it. Let's say it takes you 40 hours to beat. In those 40 hours you played it, how many hours were you actually having a lot of fun? That's when you play a game and you have a lot of fun. You don't think about how many hours you have fun for. You just have fun. You just kind of have fun. You don't make calculations and weird fucking decisions. If you think a game is going to you're going to have fun with it, of course, Go and look up if you're probably going to like it before buying it. Otherwise, you might end up with something you're not going to play. But anyways, if you're enjoying it, you're not going to be looking up how long of this time you enjoyed. Maybe like 
for me with Death Stranding, for example, the last three hours I can say I didn't enjoy because I thought it was not good. But the rest of the game I enjoyed. So there you go. I guess That's why you actually should be judging video games these days. Not oh the graphic level and this blah blah. How many? How he always he always talks about the graphics first. He's such a oh my god, so basic man. He's such a basic fucking gamer. And what makes it worse is the WWE Champion stuff, because that's the most basic a game can get. Did you have fun? When I was playing Cyberpunk... Did you have fun? No exaggeration, probably about 10 to 15% of the time I played it, I had fun. And 85% of the time I was like, this mission sucks, this combat sucks, the game's glitching. You know what I mean? I was bored. It, it was terrible. I was like, wow, I, I played... Okay, fair games. enough. Better and more fun than this one. Okay. So. Yeah. Uh, What? <laughs> okay, I'm not even going to be talking about this point. I've played other games that are so much better than this one because he bought into the hype that this game will be the best game that will ever come out. Ever. And and it comes out and it's like, dude, it's not the best game. What? It sucks. But yeah, it's it it's it wasn't good. Come on. Chicken Man says, I feel like once they realized they had the delay, Grand Theft Auto 5 for the PS5, the Series X, which I bet was coming out. This November, that was because with Cyberpunk, before I refunded it after about 10 hours and maybe 15 crashes, uh, I had maybe a two hour span of genuinely having the time of my life in gaming. It was amazing, it was great for two hours. Uh, within which there were several crashes, some bugs, some missions that glitched that were unable to actually be completed because of how glitched they are. So, yeah, basically, it all ended in a uninstall. Like Delor. Uninstall. It was delayed and they had this to fill Basically. it in. No, you're right, because this is exactly how these co uh, companies operate. Hello, Renee. Um, they project, oh, a certain amount of money we're going to make for a fiscal quarter or whatever, right? So they probably projected that originally they were going to have GTA 5's next-gen editions ready for the end of the year, and then they didn't. So they had to release something to make sales for their fiscal quarter. So they pushed out um, this... this uh, you know, very it's possible. It is possible. Definitive edition. Yeah, there is no there. There is actually no reason and no excuse why why the game should be as unoptimized as it is. Uh, a game from 15 years ago. I mean, three games from more than 15 years ago. Streams, I do there is no reason. Every day. No excuse. They should be running day. on an the iPad. Podcast, and we interact during every game I play. So. Uh, Oh my goodness. I'm doing one this Friday. I'm doing Ask the King this Friday. Speaking yeah, of Ask the King on it, Friday. So that's Ask after Christmas. King. Right after Christmas, yeah, it's going to be Ask the King. Ask the King in the stream chat. I'll bring up the link. The more questions I have for the Christmas Eve edition of Ask the King, the better the show is going to be. So please do. Yeah, the show is going to be fantastic. <laughs> He's going to be talking about trolls again to and having to protect his family or something. And stalling for tips. Look at this. Stalling for fucking tips. Carlton Jr. says, I find it weird. For some reason, people, people didn't show up. Don't want games or gameplay. And then on the flip side of that, when I'm doing the pre-stream podcast. Maybe. Talking, How about you let people come to your stream for any reason that they want to, as long as they're enjoying themselves. And the reason is, of course, within, you know, the, the, the reasonable, uh, you know what I mean. So, yeah, if they're there to troll and be toxic, then get them out of here. But. Yeah, just let people be on the stream and don't care about if they want to watch the game or whatever. Because it's not their business to care about the game or to talk about the game or to talk about Phil. It really isn't anybody's business. But Burnell Productions, actually. We got people who come and just complain constantly, where's the game? Even okay. though it says right yeah. on the fucking stream, this is a podcast. They don't okay. listen. They don't listen. Do they have to listen? They don't have to listen. That's the thing. Oh, yeah. Mola Viking says, do you think if they Bruh. called the GTA remake instead of Definitive Edition, it would have been more honest? Of course. It's not a remake. It's not a remake. They would have lied even more than now because now they lied a lot with the Definitive Edition while mods exist that are more definitive than this. And it's not a remake. It's just polishing up some iPhone port from a million years ago. Some mobile port. What is I don't know if it's about this iPhone edition? or something, but it's Most it's the mobile shit. Issues that people complained about in the original games are still present, not fixed, right? Okay. They tweak certain missions to make them easier, but not others. The auto the checkpoints don't really work as, as intended. Well, oh, checkpoint. Okay, start from the beginning of the mission, but then I still have to drive across the entire map to do the mission because the mission started talking to this person, but the mission's actually over here. So what was the point of the checkpoint? 
There's none. Um, there's just a lot of things that are shortcomings. And the thing is, what they should have done is they should have left the originals saleable. Why did they take down the fuck? Yeah, that was a bad move as well. That was dumb. Force people to buy this version if they didn't, if they wanted to play the game. That doesn't make any sense. But on the other hand, they want. On the other hand, it's games from a million years ago. If you really like them, you probably had them and you bought them for like two dollars when it was on sale, and you know you have them. Uh, but yeah, it's not a good practice to remove it and then put out a pro a product that sucks. Because I get it, if if it was a good definitive edition, then no issues, no problems. Even though the I think still the classic games should be available for sale. I, I don't see why not. If they wanted to buy this version... Of course, they want more money, money, that's why not, but don't yeah. Don't fucking force them. It's so dumb. <clears throat> Brunel? Is he gonna start begging for tips at this point? <sighs> no, I'm not uploading pre-stream podcast to iTunes and Spotify. It's Why not? It's, it's oh my god, it's too much to work. Imagine if 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 DSP was on uh, music streaming services, he would beg you to to leave him on to play overnight so he can get more plays. I bet my ass on this a thousand percent. Like LTG, um, I bet on this. He's gonna be begging you. Please go and look up the Hateful Truth podcast on. Uh, Spotify and Tidal, leave it on overnight so it can make a lot of streams. And also it's not a lot of work. It actually isn't almost any work because I've done it in my freelance job. So yeah, it's pretty chill. I spend so much time doing what I do. I it's don't really nothing it. special. You just go to a page and you put your file there and you write the name of the episode and you put a cover for the, the show and that's it. You win. All my content is here on DSP Gaming. This is where you get the content. Yeah, fuck branching out in any way. <laughs> fuck it. Burnell? Begging time? For some reason. Anything else, guys? Everything is slow. Oh, anything else, guys? You could have been playing the game right now. You know that. You know that, Philly boy. Timothy Daubery, Daubery says the pre stream podcast is confusing. The YouTube stream has the game title. How is it in confusing? It. Don't see to see your overlay. Why? The f How are these people fucking confused? What kind of people are confused by this? It's very fucking simple. It's very simple. Well, here's the problem. The problem it's is very simple. It just sucks. And he he confuses you with all the the pig explanation that he gives you. He confuses the fuck out of you. And a lot of it exists. A lot of this uh, meandering and rambling exists solely to confuse you. So you don't question anything because you're too confused and you don't know what's happening. If I did and it works because the person that just left him this uh, this message, maybe he's a troll, though. But um, yeah, they were confused. It so it worked. For example, I just named it the pre-stream podcast, the stream. Then no the one, stream. Would, everyone complained, and no one said, "Oh, I didn't know you were playing a game today." Oh my See? god! The whole point is that it's a the guy that plays games six days a week, and you're gonna show up and see that it doesn't say he's playing a game, and you would assume he's not playing a game today for for the reason that it says something different. Lead into the game, so people would know. All right, you can just update your stream title when you're done with the podcast. I don't get this this nonsense, man. Because he makes all these small problems that could be fixed in like two minutes, but instead he wants to talk about it for five, about how he can't fix it. And the problem still exists. Coming. If I if I say pre-stream podcast, I change the name of it. Oh, here's the game or whatever. YouTube doesn't even send out a second notification. Okay, say, why would it? The game. Well, the why would they want to even do that? It's, it, in reality, what you're saying would be... Because DSP is assuming that People only are subscribed to him. Imagine if you were following five guys that streamed all the time and they were changing his, their title or whatever. It would spam your ass off. Makes sense. If YouTube worked better, if YouTube had something that's... Yeah, if, if, if something else was better. But let me put in the actual bare minimum amount of effort that I physically can towards my job. My job. You know, refresh the stream so now people know that you've changed to the game. I would love that. They yeah, this is just nonsense. It means nothing. Completely pointless discussion of nothing.
because he's not discussing the solution to his problem he's just complaining about the problem and blaming it on somebody else which as we know always fixes especially his problems occasion saying i'm playing that game <clears throat> Zen Shuriken, there's no chance I'm ever trying Tekken again. He said, what would it take for you to try Tekken? Not again? Tekken. Nothing, I'm not doing Why it. Why is Tekken toxified? We're, we're too far into it now. We're so many years into Tekken 7. For what? me to go back into it would be impossible. Oh, yeah, because now he's going to be trash. The game, they know like everything about the, the game. game. This this guy fucking sucks. Constant Even though it is like that, but it's... He he elevates these small excuses to like an art form. The time to dedicate to... to he is that guy. Or learn the engine or whatever, so... Oh, I can't do this. I can't play this video game. I cannot play it. Because of this and this and this excuse. That somehow makes sense. Sound good? Okay. All right, okay. guys. I'm going to take off and have dinner. I'm going to upload these videos as well. Yeah, please take so off. Like you're a you member of the Migos. Nice stream. It really was. Yes, it sings. Oh, see? I was going to say it was a terrible stream because... Uh, it took oh, yeah. <laughs> this is also what he does all the time. He knows instantly what we're going to say. Because, obviously, he didn't make the money. He knows himself he didn't make the money. It's a failure of a stream. For him, it is. Didn't even hit the tier one. And he knows that if he starts begging, everybody's gonna get super toxified, right? The trolls are gonna be out for blood. And instead of that, he sees what the trolls will say, and he's, he's already prepared the argument for this. You see, I didn't say it's a slow stream. It was an amazing stream. It was the best stream I've ever had, dude. Great stream. I actually had a really good time today, okay? Um, tonight, Lost Judgment, 6.45 p.m. Pacific time. Finally, the finale of the school story stuff. I hope yeah, you, fuck yeah. you can. Remember, <laughs> the I'm not school here tomorrow, story stuff. I'm back for my big Christmas marathon. Yeah, today Thursday. is tomorrow. Certainly, I hope if you can be here for the Christmas marathon, do because there's three great games, fun festivities, drinking, food, everything. It's going to be a great food. time. Food? Right, oh, guys? yeah, food, yeah. Nice All right. Thank you. I hope Delicious. to see you tonight let's see this the 2017 story because 2021 is just a fucking pre-stream but here there is drama 2020 uh, 2017 you guys remember a lot of begging massive as it says in the title tax nightmare this is how you he determines it so yeah let's get into it all right ladies and gentlemen welcome back to part two of my christmas day and and back then maybe he's sick at the time but he sounds sick as fuck but his voice still has some life to it. A IRL uh, event. What I'm doing is basically recapping the events of 2017 for you, so you know exactly how my IRL life went. event. The most tumultuous year of my 35 year life. Um, 35 again, I years. Say, hey. Those who have Shout out to when he was only 35 years. Now he's 39, going on 65. You're subbed and tipped. An update. We are now. Hey, big ups, uh, Sindera, for becoming a mature adult member. Great, dude. That's awesome. The 322 subscribers, the most I've ever had on my Twitch channel, a record right now. So, a record, thank dude. You very much, hey, guys. that Twitch channel. Think about the Twitch channel. It's super successful, especially nowadays. Everyone loves uh, the dark side filled Twitch channel in 2021. For your support. Seriously, again, if that tip from before was was real, wow. If, if that thank tip you. was real, thank you. A couple quick shout outs to do <clears throat> in order to, before we continue here. Yolo Dopper did a 10 bit cheer and he says, Do you think that the trolls had a bigger effect on your relationship or was it the financial situation? Um, yeah, it was the financial situation. Let me just answer this before the, the 30 minute preamble. Hey, big ups, Kirk, for uh, becoming a children member. That's great. Chill Dren. Big ups. By the way, I'm going to be sipping on hot tea. Yeah. My throat. So, yeah, no, it was uh, the finances fault. It was the finances fault, not Tevin's fault. Now, for Kat, it might be Tevin's fault. Um, Honestly, both. Because you both. guys realize it's the same. But, of course, it has to be both because uh, he's a victim. You you get it? Cyberbullying and everything? The trolls caused the financial situation. The like the when I moved out in 2014, it. it was a disruption in the chill, dude. I was making a certain trolls amount of money. It. Okay, a certain yes, amount of money. Now, hey, when YouTube changed all their algorithms and they got a certain amount of money in debt, my videos stopped showing up in related videos or whatever. But it wasn't until mid 2015 
when the false copyright strikes forced me to remove videos from YouTube, all those pre-streams that were using fan art, that my YouTube channels completely plummeted and I no longer got any natural organic viewership from YouTube. Instead, it was just my hardcore fans watching my stuff and that was it. So every year, you know, I would get, especially at the end of the year, I would usually get a giant spike in views just from people searching for the new games. I didn't even show up in YouTube search anymore in 2015. Yeah, because he sucks I now. Delete those videos, but, but also he he did right. delete the videos and, so, and that, the that trolls really fucked him up. The caused the financial difficulties. Now the trolls also swatted me, DDoS attacked me, attacked my, my ex or my girlfriend. My family. Place, I should say, uh, everywhere. It was constant. They attacked her everywhere. They saw her at the supermarket. They were throwing tomatoes at her everywhere and every opportunity that i had everywhere i looked there was abuse everywhere he's like a fucking catholic priest dude come on <laughs> everywhere i looked there was abuse oh i'm gonna move to a new partnership more company. toxic more toxic i can't be partnered with them anymore it was like the whole my whole life was permeated everything was abuse from this bro from these fucking people who literally made it their life's dedication to hurt <laughs> their life's dedication at the time and my family and everyone around me for what what did i ever do for for this it's for this you know, um <laughs> they made so it the their life's dedication the trolls caused they got a phd in uh, pig roach ology from the university of kiwi farms the financial situation yes yeah they Have dedicated I, their life bad financial decisions absolutely but i would never be in the situation i'm in right now financially if it weren't for the trolls completely destroying my youtube uh business that's the bottom line my YouTube business was destroyed. My YouTube business. Between the years of 2015 to 2016. <laughs> the company's Which name is matter. Burnell Productions. Specializes in uh, on-demand begging services. Okay. Now. Please tip me. GG did a 19-bit cheer and said Death Grips is online with a bunch of cap of fate. Hey, Death Grips is online. That's awesome. Big ups, Kirk, for the super chat. I did nothing wrong. You did everything correct. Aces. Okay, I don't even know what that means. It was just Boom the trolls Howard, the whole time, dude. Subscribe to the channel. Thank you, Boo Howard, for the sub. And then he took ten dollars. It was the it's trolls the whole Sorry, time. Forgetting to resub, I don't get Twitch on. I don't get on Twitch much. Thank you not only for the resub but for the tip. Very much appreciated, Boom Howard. Thank you, thank you, thank you. <clears throat> Jack Spartacus also did a fifteen bit cheer. Thank you, Jack Spartacus, for the cheer. Okay, so now we can continue with my story. Folks. Yeah, big ups, Death Grips, MC Ride. Right. <clears throat> so mid twenty seventeen. Behind the scenes, things have fallen apart. I've broken up with my my girlfriend of five years, my fiance of a few weeks, who then I broke up with. Um, but to the face of everyone, right? <laughs> it's it's really strange that their relationship was falling apart, and then he proposed her marriage because that's what you do in a falling apart relationship. You propose marriage to the other person, to the other person, so you're both tied by law to each other. And you need to divorce if you want to do anything else. Big ups to that decision. A mature seen? adult decision. Going good. I'm trying to put on this happy face every day. The happy right? face. To the public. Even though <laughs> if I'm this is the happy face, please don't show the sad face. Please. Like capital letters, please. Behind the scenes, I'm depressed. I'm drinking. Behind I'm the scenes, I'm drinking. I wasn't. My whole schedule. Unlike was now. I couldn't fall asleep anymore. Um, I was up till five, six in the morning some days and then getting up at like 10, 11 to work and I was work at night, which isn't good. I was basically in a real <laughs> bad place. All right. Um, he really wants to be a fucking actor, dude. He really wants to be an actor. So to wake was... up and work. He described his life like a, like a old tired policeman who's seen so much tragedy that he can't even fall asleep anymore. His partner has been shot. I mean, John Rambo has been killed. Rest in peace, Rambo. And uh, yeah, he has nothing to live for anymore. He can't fall asleep. He drinks himself at night. It's like Max Payne, basically. Basically, Max Payne. Phil Payne. This is going on. And Philip Payne. Then, <laughs> randomly, subscription. I meet someone. Subscription. And I'm not going to give you guys the. Hey, big ups to uh, <laughs> Hyref Hi for subscribing to the channel, dude. That's cool. Details. Stop right. passing me the not, fucking illegal thing in chat, dude. Whatever, That's fucking illegal. This stuff came to fruition because you know what's going to happen. The more information I give is the more fuel for the assholes and the more... The fuel the for the assholes. Down, personal information and hurt me. <laughs> fuel for the assholes. Personal information. What I will tell you is this. Over the summer... I'm not going to give you any personal information, but let me explain my tax situation because that is 
very impersonal. That's the business stack situation, in a way. 2017, I met someone. This he doesn't person, pay it. Uh, was someone who I just started talking with. On oh, let's see case. how. Oh, mm -hmm. yeah. Did she, was she living with somebody? And no, I'm, I don't mean really like, uh, like housemates or something. Not roommates. I'm just asking. I was going through a really... What car was he driving? Tough time. Incidentally, she also was going through a really... Oh, incidentally. Really personally. But Jeff didn't know she was going through a tough time. Jeff was pretty chill. And then he saw them texting and then kicked her out. I mean, her lease at her place expired. That's why she had to move in with Phil. Her lease expired, dude. Really bad things in our lives at the time. And when did it... <laughs> yeah, he is, uh, he's tax pain. Tax pain. That's, that's the guy. Drinks himself up to sleep. Um, sometimes puts things in slow motion. Hey, there's another one. There's another joke. Makes things in slow motion. That's how you get slow streams. What's happening? What's on the bullet time? We ended up kind of being there for to each dodge other. the tips at a time when actually, I actually you don't want to be dodging the tips vulnerable and lonely and she was going through stuff and I was able to help her and she was able to help well, me. like what All stuff right. like what stuff leeching off her boyfriend what it began at <laughs> it's very um, tough dude it's been tough and then, what we ended up finding out as we talked more is that we pretty much had a ton in common um when it came to our personal lives but also our past like what you both like, like Skyrim both been through a lot like what what have you been through what have you been through? She's been through an exorcism, allegedly. Allegedly. But what have you been through, uh, Dave? Both Mr. Privilege, whose dad got him a job at the helicopter company that he couldn't even keep. He couldn't keep that job. His daddy got him. You know, when your daddy gets you a job, it's more stable than other people's jobs because your daddy got it. People who were looking for something way different than what we had previously had in regards to companionship. Okay. Um... And oh yeah, that Teespring link that that, that shit doesn't work anymore. I can tell you guys again without revealing <laughs> That's dead. info. Yeah. Basically, how do I make this this drama arc and cause more interest in my personal life without doing exactly that? How can I do that? Over the course of this year, all right. All right. Uh, 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 what became what started as just like a friendship bu budded into something else. Oh. To me finally getting to spend some time. When was the first time you shipped her from woman? across the country, Phil? And uh, you know, after spending personal time with the woman, having an amazing time with the woman. Really clicked. Talking about her like she's a fucking escort, dude. With the woman. You really got <laughs> the woman in question. In person, um, to the point where now, and for uh, oh I'd wow, she happened. fell in love with voice. this. She fell in love with the guy who can't even control his fucking burps at work. Aim for the head, cat. Come on. Aim higher than this. You can do better. Probably, maybe. I don't know, actually. We're constantly talking. I'm confused right now. We're constantly in contact, supporting each other. Constantly interacting. You know, she has... Done constantly chilling. <laughs> constantly digesting. Constantly coming up with uh, new scam schemes. The new schemes. What is it going to be this week? Is gonna be a vest, a hat, a glasses, maybe all three, maybe something more, lingerie, swimsuit. Things to me that no one else ever has before. What? She did, did, did she play ass puppet with him? Oh, she did things to me no one has before. Let's hear this again. We're constantly <laughs> in contact, supporting each other. Um, you know, she has done things for me and said things to me that no one else ever has before. <laughs> that she loves you. <laughs> Wow, Phil. She's done things for me that no one else has before. Really My booty isn't like, the I, same. I'll be honest with you. We sent the footage to Derek. He approved it. You know, not to say a five-year relationship is nothing, but subscribe, this woman subscribe. out of any... Big up Gizmo for the sub. ...when I've ever subscribe, been subscribe. with in my life, dated, I feel like we're soulmates. Oh, now, wow. Some of you may not understand that. Because you both have none. I've never been in that situation. <laughs> um, These... These two are like, come on, dude. They're like, uh, I don't even know what they are. Soulmates. That's what they are. They're soulmates. But sometimes you just meet someone and there's so much right going on when you're together and or when you talk, right? Wow. She agrees with you all the time. That's how you know she's a soulmate. When, when you tell her something and ju she just uh, nods her head. That's how you know. That's the soulmate factor. And not to say that we're perfect people and we're absolutely the perfect No, actually, Kat doesn't like uh, WWE. 
match because I don't think anyone is. On this planet, I don't think you're ever going to find someone who 100% you're compatible at all times. And you know what I mean? Hey, big up James for a super chat. Uh, sorry I'm late. Thanks for the chill stream, buddy. You're welcome, bro. You're welcome. Chill and relax. I mean, that's not what and tomorrow is going to be even chiller. Hopefully. What it's about. Actually, actually find. And then all the new songs are going to come out. Someone who <clears throat> you work with means that you find a perfect balance. Maybe VSP, you don't work with anybody. You don't, you don't work, Maybe period. You a lot of commonalities as well. You just play games. You two come together. And you read super you chats. Kind of a perfect. Not even edge. a lot of tips nowadays. You know just a I mean? couple of guys. You know what I mean? And Take a sip. That's kind of how I feel right now. Now, this is someone who I, I started talking with over the summer. Like I said, I've had the opportunity to spend uh, three really nice long visits with her and or wow. a few other things in between. And or a few other things. What does this even mean? And or a few other things in between the, the secret visits that I was pretending I was single for. It was acting like an actual Twitch thought as an actual Twitch thought. The, the actual uh, stereotype of the Twitch thought. He was acting like he was single. For pity bucks. For pity bucks. For his cucks to give him more money so he can not be depressed. And he was shipping the horse lady across the country. And, and other stuff in between. Uh, allegedly, whatever this means. So probably a staycation somewhere in Seattle. Because they can't just go and go to just rent and took his home. They gotta go to Seattle, which is like probably 20 minutes away but she doesn't live here so it's not someone who i can every day go see and that's the worst is when you have a long distance relationship and especially you have a really bad day and you really need that support and that person can't be physically there for you that is huge but you know we're toughing it out and we're finding a way out especially i mean if you if you only need moral support and like mental support it should be okay if they're not with you that should be all right Anonymous like said, tipped morning, $1. Did, Panda literally up, presented her ass to fill in a hotel room while he was filming a hotel vlog and always commented on showing together. What is Ket doing that hasn't been done before? Flushed face. <laughs> Big up synonymous for the dollar. Uh, yeah, that, that, that is true. Panda was straight up giving up the giving up the goods in the hotel. She was giving it all up and this motherfucker didn't want to take it. And that, that new lady, she doesn't even care about this. She's all about moral support and talking about liking Skyrim. Probably. Talked to but yeah, probably Cat. Cat fulfilled his uh, fantasy. He's more open-minded, you know what I mean? As in that he's in the closet, probably. Which there's nothing bad in that. It would be just really funny if he comes out. To my girlfriend. And he it can like whoever he likes. Different. However, of course, it, it is kind of questionable that, that he has a wife. So yeah. It really honestly feels different than any other relationship I've ever been in. It feels to me like she gets me and I get her. You know okay. what I mean? I mean, when I look at this lady, I don't really think that there's a lot to get, but maybe she does. Maybe she does. I don't know her. But then again, that's that's just my impression of her based on, on two streams that I've watched that were incredibly boring. Rather than, oh, it's just someone I like to spend time with. But all right, if they're like happy, actual, that's, that's like said, good for them. Me. Actual That's soulmates. How I feel when I think about her. All right. <laughs> and you know, it's funny because. Some oh, is it people... funny? Oh, some people. It's always like this. We start with it's funny because the fucking trolls and he gets angry. Not when it's funny, you should laugh, not get angry. Said this year. Um... Some people <clears throat> said. Some people made a comment on my relationship that they know nothing about. Well, yeah, of course. You shouldn't be taking that shit seriously. As well as the shit that I'm talking about, because I know nothing about their relationship. She might be a fucking PhD graduate from Stanford, as far as I know, even though she's not. But she might be as smart as one. Some people have she said might she, be uh, that you know why probably not. Phil broke up with his ex girlfriend of five years and immediately jumped into another relationship. It's a rebound, he's bitch. It. Now he's talking about having a, a, this girl move in. No, with this is just people on the internet talking about your personal relationship. You shouldn't, first of all, take this seriously, and second of all, discuss it on your live stream because it's just dumb and it makes you look stupid and gullible because you're biting people that fucking discuss your relationship online with them. How ridiculous. Hey, big ups, uh, Callum, for becoming a member. Big ups. So it's obvious that he's just, you know, he's rushing in, blah, 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 blah. Blah, 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 blah. Debunk, that's not the true. The matter here, folks, again, is that I 
broke up with my ex-girlfriend in April. All okay. Right? So we're talking, there was a good two, three months where I wasn't talking to anybody. And then I met this girl randomly. Girl. It was chance that this, it was literally a chance, complete. Complete random. chance. Now, the randomness was that she posted something about having an issue with OBS on Twitter, and he replied to her, and that's the randomness. That's it. Yes, it well, and then they started DMing. Anyone. She wasn't looking for anyone. You already had someone. She already actually did. And he caught her. Uh, quite after that, I think. A, a bit after that. It was just... After like, the, like the initial one. Came together that we were Randomly. Alright. And... Talking and realizing that we had so much in common and we both had these situations where we were going through bad times and we could help each other out. And it yeah, Subaru man ain't shit. He, that guy ain't shit. I mean, maybe he was an asshole too. I don't know why I'm putting so much uh, hope in that guy. But in the case, it's DSP being a homewrecker, which is kind of factual if you got to trust Jeff. And Kat just being a cheater. That's kind of the situation the way that I see it. To something else. On top of that, it was something so it was so organic, it organic was chill. Really happened. It wasn't something that was forced in, yeah, or anything like that. And it, by the way, it wasn't like, oh my god, she's a star. Oh my god, of mine. And now she's mad um, in love with me because she likes my YouTube videos. It okay. wasn't like that at all. Okay, it was okay. More like we started talking and we clicked. You know, talking they to clicked. each other. It was a natural. Like a PC fact. gamer. Hey, big up soul two one seven for a super chat. Rumor has it DSP was. Uh, was dripping seeing Panda when he met Cat too. ESP was dripping seeing Panda when he met Cat too. Dude, I don't get it, man. What? Can you let me know in chat what it means? <laughs> I'm, I'm bo boomerang right now. It was dripping like in a... Yeah. B you know, having... Dripping in the swag? <laughs> Do you mean swag? Oh, yeah, the... Maybe, maybe they got pegged. Uh, if, if that's what, what it and means. Someone who's like, Maybe. oh, I was a big fan of Phil beforehand. Yeah. And now I'm a starstruck fan who gets to be his girlfriend or anything like that. It wasn't like that at all. All right. Oh, if you mean that he dropped Panda for Cat, I I don't think so. I think he was right or die with Panda and she just wanted to go out because he was way too toxic. And she actually liked him. And she seemed like he, she liked him. So that being said... Without revealing too many details, um, behind the scenes, starting in the summer. Behind the scenes. All right, the summer time, I started to see someone else on and off when we had time and when we could make available to be together. Because, like I said, she doesn't live here. She does not live in Seattle, um, <clears throat> and she's not always able to come out here to see me, you know, um, because of circumstances, um. I started to the have the circumstances, situation. the circumstances being uh, she was living with her boyfriend. And if if uh, your girlfriend went somewhere for like a week, you would probably have a big question why really or where to something really beautiful. OK, really beautiful. Um, but I really would have waited for her to be single. But wait, if she was single, then she would have nowhere to live. You know what I mean? Great. I mean, I didn't even tell you guys about it until what a few weeks ago, but maybe a month ago. I don't think it was a month ago. I think it was a few weeks ago, right? Where I really revealed to everyone that uh, you know that I had a girlfriend, and ah, uh, boy, was that tough. Boy, was tough because you know it was me, tough. It's been tough. Mouth, and I like to tell you guys everything, right? And man, was it this year in particular? You like to tell us everything because it used to profit you, and now you don't like tell us telling us anything because it doesn't profit you anyway, and pretty much any way. Especially financially. Keeping things a secret about what's going on with my ex-girlfriend and that relationship falling apart and then not telling you about my new, you know, it was real tough to keep stuff secret, but I did my best, right? I really did. Okay. So, that being said, I finally had moral support again. Even though she wasn't able to be here every day, I finally had moral support again, which I needed so much. And you guys may have noticed that I started getting more positive. I started no. feeling better. I started no. coming out, right? The streams and even more positive. You may have noticed more positive show, streams. I started that, to not that be drinking actually didn't all the time happen. I started, I started to not be drinking all the time. Started to, you know, <laughs> even though my sleep schedule was thrown off, <clears throat> it's a lot different when you're talking to someone all night and having a positive conversation and just having a good interaction with someone versus you're all alone and depressed, right? Um, um yeah. That is true. So, that being said, um, let's start talking about 
the summer months because during the summer months this year I started doing some really fun stuff. For example, I did my Dark Souls 2. Whoa, Dark Sin Souls run. fucking 2. Honestly, that run that Scalar I did of the first sin. Massive popularity. If you guys aren't aware, what? It was during that run. <laughs> massive that popularity. Getting hundreds, if not more regular. You jerk off again? On a daily basis. There was actually speculation that he jerked off again. Because there was some like the, the microphone was unmuted and there was some, some noise. But I don't know. I, I ain't buying it. Too good to be true, dude. Pull me once, you jerk off. Pull me twice, uh, reach yourself now, I guess. I got a ton of new subscribers during that time period. It really was that second run through Scholar, or, or, or the second run through Your Scholar life has Scholar all purpose. Added stuff that people really started turning out for streams and, and liking my stuff on the regular. And a lot of those people who came out on the regular started coming back. And it, it was funny. It was actually funny because that Anonymous. Who was a stream regular oh, no. and a moderator now in my stream chat? Yeah, that was when he started watching, you know, and a lot of yeah. Well, like he he ain't around anymore. He's on the other side now, unfortunately. Fans and viewers, and that was awesome for, for right? Phil. Summertime when it was dead. Unfortunately was for Phil. When I was doing entertaining stuff on Twitch. Because his community is way too toxic. That's why B both DSP and his community are way too toxic, uh, naturally toxic, just like how he is. Because he manages to toxify people that that believe in him and trust him, somehow. Popularity, and that was a really cool time for me. But if you're not aware, guys, that was also a time when I got more false copyright strikes, right? It wasn't bad enough that being swatted, DDoS attack, false copyright strikes destroying my YouTube channels in 2010. Yeah, this is dumb. Five year relationship false copyright apart, strikes. Breaking apart because of troll activities and all the stress that caused by it over the years. That wasn't enough. Phil's still here. We gotta, we gotta get him again. We gotta no, get him again. Strikes. Phil and is so back. We gotta terminate him. Course of the summer. Now I was terrified because I was with a new partnership company in Curse. All right, and I was very worried that I was gonna lose this partnership because Curse has very, very strict rules about getting copyright strikes against your channel and all of that. And they say if you get copyright strikes against your channel you will lose your curse partnership and i knew i had no one else to partner with because everyone else didn't want this negative stigma associated with their company because of these trolls coming after no nope, they didn't want psp being toxic they didn't want him to represent their brand and their company which is perfectly understandable because i don't know of a company that would use dsp for anything that is uh, productive or positive in any way because he's not known as a productive and positive person that's why. He doesn't even pretend to be one. He just claims to be. Which is not the same as pretending. Pretending actually takes a little bit of effort to fake it. He just claims to be positive. He claims to be productive. He claims to be busy. Claims to be working a, a very super important job. Actually, two jobs if you count YouTube. So yeah, it's just claims. Just some fake shit. That's why nobody wants to be actually partnered with DSP so or sponsor him. Because nothing positive is going to come out of, out of this. Nothing productive. Not for him. I mean, for him, sure, he's going to get his money. Uh, but not for your company. Oh. Not really. Yeah, um, it was terrible. And, of course, it was these cop copyright strikes from Rockstar, which I knew were fake. I knew they were fake to begin with. Why? Um, they misspelled like, Rockstar? Getting them cleared up because I basically had to convince YouTube that they didn't know what the hell they were doing. And trying to tell YouTube anything that they're doing something wrong is like trying it's mean, like trying to tell dsp that he's doing something wrong it's exactly the same except youtube might eventually someday give you an actual response and an actual answer that is worth something unlike dsp who will al always give you the bullshit he will always give you the bullshit we'll talk to this fucking door to my left here because the door will respond more often in a positive manner than me telling YouTube, you guys screwed up. Yeah, exactly, Phil. Crazy. That's why I, I think it's more productive to make a stream pretending like I'm talking to DSP and giving him advice. Not even actually giving him advice. I don't want him to take any of my advice. Uh, not at all. But it is more productive to do this than actually engage the guy and try and talk to him. It's actually more productive. Because at least like this, you might entertain somebody. Okay. In the and have a discussion with them. Almost 10 years. Once ever... Did YouTube respond to me telling them they did something wrong and fix it? And it was this fucking summer. You tell me how this happened, but YouTube actually reviewed the situation and said, Oh, you're right. We didn't do due diligence 
and it's our fault. These are false copyright strikes, and we're removing them immediately. It was like pigs were flying over my house. Volcanoes hey, DSP was fly flying sky, over his own house. Ice cube. I couldn't fucking what? believe it because every other time it. this had happened to me, right? I had to find my, like, for example, the false copyright strikes in 2015 that forced me to delete videos, right? Completely fucked over my business. But here we are, 2017, YouTube actually fixed the problem. I, you know what I mean? I couldn't okay. believe it. Good. Great. YouTube fixed something. That's good. So, for once in my life. And of course, this, right, this, this instance... Like uh, this example, this anecdote is not, it's not serving to be a positive thing. He's not trying to say that YouTube fixing my shit was a good, positive, productive thing. He's trying to spin it on YouTube is a, a piece of shit and they fix this one thing. And I'm so surprised because they're a piece of shit. I had one. It's again a toxic thing. It's, there's always a toxic spin to it. it. Always toxic. I had a new girlfriend who got me. And I got her and we felt I like got we her. soulmates. Copyright strikes come across my channel and I'm able to get rid of them immediately and take care of them because YouTube actually listens for once. By the way, I talked to Curse about it and Curse said, Phil, we know who you are. We know what you've been through. We know you're Under toxic, no Phil. Will we ever terminate our partnership agreement with you until there's a discussion and we determine that you've actually done wrong? Well, they, they did that. They but wait, wait. I, I still forget. How was he taken off of Curse? Because I forget about that all the time. He wanted to go and, I don't know, make more money with Laveria or whatever it was. Or they just kicked him out for generally being an asshole, which he generally is. So, yeah, that's a good pick. Stick up for me because of, they know who I am and the shit that I've been through. They're not going to just drop me like a hot rock that if they see false copyright. Like a hot they're rock. Not delete my partnership. I was like, like a hot Dwayne oh Johnson. My God. You know? I was getting all this positivity all uh, at once. I was getting all this then, positivity. Like said, during the summertime were very positive. Was it there was a very, dollar sign in front? Well. Everything was going good and everything's going perfectly. And I'm like, if only things keep going, because if Twitch kept growing the way that it was growing, <clears throat> I knew that by the end of the year, I'd be making a lot more money. I'd be able to make, okay. make ends meet, pay all my bills, and even maybe start making extra money where maybe over the next few years things could get a lot better and I could stop being in such terrible debt and all these problems going on and everything, right? <clears throat> so for the first time in a long time, I was starting to feel really, really positive about everything. Okay. But there's And what happened? Things. So Yeah, of course moment, there is. Do some shout outs. Of course there is. In, what did uh, the caterers stuff. do? The fucking piece of shit wastes shout of life. Too. You and Jim McCree, who did a $2 tip, he says, majority of the ones who criticize you on YouTube are just crappy commentary people who couldn't do anything creative if they tried. Um, sure. Commentating community is the bane of YouTube. I agree. Sure. It's garbage. No, you don't it's even bad. know. You don't watch them. You don't watch them. At least they edit their own videos or pay someone to do it. They edit their shit, DSP. You don't even have software, and that's your job. And not some some commentary channel that that is like a high school student or a college student that just does this shit for the lols. That's his fucking job. So get real, Phil. Not get real. Quality content. It's mostly all negative drama shit for the sake of being like a little high school girl. Maybe they are high school girls awesome. and they I still mean. can edit videos multiple times better than Phil, the professional who is not a high school girl, instead is a mature adult. The best make guy. Money. It's not legitimate. It's garbage content. Make money. It's not legitimate. It's probably illegal, of course. It's in the Constitution, the United States of Phil. <clears throat> Definitely Mostly is. at home, did a 10-bit cheer and asked personal stuff about business stuff that I'm not going to answer. Um, so there, ignore that because I know exactly who you are, by the way. So thanks. For wow, I know exactly who you are. Tip. And he asked about. Are you going to dox him? A uh, public dox or a private dox? What do you prefer, Phil? Your story behind cryptic tweets is good at both. With one or two letters in a picture, maybe especially threatening people with having their personal information on a video. I'll reveal it, but right now I'm not going to. He's a very smart uh, guy, needless to say. To cheer, and he says, "How do the NR of followers and total views weigh in with Twitch search and getting noticed?" Um, <clears throat> you know what? You hold on a second. People are right. No pop-ups are coming on, right? Oh no. Aren't working. People are saying they're not seeing any pop-ups whatsoever. You're right. It's not working. Shit. Okay, hold on a second. I could probably fix that. 
I'm giving everyone their shout outs, but I think the reason no one's contributing is because none of the pop-ups are coming up. Um, so I need to fix that. Let's fix that, Phil. Let's see. How are you going to fix that? Here, guys. Hold, Hold on. on. What's going on. Okay, let's skip through this bullshit. We don't have to watch this. Oh, and he's not even here. OBS is on screen. Some weird Lately, shit happens. Pop-up messages have been deactivated. Deactivated. Reactivated them, so anyone who reactivated. Here, subscribes and clicks this the This guy is a fucking clown. They're working. Okay. <clears throat> All right, very nice. Is Sounds it very good. nice? Right. Let's see. Got Does it sound good? Here since I returned, and I don't know anything about how any of the... He doesn't know anything. Happened. It's his job. What does this say about him as a professional? About him as a member of society, implying that, you know, if he wasn't doing this, he would work a different job. Do you think he would do much better doing a different actual job? I think he would do a thousand times worse. A thousand times. Because he's so miserable being his own boss and is still failing all the time. Imagine if he had an actual boss. Dude. Cut off for a little bit because my head's hot. It's gonna be terrible. Um, anything about the behind the heat scenes? He doesn't know anything control. about anything. I don't know. I'm like, anything about anything. Can't even Google stuff. He can't even do that. About games, about uh, equipment. Dude, I at least have a little can't bit of do anything. I have no clue how the Twitch stuff works. No so clue. But tip him. You should tip him. Up he deserves it. I do know that people come in all the time, though. How, did, like, how does he deserve it? Well, he, he wastes his time playing video games a lot. That's how he deserves it. Like, oh, you know, Phil was high up there in the rankings for a certain game that he was playing on Twitch, and he gets new viewers and stuff from that. So, uh, Captain DCW, subscribe to the channel. Thank you, Captain. Oh, it's working. Hey, it's working. There you go. It's working. Although, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to move it. Hold on. Hey, Phil, move it. Now you guys okay. can actually read the messages. Because if I put it down there, it's going to mess with my Twitter handle. See that? There we go. It works. Um... Captain DCW, subscribe to the channel. Thank you, Captain DCW, for subscribing. I appreciate that. In fact, now... Why would you do that? Why would you do that? <laughs> we're up to 320. I don't get it. I generally it's don't get it. new milestone. Genuinely. Thank you, everyone. Even if, even if you're really, really convinced that he's doing a hard, like, a, a good job, and he's putting in a lot of effort, and he's busting his ass, I see actually physically no reason to support him. No reason. Because you can see, he's busting his ass. And the result is a far below average quality of an experience of a live stream or YouTube videos. Far below average. And that's him busting his ass. So do you think he deserves your support to continue doing this as a professional? Does he represent the community good enough with his garbage? Apparently. Apparently. 324 subs and growing. The most I've ever had. Thank you, thank you, thank you, guys. And wow, we have over, oh my god, we have over a thousand viewers on the stream right now. Wow, that's great, because you're talking you. about sure his new girlfriend. Yeah, I appreciate it. Let's keep going, because people want to hear the, the stories and stuff. Uh, Solid Shock did a 10-bit cheer. He's a Solid Shock. And all the fans, Merry Christmas to you. Alice Telemann did another 10-bit cheer to let me know the pop-ups weren't working. Thank you for that, because I fixed them. <clears throat> Fluttershy did a 10-bit cheer. He says, can you give Freddie Freeman a shout-out? Sure. Merry Christmas, Freddie Freeman. Corn G did a 100-bit cheer. He said, Merry Christmas. Thank you, Corn G. Um, Captain DCW did a 50-bit cheer. He said, testing, testing, and it worked. And wow, it worked. Stingy Great. Did a 50 -bit they cheer. gave him money to do a, a testing thing that he could do himself. That's great. That's how you should do it. He said, where and why did your girlfriend get you a dragon sweater? Uh, we actually got this. We were looking... Uh, now, compared his viewership compared to nowadays, probably tomorrow he's going to get quite a decent amount of views, I guess, for, uh, I guess for his standards, but it's going to be much slower after the pre-stream and when he starts playing games then it's gonna go downhill real quick real quick but i i can see maybe there's gonna be a couple of uh christmas presents coming you know behind the scenes in front of the scenes in between the scenes so yeah he's gonna get his money he's gonna be a happy piggy in the end of the day because he's gonna show you he's gonna put so much effort into ordering food to eat right so much fucking effort this guy is great I love him. I should uh, watch his Twitch. All around. Um, we're looking all around for a sweater. And um, 
we were looking at different stores. Uh, my local, uh, uh, there's one a store, the variety store around here called Fred Meyer. They had a few. Fred Fox. And we looked at department stores, but honestly, it was weird. The department stores we went to had good ones, like actual good Christmas sweaters with like nice designs with like reindeer and stuff. I was like, damn, I would like to buy that and like wear that to a real Christmas party and say, here's a nice sweater. You're never going to a real Christmas party, Phil, because nobody's going to invite you. And if they invite you, you have to explain to them what you do for, for a living. And if you do that, they might even be curious enough to ask you what your account is or how you're called or your nickname or, you know, to check you out. It's Phil. He's a cool guy. I want to see what he's doing. I'm a fan of games. And then you see he's a beggar. You see he jerks off on stream. You see he's pathetic man-child throwing tantrums about video games. And then you kind of uh, don't invite Phil to your party again because he's lame. He's lame. But he lives in a gated community, so he's successful and amazing. You know, this one we found, I believe it was, I think it was Kohl's. I'm not positive. I think we found this at Kohl's. And they had a bunch of weird stuff. They had cats and stuff. And then they said it was a dragon. And we're both looking at it like, why in the holy hell would there be a Christmas dragon? It was why so not? random. Yeah, and okay. And my girlfriend was like, we got to get that one. That one is the one of the uh, best. We got to get that so one, Phil. Weird. Why the hell would you have a dragon on a Christmas? Let's get the one with a dragon, Phil. They don't have dragons on Christmas. It's so funny. This sweater, so we ended up getting it. And it, I love it. I love this sweater. It's cool. Amazing. Christmas dragon. All right. I, I literally oh. didn't notice until now that it's a dragon. Now I got it. But I like the sweater. Too. I would probably wear something like oh, this. Tevin. Now, who knows if it's the real Tevin? Tevin. Who knows if it's the real Tevin? You wish Tevin fucking tipped you, you asshole. <laughs> you wish. But no, he's going to make himself look bad if he actually tips fucking DSP. Come on. Another hemorrhoid on my ass, right? He's a criminal, he asks, dude. Another you... hemorrhoid on my ass. Imagine Laveria. No, I didn't. You know what? I should. Um, Because I even though that, that shit actually happened during the whole time when I had partnered with Curse. <clears throat> and yeah, I Tevin knows better than actually tipping Phil. Right. Here's what happened. A company came to me. All right. And they promised me the world. They said, yeah, they were a fake um, company. Can you, we will give you a managed partnership. We will give you the we're world. Pay you a higher percentage than what you're getting paid with curse. We want your channels because we see the amount of traffic you get. And we have a relatively small network. <laughs> and we feel that bringing your channels yeah. to our fold will yeah. give us more traffic. <clears throat> and we feel that this is going to be beneficial to us to do. Totally. Okay. Totally. And I said, well, that was a massive fucking scam. Laveria was so... He did no research. Zero. Zero research about Laveria. About his business. He put his ass on the line. If that went really terribly wrong and he actually got scammed, he could have gone homeless. This fucking guy. He did zero research into how reputable this company is. He was all up for it. You know, basically you're, you're telling me exactly what I want to hear. Yeah, now, this was about I, I believe I can't remember if it was March or April at this point. I think it was April, but I'm not 100 percent positive on that. All right. Um, yeah. As, as once again, detractors saved him. That's right, David. You're correct. Uh, just like with the catfish, when uh, Kiwi Farm saved his ass. Otherwise, he would have been extorted from that money. Trust me, DSP would have paid those fucking scammers. He would have. So. During this time period, this company, and by the way, they didn't call themselves Laveria or anything like that. They were what did they call themselves? Never... Scamming Incorporated. Well, that, that doesn't have that good of a ring to it. Never heard of before. We're in contact with... And also it was taken by Philip Burnell and Burnell Production. That was their second company. It's a burner company. Scamming Incorporated. That's where all the, the fake tips go through. Not the, the fake ones, but the behind the scenes ones. Behind the scenes contributions. There. They were trying to recruit me, basically, promising me all. Oh, we'll they were trying to this, recruit me. That. For me, the only thing I really cared about was they said they were going to get me. It was like the number one draft pick, but it, instead he was the number one draft pick for the second round. Managed Lol. partnership right away. <laughs> and I knew that would be great because now I could still play uh, Nintendo games and keep all the ad revenue. Nintendo wouldn't steal all the ad revenue from my videos. I would be able to not have to worry Nintendo about Nintendo would matches. steal the ad revenue. They're stealing the ad revenue. Matches. Basically, I'd be in the fucking greed of this guy. You're playing Nintendo's game, asshole. You're, you're going to be streaming whatever they let you. If they don't, they are assholes, but you're not going to be doing it. 
the clear to upload whatever I wanted under a managed partnership, and I would be able to make all the profit off of that, okay? Make all the yeah. profit. He heard this, making all the profit, and, and he saw dollar signs and everything. He went outside and it was just dollar signs in the sky. The clouds were made out of dollar signs, the sky was made out of dollar signs, the sun was made out of m a million dollar signs, and he saw all of them. What I decided to do, I love it. All right, was I said, here's what I'm gonna do, and I did this for myself. I said, I don't know if I can trust these guys or not. Right now, yeah, feel the trusting not one. Doing anything important with my YouTube channel KO Gaming. In fact, at this time, remember when I had a I was adapting <laughs> to this new KO method, fucking gaming where I was focused on streaming exclusively. Um, I decided that I was just gonna focus on that and not worry about edited content at all. So my KO Gaming edited gaming channel, edited gameplay channel, edited reviews and stuff, went on hold while I was focused went on, on hold. trying to get my streams to blow up on Twitch. <clears throat> so my business was I on said, hold. Here's what I'll do. I will test what these people are saying with KO Gaming. And if they do what they promise on KO Gaming, all right, then I will bring all of my channels over to the fold. However, during my plan to do this, they basically said they wanted to prove that I was all in and they were all in to link both my DSP gaming and oh, wow. gaming. Channel. Yeah, they wanted to actually fuck him up. So I did. <laughs> oh, wow. Right, I did. He did I it. Both channels he Curse, did it. And I took KO Gaming. He said he didn't trust them. And then he unlinked both channels. Now, I don't know how this works because this is back in the day fucking YouTube shit. But he said a few minutes ago, maybe like one minute ago, I don't trust them. And then proceeded to do exactly what they say to do, which seems like a massive scam. Yeah, we need, we need to have your buy-in. So please unlink your channels. And also, if you can Please send me your credit card information and the and the numbers on the back. Please. It's it's very necessary for the the partnership to work. Otherwise it's not going to come out. Gaming and I said, "Okay, Kyo Gaming be glitched is right partnership. Away. I link this to your network right away. <clears throat> Give me the information, I'll link it to your network." Give me the information. And then let's get into the managed partnership right away. All of a sudden I get an invite, all right, on this channel from Laveria Media. And I'm like, Who's Laveria uh -huh. Media? I've never even talked to this company before. So yeah. I asked the guy, he's like, oh, don't worry. That's our parent company. Yeah, they were so bad at scamming. They tried to add him with a different fucking name. They were so bad at scamming. So bad. And he's still bit. He's still bit. He got the fucking bait all the way. And what you do is you partner with them, and then, but we're still going to deal with us. <clears throat> but if you partner was with it, them... Was it we'll suspicious at that point? Everything we promised you. And already, immediately, I'm skeptical. I'm oh, like, immediately. Skeptical. He's skeptical now, after leaving Curse. Yeah, but... Fantastic. I wanted to give him benefit of the doubt, because I had already gone through the trouble of unlinking both my DSP Gaming and KO Gaming channels from uh, Curse, and I wanted to see if these guys were legit or not, okay? So, I did. I linked KO Gaming with Laveria Media. And I was All right, so he did it. He did it. He did it. If they were trying to scam him, he, they would fucking do it. He did everything they asked him. Everything. Okay. And I waited two days and nothing's happening. And I emailed yeah. these guys. I'm like, he actually got scammed. Trust? And he was telling you twice. He didn't trust them. But he saw the dollar signs in the sky, in the sun, in the clouds, in everything. Dogs were made out of dollar signs. He thought he, was, he wasn't seen properly. It was the dollar sign fever or some shit. Promised I don't know. You were going to I, I think only Polish Polish Italians get it. Oh, don't it's worry. It's hereditary. We're on that for you right now. Three days past. Still, I like guys. Guys. USC Gaming isn't partnered with anyone. I'm making no money on it. Okay, okay. I don't know what the hell's going on here because you promised me <laughs> this the guy world, sucks, man. And you're not getting it. For guys me. like this deserve to be scammed. Like if you're this gullible, you gotta get scammed. All of a sudden, so that's the only way you're gonna learn your lesson. Maybe eventually. I get a completely different response. Oh. Well, we're eventually going to get you that managed partnership, but we need to bring you into the fold first and you need to be yeah. there for months. Yeah, it's actually a fucking scam. It's actually a scam. Well, we're going to give you not really the partnership. Well, thanks. You just promised you're going to give me the partnership. What happened? <clears throat> It didn't happen. We could build up rapport. We could say that your channels are part of our network. Yeah, this is garbage. Um, and he was still believing them or something. All I don't know if, if at that. this point he still believed them. It would be a very much a DSP if he believed them. You know what I mean? 
And at that point, I knew it was bull. Oh, at that point, he knew it. After he got scammed, after he did everything they asked him to do, at that point, he knew. And now he's, now he's smug. Because now he's like, dude, I fucking knew it. I knew it was a scam. But I stopped getting scammed after I started getting scammed. And gave them everything I needed to know. Right. Sounds good. Bullshit. And I said, fuck this. And I went back to the yeah, guy. Yeah, fuck immediately. this. And immediately. Said, you lied. I'm done with you. What are you going to do right about now, it? Are you going to sue them? Contact oh, it just, that's that's what uh, that's what he did with Liana, too. Oh, you think you're done with me? I'm done with you. Get the fuck out. And please don't go to the emergency room. Gaming. It's going to be very annoying for me because we're not a couple anymore from your company, because you I don't know if you guys are aware of this. <clears throat> Once you when you partner now with a company on YouTube, you have the ability to sever sever the, the contract with any partnership. You company. should sever and your uh, days, They're done. Your Even, health no matter, bar. Regardless of anything you've signed or anything. Once you delink your channel, the whole thing is done. OK, OK, so the, the reason they did this is because of companies like this that were lying and cheating and and reading people okay. in these partnerships and then never. And you bought it. You did. You you got baited. You got baited and it worked. They ex actually scammed you. Now, I don't know if they benefited, but they were trying to get some. Uh, I guess they were trying to get some medium sized channels that are not super active, but are kind of desperate for an MCN so they can make their own network look good. And I mean, Laveria, they can make it look good and look reputable by having people under it. But it's not an actual network, an actual network that cares. So I guess for that purpose, maybe they did manage to utilize him and, and milk him for what he was worth at that point. Releasing the channels. So I told um the company, screw you, I'm done with you. Screw you. F screw you guys, I'm going home. That's what he said. I don't know who Little Cartman Phil. Area is. I never agreed to be with them. I don't know. I never agreed to be with them. Did you do some fucking research, perhaps, for your job that you work for a living to survive? Do you know that? Right? Wait, I never signed a contract. Sure, I never, I never signed a contract. Called Lavaria Media. So legally, Lavaria had no legal right to even have a, a partnership on any of my channels. I had signed paperwork with a different company completely. Okay. <clears throat> And by the way, I should mention this. Their contracts were a joke. You could tell. Okay. But you, you, you wanted it, right? You were all up for it. But it was a joke. And it was a scam. And he realized it at first, but then got scammed. And then realized he got scammed. Help me. Help. They had, they had copy and paste Help. Of another company's contract. Yeah. There, there were errors in grammar. Yeah, it's fucking bullshit. It was some kids trying to, trying to live their dream of being executives for an MCN. And, and they tricked Phil into buying into it. They tricked him. It was actually some college kids, actually, trying to role play being entrepreneurs or whatever. That were critical parts of information that I had to have them add in and shit. It was a joke. Basically, you, they were fake. All right. It was a fake. Okay. Thing. It was fake yeah. bullshit, but I got scammed. And confessing to you that I got scammed is making me look like the biggest loser in life. But I will still do it and I will flex and I will brag about it because I figured out it was a scam after I got scammed, though. That sounds fucking good. That's very convincing. And luckily, I was smart enough to say Luckily, I was smart enough. Smart enough. Smart enough. When? When? After he got scammed? After it was the most transparent thing in life that he got scammed try it with ko gaming first because i don't really care sure. about that channel right now all right and i did not go forward with dsp gaming on purpose to see oh wow yeah okay purpose. so so he only got half scammed he got half scammed but he still did exactly what they wanted him to do so he kind of got full scam because if you're suspicious of, of shit like this then you don't end up doing everything they ask you for because you don't know at what point you're gonna get actually scammed or not okay so basically, I severed the contact with this company, and I never talked to yeah, them. Yeah, I severed the contact. Now, apparently, my detractors apparently the decided to do entire podcasts where they entire podcast. What uh, I like this uh, the fake exaggeration entire podcast. Bozo, a podcast is not very hard to do. A stream is not very hard to do if you know how to do it. Unfortunately, Phil doesn't know how to do it, so it's very hard. So that's an entire podcast. That's an entire podcast.
it took millions of days of effort and not just pressing the record button and talking. Laveria Media and the CEO of Laveria Media. And they said, oh, I never talked to any of those people ever. I never had any contact with any of them. And I never talked to anyone who ever worked at Laveria Media. So literally those entire podcasts and things that those idiots did were 100% illegitimate and a waste of time. Illegitimate, what does illegitimate mean? No, they weren't a waste of time. They figured out the lore behind Laveria. It, it's not about DSP, it's about figuring it out. Just like with the with the um, catfish, the same concept. They just wanted to figure out who is behind all this fishy, shady bullshit. And they figured it out. And they ended up saving DSP from a lot of nonsense. And more getting scammed. His fucking detractors, he hates so much. So if you watch that, you wasted your time and shame on you. All right, you wasted your time. Unlike watching this, which is a great investment of your time. A guy that got scammed explaining to himself, basically, how he didn't get scammed after he got scammed. You believed their bullshit that they literally right. made up. I never worked with Laveria Media. The only thing I ever did, Kale Gaming was temporarily for like two days linked to them. And then I- Well, you were working with them. If you were linked to them, you were engaged with them. So cut the bullshit. And the semantics, of course, again, we're back to semantics as usual with DSP. So apparently the, um, the Sons of Kojima, they just made up the whole interview. They made it up. Despite me having seen it on a stream and seeing that it's from actual people that are insiders of the company and knew what was happening in Laveria. So yeah, they made up everything. Because they said that Phil worked with them, but he actually didn't. Wow. I unlinked them myself because I had no contract and no contact with any company called No Laveria contract. Media. But you were linked to them, <clears throat> fucking clown. Okay. We're linked to them. You don't have so, a contract with Twitch. That's why go. they kicked That's you out. They didn't even tell you why. Fucked up thing that happened another fucked up thing. During the whole time period of transition between like March to May. By the way, this was all happening again when I was breaking up with my ex. So it was just adding fuel to the fire and more, more stress for me on top of everything. And fuel then, luckily, to the fire, dude. I went right back to Curse. I explained the situation and Curse said, all right, we'll take you back. You know, it wasn't your fault what happened. You know, Curse has been great. Twitch has been great. I love the companies, and I, I'm looking forward to staying with them for a long time. I really do. All right. Shout out to Swag All Score. Right. Or skip, skip, skip. On your behalf with your information. What? That's why the contracts are wrong. Maybe. Maybe. He doesn't even know. Let's see what this guy says. Who apparently knows more about this than the guy who got scammed into this. Laveria wasn't a real company. It was actually a troll. Two, Swag Score. Okay, let's see. The channel. Thank you, Swag Score, for the sub. Let's see, Swag Nick Score. Nick me a dollar and says, I bet the company that claims they worked under Laveria wasn't a real company. It was actually a troll who forged your signature. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. That's why the they were from the CIA. They were running ops for the Russians. It was like a sleeper cell operation. There were nuclear weapons involved, weapons of mass destruction in the Middle East. Everybody was involved. Hillary was involved. That's what all the emails said that she deleted. All of this shit. And it's all around. Uh, it's all about Phil, actually, in the end. The whole op was to troll Phil. Contracts were wrong. Maybe. Maybe. It could be. Maybe. Scubula did a 10-bit cheer. So Merry Christmas. It's, it's entirely sub possible. Sub for Levo. Did an 1100-bit cheer. Thank you, Sub for Levo. So I've been watching since 2008. I hope 2018 is a better year for you. So do I. And thank you very much for the cheer. Super Blind Man resubbed for the 13th month in a row. Thank you for over a year of... Wow, Super, Super Blind, Blind Man. Man. Dude. Merry Vegan Christmas, Phil. Your top notch... Merry Vegan Christmas. Today. Thank you very much for your support, Super Blind Man. Heck, and heck, guess heck. what? Phil's not vegan, you fucking asshole. Subscribers. We're still growing. Amazing. Thank you guys very much. Let's make um, uh, DSP being vegan like a troll meme just or something. I don't know why. Still, I think just just because. Because everything can be a troll meme as long as you just go in his stream and you pretend that it's a thing that people say. Like DSP is vegan. So if tomorrow like 10 people ask him, DSP, is it true that you're gone vegan? He, it, it, it's going to be an actual troll meme. Because that's how it is. Everything he doesn't understand and is about him. Even if it's completely made up and it's just some nonsense, like cat being pregnant or some shit, is uh, is a troll meme. So I guess DSP is vegan now.
The fact that nothing these trolls and haters have done to ruin your business has worked really says a lot about your determination. You're an inspiration to all of us fans. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas to you, Dean, and thank you for the tip and the sale. Well, uh, actually, what is, what is actually uh, kind of funny is that, okay, you can say nothing the trolls have tried to do to destroy his business has worked, but everything that he tried to do to destroy his fucking business, everything worked. Calling people names, hateful slurs, dropping the N-bomb, uh, dropping those leaks. Actually, he didn't, but yeah, the PWW shit. Everything, everything is, uh, has worked for him in ruining his own fucking business. His ineptitude, his unwillingness to learn software, to learn how shit works, and just relying on everybody else. That has all worked. All right. But yeah, congrats to DSP for becoming vegan. That's great. It's, uh, it's much healthier now. He just needs to, to stop drinking industrial amounts of gin, and then everything's going to be great. Going to be having the chillest and most interactive streams ever. <clears throat> Let me get a lozenge, and we're going to continue a on. Lozenge. With the story. Now we're talking about summer of 2017, because I told you about meeting my current girlfriend, how amazing that was. I told you how I amazing copyright strikes in the summer. Overcame the copyright strikes. And He's the only guy that fucking talks street. about it like that. But then things took a turn for the world. And I think the way he talks about stuff, the actual semantics in the way he expresses himself is also a big reason why people stick around. Because it's kind of dramatic. It's always dramatic. Everything is a cataclysm. Everything is a big event. It's something that he needs to talk about and you need to pay attention uh, un unless he it is uh, kind of contradicting himself, in which case you shouldn't pay attention. And sometimes the, the lines between what you should and what you shouldn't pay attention to are very blurred. So go figure out. But he expects you to pay attention unless it's something that is bad about him, in which case just stop listening and ignore everything. Everything that is shown to you, given to you, or someone told you or, or you saw on a post or on a video, just ignore it. Because it didn't happen, despite it happening. Worse. So let's talk about that. All right, let me get a laugh. Yeah, it's the same thing with the with his shower. Because he came on stream, he made it a big deal. It was dramatic. It was uh, an arc. The shower arc. He needed $1,000 for it. He got it that same day. That, that sum of money. The same day. And then it vanished. It's like a TV show and they start talking about this, let's say, this villain or this side plot that you didn't know until now. And then next episode is just, they just forget about it. They just drop it. Hold on. Come on. You gotta be consistent with the shit that you say. If you wanna say that your shower is broken, well you gotta give us all all the the way the description and all the way the, the information about everything that's happening. If you're gonna make a big drama thing out of it and ask people for money, then you're gonna tell them when it gets fixed and you're gonna tell them how much it fucking costs, because they're paying for it. Hey, what's up, uh, James? Can get this bag open. And get the bag open. What is this? Is this cat food? <laughs> I completely forgot what I was what I was watching. Lossing. Oh, it's Lawson, dude. Come on. Now it's gonna be his mouth is gonna be just like. If you thought until now it was bad, gonna get worse. Okay. It's gonna be a lip smacking all the time. Yeah, it looks like edibles. I sure hope. Imagine if he gets zoinked on stream. This might be the most if 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 DSP eats some edibles like a cookie or some uh some uh what was it? gummy bears or whatever. He's going to be the funniest he's been ever. And he's going to be the chillest and the nicest. But he's still kind of going to be toxic. Cuz everything is going to be too hard. It's going to be too hard to to read a tip. It's going to be too hard to to give a shout out. Everything is going to be too hard. All right. Holy moly. What's not going to be fun is if he goes the wings route and gets on uh, on Lexapros. And I'm talking about after Cat leaves, when he f she finds the next guy, uh, TM, that has like a trademark symbol after it. The next guy, TM. It's not a cough drop, though. Stinking Bruce is a calm cough drop. It's not. This is a yeah, it's not. Kind of he has to correct you I with the bullshit drop, semantics. It's them, it's not a fucking cough stomach drop, stomach actually. Stomach. All right. Yeah, and they make his so, stomach go bad. Continue. Summer of 2017, everything's going good, right? Copyright no. strikes, they're gone. I got a new girlfriend. 
behind the scenes things are going good and my twitch streams are on the up and up it's kind of um i don't know it's it's kind of silly to me and there's nothing inherently or necessarily wrong with it but it's kind of silly maybe because it's dsp for like a 40 year old guy to be bragging about okay a 36 year old guy to be discussing how he got a new girlfriend i think is very cringe for for a live stream but maybe that's just because it's dsp and and generally if i see like a normal a well-adjusted individual do the same things i wouldn't mind it no because everything dsp does is more annoying than a normal person it's more punchable everything he does i'm paying all my bills i'm starting to reason a very nice flex. issue and i'm like damn things are really going good <clears throat> all of a sudden everything went wrong all sudden, on youtube all right i start to notice and by the way i apologize for the loss and just obviously gonna oh yeah apologize everything out. fucking everything all everything sudden, is an issue everything is a thing spam email uh, spam mail in the physical mail not email i've always gotten spam emails for my public, you know, email accounts and stuff like that. That's just going to happen. My mailbox is starting to pile up with all this new mail. Okay, what is it like, from? Is all this mail? The tax office? Oh, no, it's taxes. What is it? Tax time. It's publications for, like, what you would send to a company. So, for oh, example, no, it's some Contractors Monthly. Oh, yeah, let's oh, listen to this. For doctor. Uh, golfer's Digest. Golfer's. Uh, golfer's Digest. You guys play golf with dolphins and frags? You know, all things uh, like an athlete would get would get this, a contractor would get this. I play when the weather is, is good. Uh, but if there's fag, then I can't play in the fag because I can't see. Doctor would get this. I start getting, I'm not even exaggerating. <clears throat> Every week I'm getting upwards of I love golf. pieces of mail like this. And the thing that, that tips me off that something's going wrong, it says on the address... Phil Burnell, DSP Gaming. <laughs> Somebody wait. signed him up for in real life spam. DSP Gaming. I have never had a registered business, meaning DSP Gaming, my YouTube channel, even though it's trademarked, I do trademark it. Trademark? It's never been a <laughs> Hello? Where was it, dude? I fucking lost again. No. Uh, oh, here it is. Company's name is Burnell Productions. Is internet company's name is Burnell Productions. And also live video streaming. Fucking trademark DSP Gaming. Big ups. Registered business. I don't have a business address. Okay. He has a business degree. Anything like that. So why would I be all of a sudden getting mail that says DSP Gaming? Because some asshole signed you up. Your address is online. They can sign you up to everything. They can literally sign you up to like a bunch of porn sites which i i'm 100 percent sure they've already done a couple of times over with all his emails that are public and his address that is public and all his other information that is public sense. and I he published by the way this is more troll activity troll some activity troll must have registered me on some business some fucking shithead troll every possible free fucking business mailing possible in the state of washington so i'm getting that's cool you get to stay informed about the new things in washington come on that's interactive. Tons and tons of this shit in the mail, okay? It's one thing if it's like one piece a week. No, my mailbox is full. Mailbox. Three or four days with this amount of junk mail. Okay. While this is happening, I start getting tweets. I start getting... Hey, big up, Tyler. Thanks for stopping by. Emails. Have a nice time at work. Phil, your Phil. days are done. What? You, we know that you've been committing tax fraud. <laughs> your days are done. That's what the email said. Phil, your days are fucking done. Mark my words. I'm coming for you. And we are going to get you. Gout, 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 gout. Ha, ha, ha. I love it. Ha, ha, ha. Mm. He has been committing tax fraud. He's been committing probably a variety of fraud since he's been doing YouTube. A variety of fraud. With all the business expenses, and he, it was, I think, in a Tevin video where he was explaining what is a business expense back in the day when he was putting up the Christmas tree ornaments. He was telling you, going on a trip that you're going to film some footage for your YouTube channel, that's a fucking write-off. Everything was a write-off to him. There's like a astounding amount of stuff that he puts on his business expenses. Like, actually, a shameless amount of stuff. So all this, 
magically starts happening around the same time period, I think we're starting to see a pattern emerge. Okay. So, I'm like, well, I, I think nothing. Uh, else, you know, what am I going to do about it? Nothing. What do I do? I just got to go with the flow. Yeah, as usually, there's nothing you could do in any situation ever. And so, if you guys remember, through the months of July and August, you know, the summer was slow, but I was able slow. to do my Sonic Marathon, right? I was able to do a bunch of stuff that was really positive and really fun, made a lot of money for me, which was great. And then the new releases started to hit in August and I was playing them and things were going really good and everything, right? Everything's going good. So then... Oh, the fucking lozenge mouth and the... Ugh, disgusting. I told you. I warned you guys. I don't I, uh, know what you were supposed to do in this case, but yeah, I told you so. Rolling. Everything's feeling very positive. <laughs> I get to be right. All of a sudden, in September, again, as things are going... Hey, what's up, Jake Kramer? As things are going well, in September, um, I get a letter in the mail. Oh, yeah, he got the, the stimulus check. He got the stimulus check, even though he was making more than, than the threshold required for you to get it. So he was actually... This money could have gone to somebody who actually doesn't have money. And instead, it went to this fucking piece of shit. In his gated community, two-story home. In this fucking guy. He wants the stimmy. He wants the fucking stimmy. It's a letter from the Washington State Department of Revenue. Now I'm like... Oh, oops. Okay, this was not spam. This was not spam. Because Mariah let's see how he lied about his taxes again. Made her business, her soap making business. All right. <clears throat> she had to register as a business in the state of Washington because she was selling physical products. She was doing commerce over the Internet for physical product. And therefore, she had to okay. register. She it's Leanna's fault. Business taxes once a year. The good news is. The business taxes aren't high. Like, for example, I'll give you some perspective. When I lived in Connecticut, there's a state income tax, all right? The state income tax was ridiculous. It was, like, way too Yeah, big ups to the Black Quran. The best soap-making business. I actually want to look up some of that lore. Because I don't know much of the lore, and I liked when... Because I've heard it a couple of times. When DSP was shilling for that soap. It was great. Because it was, in a way, it was disingenuous because it's... DSP and talking promoting something that someone else made however knowing that he would profit from it he he had more incentive to promote it so yeah there you go that state so i want to if i remember later we might see some shit about it fucking money and this fucking soap company the business tax in washington is very low <clears throat> oh yeah i think i think tevin so, tried it tevin tried her soap the washington state department of revenue however when I moved here in 2014, I, in writing, I even have this in writing. I saved the email on purpose in case I ever needed to bring it up. I had a tax Whoa. attorney at the time. He has, he he has proof for the first time ever. State. He had always done my taxes for me. He had always filed my, my federal and my state income taxes. For and me. he did it wrong. I explained to him, I'm now moving across the country. Should I get a new tax attorney in Washington state? Yes. Because obviously that tax attorney. Now, this is a terrible fucking question. Imagine you're working... Let's say you're a doctor or a tax attorney and your fucking guy comes to you and tells you I'm moving across the country. Should I get a new guy? Do you want to lose that client and forward them to, to some of your colleagues or somebody else? Or would you want to serve that client yourself? Because it's already your client and it's going to be easier and everything. This is such a fucking dumb question. Should I get a new fucking tax attorney? And, and you ask your tax attorney. Attorney would be more versed. It's kind of fucking silly. In the, the tax codes and things out there in case there are additional taxes and things I need to pay. And he literally in writing said, no, I am able to take care of all your tax needs moving forward. And I did research and I found out that in the state of Washington, there's no state income tax. What you do is unique and it's not considered something that you would have to register as a business for. Therefore, all you need to do when you go out there is pay federal income taxes, period, and you're good. I don't know about I this. I don't know about this. That's uh, American stuff, so I can't. 14 all the way I don't really know. until now. Okay, so there you go. By the way, to clear the air here, because that's the, the the actual tax nitpicks. I don't know anything about it, and I don't want to research enough because it's not interesting enough. Just like uh, talking about DSP's political fucking views. That shit is boring. Nobody would fucking care. It's dumb as fuck, and it's gonna be just divisive to talk about. And uh, the tax is shit. I just don't know anything about it. So yeah, there's a lot of people have misconceptions. My tax attorney in the state of Connecticut was a certified public accountant, 
was a dean okay. of accounting at a college for several years. This and was means one of the highest uh, accredited guys in the state of Connecticut. This is not some Joe Schmo asshole who I just got. And by the way, I paid this guy thousands of dollars. Thousands with an L. I think this much. Thousands. Me was like over fifteen hundred dollars one year to do my taxes properly. Yeah, you suck, DSP. You're getting scammed left and right because he has he. I don't know if he trusts people too much or. They just see him for how dumb he is and they just decide, you know what, I'm gonna fucking scam his stupid ass. Or maybe they just see him and he's generally an unlikable person and you just want to fuck him over. There's some of those people, I don't know why you would want to do it, but yeah. Uh, DSP is off today. I happen to know if he's off or not today. Unlike other times where I just expect him to start streaming and then somebody tells me in chat he's off and then I get um, owned, I guess. Own the trolls, dude. This was supposed to be like one of the best guys in Connecticut to do taxes. So when I'm paying that much and he has that much credit and that much accreditation, and he tells me, don't worry, Phil, I'll take care of you. So I he got a lot him. of clout. I mean, I would trust him too, but that's, I don't know. You probably want to get a second opinion before you go to your tax guy and you ask them, should I get a new tax guy and not pay you anymore? Because this is what he asks the, them. Should I get a new tax guy and not pay you anymore? Yes, Phil, that's great. Please don't pay me. Please, go pay somebody else for the work that I can do for you. Boy, but apparently he fucked it up, so he, yeah, maybe he was trash. Maybe DSP was trash. That's the thing in everything. Because it can be a clear-as-day scenario of what happened. I would still question that DSP fucked something up. The same shit happened with the Amazon package delivery, where... I don't think any of the detractors believed his fucking bullshit of the delivery guy wanting to steal his package. Then they called him on the phone and threatened to fire him. And that's why he came back, which is just absolutely silly. And in this case, of course, I don't fucking believe him. But even if it was clear as day, I would still question maybe he fucked something up. Maybe he said something wrong to the fucking tax guy that's is not what he needed the service to be. I don't really know. But there's a very high likelihood that he fucked something up. He's fucking stupid, right? He is what? stupid, though. He is stupid. Not the guy that just admitted in the last 40 minutes of getting scammed twice. Why am I stupid for trying someone stupid? that's supposed to be held in high regard and high respect? Unbelievable, okay? Unbelievable. Now. He is unbelievable. Hold on. Some shout outs. Shout out to Retro Jim who did a 10-bit cheer. He says, have you thought about manually playing more ads for Twitch added revenue? Same between tried appearing right? offline. No. The bottom line, folks, the more ads you play, the more annoying your stream is. Yeah. No on shit, Twitch, Phil. Which is not great. Even if I were to run a ton of ads, I barely make any money. I'd rather just have entertaining streams for you guys than have ads, ads, ads. And the bottom line is, you guys cheer, sub, and tip enough that I don't really have to worry about running ads. That's why you don't see a lot of ads on my streams, okay? Golden Coast did a 30. Oh, he said no shout out. Never mind. Never mind. He said oh, no shout out. I got a $100 tip from Al Kane. Hey, great. I, I, I don't know. I don't know what in this 40 minutes was worth investing $100. I actually don't know. I absolutely don't know, matter of fact. From him crying poor and telling you that he's way too stupid to have money. Because that's his issue. That's fundamentally his issue. He's way too stupid to have money. And he's also way too incompetent to do an actual job so he's there in the middle in purgatory and he says merry christmas my dude you've been through a lot over the years i watch you since web of shadows haven't been able to keep up with the stream since i'm older now adulting subs but keep, keep up the good work thank you alcade for the hundred dollar tip i really do appreciate it thank you thank you for helping me thank you ak, ak, ak. and he was actually a little bit more excited than than uh, nowadays Back in the day when he was begging. Nowadays, all his, all the life out of him is just gone, man. It's all just about the money. And about not liking to stream. Which he doesn't say, of course. He, he's doing it for the profit and for the love of the gaming. Which, by the way, last night he didn't get the money he wanted. So he stopped playing the game. And he stalled for tips for like 15 minutes. Big ups. Go That's ahead. great. Goledin Silence subscribe to the channel. Thank Go you, Goledin. Goledin Silence for the sub. And we're now up to 326 subs, the most I've ever had at once on Twitch here, folks. Very nice, right? Wait, <clears throat> Very nice. 300 subs? Yo, it got 
much more as time went on. He was having 600, 700 subs. I think at some point he was having over a thousand in the Emerald Seven Days, but I'm not sure exactly on the on the number figure right there. Okay. By the way, a bunch of idiots in stream chat. A bunch of idiots. Why did Phil pay Liana's bill? Why did Phil pay pay Liana's uh, Because. I yeah, know. well, you probably should have. I don't sounds know. Sounds like you're I listening to detractors because you're stupid. Sounds Sorry. like, just... dude. Sounds like the detractors don't even give a shit. So that's why they they're talking shit like this. It, they're making a bunch of uh, theories of what can be happening because they don't give a shit. That's not their life. They're just some guy on the internet. Sounds like you're stupid. Sounds like you're I stupid. Didn't say I ever did that. Okay. <clears throat> well, you said it was a big bill, which the amount of complaining he did implied that he had a at least a, an element of paying that bill, at least a little bit. All right, let's continue. All right, let's continue so, instead. I get this letter in the mail in September. Now, keep in mind, this is in the midst. The hardcore gaming season is starting up. I'm busy as hell. You guys. Oh remember? yeah, it was like seventeen hundred subs. Because I, I had a figure like this in my mind, I think like 1600 or something, but I, I didn't want to be spreading fake news. But since I saw someone said it in chat, then I'm going to say it and I'm going to spread it. Going over time with <laughs> Maybe it's not real, dude. Who cares? The Who cares? cares? It's fucking DSP shit. I get this. I'm not talking about the uh, important right. stuff here. I get this letter. Like a gaming. And the letter says. Or taxes. We suspect that you are doing business in the state of Washington under the name DSP Gaming. Lol. Okay. But we, instead it was Burnell Productions, by the way. believe that you need to register. So, so Burnell Productions is the official name of, of DSP. And, and the prestige he gives it, I, I don't even know why I would be telling you. And he can be telling you. And he's uh, you probably know already. Uh, the company's name is Burnell Productions. is internet content creation. Yeah, so this is what the company is. Also live video this shows. is the fucking company. The Burnell Company. Burnell Productions. <laughs> I fucking love this guy. The, the amount of prestige he puts on actually not really prestigious things is uh, is impressive. I can say a lot of things about DSP that I would qualify as impressive, but they're all negative stuff. It's all like the begging and the, the low effort and guilt tripping, manipulating, not even manipulating, uh, lying, not lying. I don't think he's impressive at lying. He's actually pretty bad at lying since he tells us. He tells us only what he decide to tell us, and he still ends up contradicting himself most of the time about a variety of stuff. A, state business and occupation taxes. Please answer all of these questions for us regarding okay. you and your business. Now, I get this letter. I'm like, what the hell is this? So I immediately oh, no. write my taxes. Derailed his day. From Connecticut to let him know that I got this. I answer all their basic questions. Now, originally, they wanted me to fill out all these forms and shit. And I'm like, well, these forms and shit. Answer this information about forms are for suckers. That's what my tax attorney does. So I basically called the guy, left him a voicemail. We, we played. Both the stuff. guy. Did he masturbate on, on a stream? Finally, the guy. He emailed me and I said, good. Now we can finally talk and, and, and you can be in detail rather than just fucking doing voicemails and never reaching each other. So I answered all his initial questions uh, via email. Okay. In the meantime. My tax attorney comes back to me and he goes, all right, so what kind of questions did he ask you and all that? And I tell him, he's like, okay, let's see how he responds. So. This guy from oh, lozenge, fucking lozenge mouth, dude, come on, cut it, cut it. It's not funny anymore. It's not fun, it's not chill or interactive in any way. But he needs it, uh, dude. Why? He's, um, he's he sick. Responds and he says, well. It's not clear, but based off the initial information you've provided me, I think that you should have registered for a business in 2014. You should be paying these taxes all along. Yeah, you're a fucking Therefore, scammer, Phil. Here's That's form. what they told him. Dear DSP Gaming, you're a fucking scammer. Give us the money or we're going to break your kneecaps immediately. Register to become a business. On the next day. And now I'm going to calculate this. They're going to send the guys with the tracksuits and the big hammers. Whoa, 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 whoa. Trust me, that's how they are. I'm European, dude. Trust me. I'm giving you a very accurate description. They have hammers and crowbars. Whoa, 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 whoa. I am not, you know, I whoa. have not dealt with any of this shit. I have not paid any taxes. Don't be fucking, don't be sending me these mails. I don't pay this. I didn't sign up for this. Get the fuck out of my mailbox. My tax attorney who 
who's going to handle all this. So I did. I had my tax attorney fill out this information form and everything so that he could communicate with the guy from the state of Washington. <clears throat> this was all going on through September, early October, okay? <clears throat> so, finally, late September. Hey, is that lozenge tasty? I go to my tax attorney. Is it robust? I didn't go to him, but I emailed him again. I said, robust fucking laws and going on? suck on you that told me phil when i moved here that you did the research and you found out that all i owed was federal taxes what you know this guy is seems to be really going at now the the issue here issue here is that what i would consider a mature adult what they would do in this situation is have some knowledge about their taxes you know figure it out with their tax guy but also have the knowledge yourself so you can know that he's not going to end up actually scamming you. And you should also know uh, because you get a better insight of your business. And, you know, the, all the numbers that keep going on. Because the tax guy, he's cool. And he does the numbers. And he crunches everything and tells you what you need to pay. But you knowing stuff and having some sort of, I mean, insight for your business is a good thing. So, of course, as always, he didn't know anything. So he just wanted to give someone the money to think for him. And then the guy didn't do a good job. For all I know. After me now, okay, for this, what the hell is going on? And he comes back to me and says, Phil, I'm going to be honest with you. Phil, I'm, I'm going to be head. honest with you. He tell him, I'm going to be honest with you. You should get a tax attorney in your state because oh, at this point coming after you. Yeah. And you'll know better than me. To which I said, that is bullshit because I trusted you and I paid you. To do yes, that's where the scam comes in. That's exactly what I told you guys. That's exactly what I told you. A guy uh, that provides a service for a certain amount of money, you come to him and you tell him, should I go to a different guy and pay him instead? And he's going to tell you, even if he knows that he might fuck up the job and not get it done properly, chances are he's going to tell you that he's going to do it right. And then hopefully after the fact figure out how to do it right if he didn't know or something but this didn't happen didn't happen it got debunked do my taxes properly and now you're basically just throwing your arms up into the air and saying oh no responsibility oh. here right yeah well that's dumb <laughs> that, that's is, dumb from on his I side think this guy knows that he's in trouble yeah I probably knows that if i were to go after him you were not going to go after him that's why people fuck with dsp as much as they do because they know for a fact that he's not gonna come after them because he's first of all he's a pussy he can't stand the beef he can't hold it he can't it's too toxified for the beef he can't handle it and he's too broke to give out lawsuits and stuff that's why people mess with him because he's fucking easy to mess with he's very messable if that's a word very messable just as uh, as much as he is punchable basically for this that he could get into major trouble because i actually have email okay uh, but are you gonna take any measures we we come to the the same place we always do are you gonna do something about it no well that's why they're gonna keep fucking with you because they know you can't do anything about it and people love fucking with people that can't do anything about it improving that he told especially me. if they're if they're toxic as fuck that's even a, a layer that makes it of uh, whatever it makes it I guess more more appealing to mess with the SP. That no, he could handle my tax needs in the future. Okay, and that he had research. I even have it in writing. I research, and there's no state income tax. Therefore, all you need to do is pay federal tax. I have this in writing. However, the problem here, folks, is that legally, all I could ever go after this tax attorney for is number one, fees, and number two, interest that have accrued on taxes that are considered unpaid. All right. The fees and interest, right. maybe a couple thousand dollars. Who knows? I don't know yet. I don't even know what I owe yet. I don't know what I owe yet until calculations are done, which is apparently going to take place in January. Okay. But that being said, to go to court and sue this guy for whatever the fees. Uh, no, you're not going to do that. Interest is, is not worth it. It's going to cost me more to actually file the lawsuit and go after this guy. And to the time investment to go to court for the time investment, yeah, is going to. I mean, yeah, it's a time investment to go to court, so obviously. This point, but this guy pretty much knows. Oh well, I fucked Phil. I fucked Phil. Phil. I know that he's not going to come after me. It's for like it. Liana, that's what she's thinking. Oh well, I fucked Phil. It is what it is sometimes. And I'll, you know, if I were rich, 
yeah, on principle, maybe I would go after him. But at this point, it doesn't make any sense for me to do so because all I'm ever going to get is pay more and do more work and be away from streaming and everything every day that I need to do to pay my bills to try to go after this guy. So literally, this guy gets away scot-free. All right? He gets away scot-free. Nothing I can do about it. Um, giving his Just like DSP gets away scot-free for, for most of the, the toxic bullshit he's done. I'm not going to do that. Um, I'm just screwed in that regard. All right? So I went in late September, and I saw a new tax attorney here in the state of Washington. And that tax attorney basically told me the following. He said... Yeah, that's a gin lozenge. It's an alcohol-infused lozenge, I guess, like 40%. The good news is your tax attorney in Connecticut always did your taxes correctly for what he actually filed. So when he was filing the state income taxes in Connecticut, he did them right. When he was filing my federal taxes every year, he did them right. So okay. I don't ever have to worry about, oh, no, in three years' time, now the federal government will come after me to bite me in the ass and say your taxes were done all wrong. But that's what... Is going to happen? No. Well, they're not done all wrong. He just doesn't have the money to pay them. Even what this new tax attorney says, he says, no, your stuff was done correctly. Don't worry about that. But, yeah, basically, no matter what, if you're making money, you're going to pay taxes somehow, okay? So even though I don't pay state income tax, at least some of my income should have been considered taxable income since I moved here. And yeah, I should have been paying some kind of tax to the state of Washington. Some kind of tax. How much of what I make is considered taxable per the business and what isn't? That's what's still under review. Right oh yeah, and the I'm I'm also pretty uh pretty convinced that he didn't explain or portray his situation properly in front of the Connecticut guy. Because he was, as as DSP said, he was a dean. He was, uh, you know, like an old scholar. So he's probably a boomer. He doesn't know much about streaming and, and how the tax situation is there. Probably. I don't know. Maybe he does. Maybe he was great. Or maybe he fucked DSP intentionally. I, I can't really tell. Right now. Okay. That's what's still in a state of flux. And I don't know what I owe yet or anything. I'll know again by hopefully mid-January. I'll have all this information. But basically, um, I got screwed. And basically this guy got is now, screwed. I'm in a situation where basically we got chilled. Told, all right. It's gonna be thousands of dollars. No matter thousands. what thousands of dollars. With an and L. I'm gonna have one lump sum. He, he likes taking that L at the end of January, and that's gonna be the payment for all of 2017. So whatever I make by the end of this year, there's gonna be a calculation done. I don't know if it's gonna be all of my income or some of my income, whatever it is. Calculation will be done, and I'm going to owe that amount of money due at the end of January, no matter what, okay? Also, I'm going to be billed by my tax attorney for all the work that he's been doing. He's going to make that calculation for me. He's also going to be working with the state of Washington on the back taxes. Now, that means taxes that I should have been paying since mid-2014 when I moved here until the end of 2016 where those were all unpaid and considered overdue. So two and a half years of back taxes. Damn, that's, fees, uh, that's some time. interest, all that accrued. There's going to be a big lump there that I owe. Now, what I'm hoping... Oh, it's hope again. It's hope. The, the hope the, segment. The, the state of Washington, my situation. That he loves I to hope about stuff. Ends meet, that every How are you barely making ends meet? People that are... This is a massive fucking disrespect to people actually barely making ends meet. Because this fucking pathetic piece of shit is sitting there in this fucking gated community in the suburbs, chilling and interacting, to his own words, every single fucking day of his life, playing fucking video games and getting paid for it by people's actual uh, charitable contributions, if we're gonna put it in the scamful way. And he's talking about people barely getting by, which are actual people like that. They have to feed families. And no, I don't mean families by uh, a a fucking cat and a wife that works part-time because let me tell you a family that is making ends meet doesn't have anybody working part-time they all work at least 40 fucking hours a week because that's what en making ends meet means that's what it represents month you know i'm making ends meet paying for fucking wwe champions going to fucking fred meyer buying a bunch of garbage and then anyways still getting doordash 
making making fucking ends meet minimum payments on a lot minimum of fucking payments to make every payment every month and i'm not in a situation where i have any liquidity i don't have the money to pay these taxes yeah because you didn't build any liquidity it doesn't just fucking spawn it's not an rng it's not a loot box it's not a hulk hogan pole a liquidity is something that you build for yourself and you didn't because you were too busy buying fucking statues that are worthless put me on a payment plan that every month I pay a little bit and maybe it'll be a little years, bit five years who knows but every month a million I'm years probably all right very likely and to be a million my years tax, my current new tax attorney now says he thinks he's fairly confident that he'll be able to work with the state of Washington and get them to agree to do something like that all right not not a hundred percent but he's hoping okay so we'll see so that I don't even know yet and I've actually was told by the state of Washington that um that they don't even know when they're going to have that information done. Like, they can't even give me a date. Maybe it'll be January, maybe it won't. I don't even know when the hell they're going to do this calculation and tell me, here's what you owe. Doesn't know anything. On a payment plan. Yet so again. It could, it could spring but they didn't moment. tell him, dude. They didn't fucking tell him. January as well. Did he ask is the real question. Of any date when they're gonna but do he's this. Phil, so you have to tell him everything. Because he is special. In case you don't remember. That work give me he that is question. special. He is always right. different from everybody else. In some yeah. way. Somehow. Interesting to know, I asked the state of Washington, that initial letter you sent me and you said DSP Gaming, right? How did you get word that I had anything associated with me called DSP Gaming? It doesn't even make sense because I'm not registered as DSP Gaming anywhere. It's just a YouTube channel. Registered as uh, Burnell Productions. Told that On demand begging my services. Name had by the registered way. me for the mailing the business mailing list for the state of Washington. That's why during the summer I had suddenly started receiving all of these business mailings in the mail for contractors and doctors and everything. And what the state of Washington does is once a year it reviews that information and they had received an anonymous tip Anonymous tip. Someone hey, someone was doing business under the name DSP Gaming, and here's your evidence. Check the mailing list. So they did. They saw that, and that's when they started to investigate me. I, uh, uh, yeah, um, that that is a good thing, as far as I know. Anonymous tips like that, because I see this guy, and I say to myself, dude, this guy is fucking shady, and there's all kinds of reasons why, and all kinds of video evidence of shit that he's admitted. Uh, if it was possible, I would fucking report him as well because this guy's fucking shady they can look into him because as far as i can see he lied at least on the bankruptcy at least on that and he got so so lucky with that that it was pandemic that the the bankruptcy call got a bunch of trolls on it even though it made for some good content short term it it helped him actually it very much helped him get the bankruptcy because it made him as this massive, massive victim. And then they actually kind of, um, I guess, believed his drama and decided to look at him as a victim and kind of dismiss everything else they've got. So, hmm, interestingly enough, right? Interestingly enough, I started getting troll messages during the summer. Troll saying messages. We're going to bite me in the butt. And the next thing you know, an anonymous tip comes into the state of Washington. And by September, well, they're Maybe invested. because they know you don't pay your fucking taxes, scumbag. Hmm, I wonder if there's some correlation there. Yeah, fucking trolls fucked everything. They ruined so once everything. once again, once again, trolls. I was just trying to have a lot of money, dude. Why can't people leave me alone? Right? Even with everything trolls, going on. Once again. They knew... How messed up my life had been. They knew that I'd broken up my five-year relationship. That's not good enough. Phil's life isn't ruined yet. He's not dead. So we got to keep going. Let's just keep Phil's going. Phil's life isn't ruined yet. Let's People try. actually want DSP to die. There's so much better content if he's not dead. So much better. Uh, big ups Omega Kirk for Super Chat. Who, uh, super Sticker, actually. Which uh, is a behind-the-scenes Super Sticker. That's a very nice one. Big ups to get him on every possible thing we can unbelievable yeah we have to okay. kill phil um, have to kill phil and that's the situation i'm in right now we're by it's the uh the it's the trolls fault a fault i got caught breaking the rules but i've been doing it for a long time dude year come on excuse me not the end of the year by the end of january i'm gonna owe a big amount of money for the a big amount of money by the way 
I'm gonna prepare your wallets for a big amount of money given to this fucking internet guy who sits there and plays games and never does anything wrong. Give him all your money. I'm gonna owe my tax attorney a big amount of money for whatever work he's gonna do in January on my taxes. All right. Which is probably gonna be thousands of dollars because he's very expensive. And eventually I'm gonna owe another big payment that hopefully they'll put me on a payment plan for. Okay. And it doesn't even end there, folks. I hate to tell you, there's even more bad news. All right. Um, basically, the good news is you guys have been helping me out recently, right? Oh, you, the good news Here's is I've, I've been managed. I managed to yeah. manipulate you very effectively. That is the good news. This have been amazing. Which is, of course, now this discussion about how great his fans are immediately after foreshadowing a massive amount of money to give to the government. It's very natural, very natural transition into you guys have been giving me so much money. I've been loving it. It's my favorite thing ever to come here and get your money. I love it. If, again, if this thousand dollar tip, I just got a hundred dollar tip. All these tips. Whoa, added, these hundred dollar tips. What about the one dollar tips? What about them? You beg for them as well, right? They make up the, a lot of dollars. All right. And thank you. No, they don't matter. Like I said, honestly, they don't I worth no anything. The situation. It's not like I can suddenly sell stuff to pay this. I have nothing to sell. And I'm already working myself ragged. Listen to my voice. I'm already working. Oh, myself my ragged. God. Working himself ragged in the most pathetic thing in this entire situation that he believes himself a million percent that he works his fucking ass off. He believes himself. How can you be this dishonest to yourself? How? Years of delusion and narcissism. The narcissism, that's the that's the big one. That is the big one. Because that makes you love yourself and believe yourself no matter what. And believe that you should also be believed all the time and you should be loved all the time. Because you are you, dude. You are Phil. Phil is Phil. How can you not like Phil? He's a nice guy and he works his ass off every day. I work longer hours or whatever than what I'm already doing. Um, so you guys and gals, do your contributions are literally saving my ass. However, I know there's always another. However, there's always another twist, right? There always Whatever another is twist. Math. That's the spiral. Yeah. That's how spirals go, Phil. All there's all always a twist. Taxes were based off of last downward year. spiral. Income, what I made last year. I can already tell you guys. <clears throat> You guys have been so generous this year. You guys have been so generous. In 2017 than I did in 2016. Guess what that means? I'm More taxes. Blow. Whoa. Whoa. It blows my fucking mind. The audacity of this bitch. The audacity of this bitch. Guess what, you guys? I've been loving those tips. But you know what it means? I need to pay more taxes, so I need more money. But that also means I have to pay more taxes. So send me untaxable contributions somehow. More taxes than what I've paid coming up in April. Godlike. Godlike. And only this fucking asshole can pull it off. Because, like I've said before, he believes himself. And when you genuinely believe yourself, you'll find people that will believe you as well. Because you're somehow convincing to them. Despite all the evidence to the contrary. You should just believe him. Just take his word for it. Come on. DSP's word. It's worth nothing. Nothing. Just off of as if I were going to make the same amount of money and I know I made more this year. So now I got another big tax payment that's going to come due in April. Oh, by the way, there's this whole new tax plan that Republicans just passed in the United States and no one's sure how it's going to work yet. I may end up owing less taxes for 2018, I may end up owing more. Yes, you want to emphasize on owing more. You always want to do that if you're a scammer. You always want to emphasize on owing more money. So, of course, the possibility of getting more money is bigger. And I don't know until the actual tax information law gets given out to tax attorneys so that they can do all this work. So, again, it seems to me like no matter, damned if you do, Damned if you don't, right? So I need to raise money in order to save my Hey, big ups to the mods for banning those bot accounts in chat, but I'm not really a stickler for it. If you can ban them, you can ban them, but it's not mandatory, I guess. Just don't click on their links. It's obvious it's a bot, so just don't, don't go with it. But uh, yeah, big ups, you guys. After these state taxes out of nowhere that came up out of nowhere. 
So people come out, we're supportive of Phil. Let's cheer, let's up, let's tip. They people do are it. supportive Great. of now Phil. Now the state taxes, but now federal tax. Oh, now you owe more because you made more money. Oh, no. Now, where does this money magically fucking come from? You know yeah. what I mean? I'm, I'm confused, something. honestly. There's always something. There's always something around the bank. But I mean, especially with uh, with income like, like his, that is not consistent. And of course, the... Um, what, what you call it, dude? Um, yeah, a job like this that doesn't have consistent income, you can't predict anything. Good luck getting out of this tax situation because you're going to be making more money and then you have to pay more taxes. So it's all all like that. Big ups Warren for his super chat. Uh, if he could figure out how to register as religion. Come on, dude, you can do it. Anybody can do it. If L. Ron Hubbard did it, you can do it. Anyone can do it. Especially Phil, probably. He could have a religion. Come on, Onision has a religion. It's not a recognized one, but he has it. You know, and it's to the point where... He got it. You know, I love what I do. I yeah, do. right. I absolutely love doing this as a job, but... I I don't know. I don't know. As as a kind of an average guy, I would prefer um, working in a supermarket like I have before, every day, full time, and knowing that my livelihood is somewhat secure because of course I have my contract and everything then doing something like this for somewhat more beneficial because of course I, I don't see myself making as much as DSP if I was like full-time guy but let's say for well, maybe like 50% less but I would still prefer working in a supermarket it's just more chill on the soul man so you don't end up looking like him when you're 40 so yeah when will I ever be able to to just be not in a situation? Never. Where something else comes. Never. Up something else. Never. Never. Because of the champions. Because of the Hulkster. That's why. Big up Omega Kirk for the super chat. It's the hate religion. It's the religion of hate, dude. Every other religion is is just uh, about love and understanding and acceptance. Except the hate religion. That's just based on hate. What else comes up to fuck me. Every based turn, on hate. Right? it's a hate-based religion something else creeping up and uh, you know i don't know if it's gonna my whole life might be like this i might be like this till i die where every single day something else new is gonna happen um well i don't know i'm honestly fingers crossed because i genuinely don't believe dsp as a person deserves in any fashion to be in the position that he just described free of debt and free of of pressure or stress i believe it should be exactly the opposite because that's what he kind of deserves as a person from his actions and his words <clears throat> i don't know and his belches and his snorts um but anyway anyway that's the situation right now currently with my tax that's the situation that's, that's the bottom line guys cheering subbing and tipping you've been helping me so much you have no idea i'm so pre so appreciative of what you guys have done for me okay now if he was appreciative he would uh, not waste all that money on doordash and cook instead he was so appreciative he would not waste that money on ww champions and invested in his business and his debts so yeah he's not actually appreciative now i'm not he likes having it now that's a good thing he likes having the money everybody likes having money but he's not really appreciative because his actions don't express that no, and i actually want to talk a little bit about and i agree with uh giving a streamer or anybody who you want to actually just give money to for whatever they want to do it for but if you're begging for taxes for example and then there is definitive proof that you're not spending this money on taxes then you kind of get the right to ask what the fuck did my money go for kind of you do even though you gave it to the guy for you know whatever they want but they kind of lied to you so that's an asshole um my future plans all right and then i'll take a break and then we'll come back and we'll have a big christmas segment sounds good oh yeah let's see the future plans because we are from the future remember it's 2021 end of 2021 hey big up skate army watch for the big super chat bomb so rather than withhold 30 percent of his income for taxes he keeps a hundred percent and then asks for more income to pay his back taxes but then that income has to be taxed which means he needs more tips. Big thing. Yes, this is a it's a galaxy brain moment. Galaxy brain. Universe brain, even. So, my future plans. Let's right. see. What do Let's I have? see. 
the plans future plans. Well, first of all, some people have asked me, Phil, what are your New Year's resolutions? You know, I have um, two New Year's resolutions. Nothing. Beg more and get more money and pay less taxes. I have two. Number one. More to support. Get the state tax situation. Okay, so number one, his resolution is that people would give him money. Because every time, now every time, he talks about wanting to get over some financial hurdle. That's not him talking about, you know, going to work and doing stuff. That's him talking about asking you for money. That's what he's talking about. He's not actually talking about working. He's actually talking about asking you for money. For all of these situations. So basically his number one resolution. That is actually something that is not up to him. Is that you would give him more money. That's his resolution. He's hoping that you would give him more tips. Whatever. The Let's see what the second one is. Might be in and did this happen? Yes it happened. It worked. Apparently. Whatever they may be. To somehow get through them. And to keep my house. <clears throat> okay well that happened. I'll be honest with everyone. Mr. I'm Success. Very nervous. I am. I'm very fucking nervous. When have you not been nervous? Oh yeah, when he was flexing in 2011 for making a lot of money. I'm very nervous. I'm and he, he was talking about when he was putting up his Christmas tree ornaments. We watched in the stream a couple of days ago. He was talking about how the guys from the FGC, he doesn't want their fucking lives, dude. They're, they, they just go to tournaments. They don't have friends. They don't have an actual life. They're fucking trash. Those guys. He was making a living, playing video games. He was like, getting the YouTube money. He wanted to give him promotion. They fucking suck. They suck. Oh, okay, he didn't give him promotion. I'm gonna lose my house. Yeah, this because... fucking guy. Then he wasn't nervous. But you see him when he's not nervous. He's a pathetic, arrogant piece of shit. And when he's nervous, he's a smug asshole for no reason about everything. When he's fucking nervous. Guy that tells you on stream he's nervous. And, and flexes on you and, and becomes arrogant and smug at every little thing that you were wrong about and he was right about. Very fucking nice. The nervous guy. The only liquidity that I have, fucking I don't have liquidity. any What is statues? I don't have credit cards or anything that I could charge anything to. I don't have any more credit cards. This is the first thing he talks about. Get a job? No. Credit cards. Let's talk about credit cards. And more credit. And accruing more debt. Because when you're in a position where you're deep in debt, the thing you want the most is to get more debt. It's like being a, a, in debt to a drug addict, uh, to, a, to a drug dealer, and then going to their boss and borrow money from them to pay the drug dealer. Very fucking good idea. Ew. Get some more credit cards. Until the government literally tells you, DSP, you're too stupid to have a credit card. Stop having credit cards. And they just take away your credit. Like exactly what they do. Like, uh, what they did to him. Loans I'm paying. I can't take out any more personal loans. To Fucking credit cards. It seems like the only liquidity. Liquidity. That Toxicity. That I, that I have in my house right now. A lot of people. Yeah. Say, Why Imagine. Don't condo in Connecticut? I the try. the millions. Uh, millions. Okay, it's over a million. So let's say millions. The the millions of dollars he's earned through everything while he's been doing it. No liquidity. It's all garbage. None. None. This guy could have built a life that people dream of with the opportunities he's had. But instead, he fucking pissed it all away and he drank it away and he ate it away. What a cautionary tale. I, last year I tried. They won't let me because the, I owe way more on the mortgage than that house. Since I bought that house, it was worth over $100,000. That's what I owe on the mortgage. Th that condo in Connecticut is now worth $60,000. Because the real estate well, market big ups, Phil. Plummeted. Big so fucking I ups. I owe more than I, than I can sell it for. Why can't I rent it? I looked into it. I can't find any reliable renter, rental company. Reliable company. rental company. Did you? Uh, I looked into it, by the way. He did a couple Google searches and couldn't find a reliable company. Because maybe they had a bad Google review or something. Because this guy, when he tells you he does the research, he doesn't. He does the most bare minimum, as always, as everything else he does, is the most bare minimum thing. It's whatever qualifies as research. What qualifies as research? Looking it up. That's what qualifies as research. You just look it up. That's it. Etiquette. The because when he claims that he's done research about stuff, and then he gives you his opinion, it's blatantly obvious that he did the bare minimum to know shit about this. Now, with fucking liquidity in his house, I can't tell you, because I don't have a fucking idea about that. But I'm pretty sure the way he does research is like everything else he does research for. The basic fucking thing. The bare minimum. 
ones that I found are very shady. Oh, well, we're not shady on the internet, but you could call me and I'll take care of it. I'm like, okay. Uh, and we're not like, registered on the internet. Only other rental company that's there, I don't like. That's they what they say. The company that deals with the, that building, and already they do a terrible job with the landlord. They do a terrible job with everything. I don't want to rely on them to rent out my unit because they do a terrible job for me now as an owner. Why would I think they're going to do a good job if I if they rent the place for me? So I can't even rent the this condo. I'm stuck with a condo in Connecticut that's worth shit. I can't sell it and I can't rent it. So it's just draining on my finances. Yeah. Because it's all your fault. Because when humans move across the country, you do something that is called long-term planning and planning your future and how you're going to live there. And a part of that would be to get rid of everything that costs you money in the current place. Because you know, you can't be in the current place because you're going to be at the different place. So yeah, well, he didn't do that because he thought he was a baller because of that. He thought life would be fucking butterflies and rainbows and unicorns sometimes and whales but it wasn't and he got fucked and he's still getting fucked every fucking month and i can't get rid of it the only thing that i have if i if i have to pay thousands of dollars in taxes is to sell my house this house yeah do it equity. do it that's an actual good fucking decision go live in some shitty place because it's like you don't need this fucking house it's a symbol of your status and of your success, we can call it. But your success is fucking credit cards. You move there with credit cards. Come on. Give yourself a break. I've looked into getting uh, either a second mortgage or refinancing yeah, this house. Yeah, get 10 more I mortgages. I qualify because I, owe to, I have too much debt in my name. They say your debt... I don't qualify for anything, any payment plans because I don't pay anything. Ratio. Why don't I qualify? It's too high. Go figure. Can't get you to budget for a refinance or a mortgage on your house. So I can't even use the equity in my house to do anything unless I sell the house. So basically, I'm screwed. Sell that unless bitch. Unless I can make enough money doing this to pay all my doing taxes. this somehow coming up somehow. This guy, a, a forty year old guy, almost. He looks forty, anyways. He was. He, he was relying on somehow, on the phrase somehow make this money to survive. With his family, by the way, the, the, the bitch he just moved in. Who, I think, she has a vision of him being a super successful guy. Unlike literally everyone else on Earth. I'm probably gonna lose my house. I don't know what else to do. Yeah, he was relying on somehow. That's how mature adults do it. Somehow, I'm gonna pay the bill somehow. Who fucking cares, dude? I don't have to do it, right? But you guys have been well, so just doing somehow positive. Yeah, Maybe I you guys have been so positive. Your positivity and, and good wishes. They pay the bills. Tremendously positive. So, so weird with just not saying just be straight up with it, man. Come on. You guys gave me a lot of money because that's what it is. And you can call it for what it is. You guys gave me a lot of money. That's that's cool. That's you fine. You're a streamer and they give you money so you can live. I expect them to give you money. But when you call it, call it, you guys have been very positive. You guys have been very generous. You guys in your charitable contribution, it seemed like you're going around, beating around the bush. Do not say money. Just say, dude, you've been giving him, me money. That's good. Maybe, you know, yeah. You know, what I'm doing right now in January, it's looking like I'm probably going to be able to, to, to have some really fun events and things that people fun are events. supportive of and everything. So basically... <laughs> <laughs> oh my god pre-ordering begathons this is what we're doing on christmas this is the christmas event part two the christmas event this is what we're doing we're pre-ordering a begging event which hopefully you guys are gonna be supportive and generous please capital letters um you know and what i'm hoping is that between all the stuff going on that I'll be able to pay these taxes and sell my and, and not have to sell my house um and be able to stay here and do everything you know uh the way that I want to hopefully For, we're hoping I, I, that's his business plan his new year's resolution is in a nutshell and that's exactly what it is and nothing more than this is that he hopes that he will survive because people will be generous this year. That's what that's what his business plan is. I'm going to hope. I'm going to hope.
uh the tips goal for tomorrow is probably gonna be i don't know i, I actually don't know i would say 300 but then he's gonna make a lot more but it's probably gonna be like 500 or something i don't know because he's gonna do one of those things that he does where he will anticipate the troll's reaction so he's gonna do the opposite thing because the troll's expected to be 500 so it's not gonna be 500 it's gonna be something else, but he's gonna get over 500, so it basically is. It's a, it's a thing that he does to be right in his mind. I have two New Year's resolutions. It's very superficial. The first one is to find a way through this tax situation. The, the first one is to hope, that's it. The hopeful segment. I'm finding myself in and keep my house. That's number one, all right? Number two is to have my girlfriend move in with me. Okay, day. well, this happened, but yeah, okay. The guy who's begging and doesn't even know if he can not... He can still live in that house a year from then or something like that. His uh, New Year's resolution is to spend money on moving his bitch in. That's his fucking New Year's revolution. Guy is in love, you guys. The better in 2018. Full-time beggar. Because right now, number one, like I said, it's the best relationship I've ever been in in my life, Okay. Yeah, if your parents loved you, you would have a better one. Imagine if your best relationship is with Cat. Cat! Catherine! Bill, come on! I feel like she's a soulmate. I do. I, I feel that. Do. And great. I, uh, I am in love with her, absolutely. She's in love with me. That's great. And if she were to move in, number one, she has a job that she, you know, can, can probably find a job out here similar or whatever and make income to help immediately. Number two... Cooking and everything, helping with the responsibility. Cooking. <laughs> the house so I can get <laughs> well, say say it's a double income household. I love this phrase, a double income household. Back to how I was, so I'm fucking not double income. He spends two incomes on WWE champions. He actually does. Like pretty much, if you crunch the numbers, it's it's the income of two average working uh, citizens. I have to rush to cook meals or whatever and everything. Rush like that. to cook meals. Um, rush to unfreeze some know, shit. Number three, quite honestly, it's I want to be rush, with, man. I, I'm, it's killing me to not be with it today. This morning, you know, talking with her. It's killing me not to be with her. Christmas. He's 16, by the way, because he's a middle-aged man. He should recognize that the situation he's in financially is not viable enough to have someone move in with him and spend a lot of money moving her in. That should be a mature adult thing to do, because if you're asking actually children for money on the daily, then you probably should be very, very cautious of where you spend the rest of your money. But he's he's not. So, yeah, you know what I mean? And we're like, it's our first Christmas together, but not together. It's awful because we need each other. We need that support and we, we're not there for each other physically right now. And it sucks. Hey, big ups so to Tyler for getting you know, some time off work that's cool the sooner is it a positive time off work or a negative time off work with me the better i don't know i mean literally i can't even what connotation did it have it to it until i get past late january with the tax situation once that situation is taken care of then at least i can entertain it all right but right now i'm between a rock and a hard place where if I, unless i can get past between dwayne johnson and a january, hard place i can't even begin to plan out the rest of my life which is what sucks i feel like yeah you've never been planning out the rest of your life your plan for the rest of your life has a disturbing number of uh the occurrences of the word hope and maybe pray a little bit and maybe beg even disturbing amounts so that's not really a plan that's more like a fan fiction that's more like a fantasy if you have to hope for every single thing that happens to you uh, that is good, you have to hope for it, then that's a fantasy. That's not really a plan. A plan features goals that are attainable, and it, it's very well described how they are attainable, and your plan is obviously the description of how you're going to do it. I'm in suspension. I'm in oh, suspended yeah. animation. Suspended because animation. Tax attorney who fucked me over. And trolls that no fucked his ass. And trolls. And now his ass is stretched. Who fucked That's his me words, over. by the way. It's in the song. And I have no restitution against. Isn't that nice? It's terrible, um, right? Isn't it nice to rely on actual anonymous internet people for your day-to-day -day lifestyle? Is this nice? I wouldn't say it's nice. It's not really a word that I would say about it. To have absolutely no control over your life, including not even when your day off is. 
because you depend on your wife's day off, which by the way is determined by some fucking manager at a supermarket. So big ups to DSP's mature adult life. Big ups to that. Massive sip is being taken right now around the globe. But that's my a life festive right sip. The good news is in 2018, if I can make things happen and come together and maybe my girlfriend can move in with me and I can keep this house. All right. Positive change. Number one, since now I'm going to get back into the swing of things, right? I've already decided I want to start doing stuff that people have been asking me for a while. Like um, what? A lot of people have been asking Let's me for see. cooking with the king. Well, that's not what? happening. Guess what? That's a scam. Guess what? No, false. That's clickbait. It's clickbait to hype you up for giving him more money. That's what it is. If I start making new meals and recipes with my girlfriend, I would definitely revive the series. Never. Right? Never happening. Now? No, I can't nope. revive cooking with the king. No, no, no. King. I don't even cook for myself. When I do no. for myself, it's something quick. I'm frying up a chicken sausage or something quick in a frying pan, you know, or, you know, it's a rarity if I even make myself any kind of a meal that takes more than a few minutes because I'm in such a rush constantly to get back to work. All right. But okay. So this know, is not happening. What else? Her. What else is not happening, by the way? Let's see. And we're adopting new meals and stuff. We, that could be adopting a series. Adopting new I meals. Show you guys the kind of stuff that we're making. It's cooking with the king returns, right? Um, And stuff like that. That's what I mean. Positivity could come back in a major way if I can number one keep the house and number two if she can move in so let's see the, my plan for 2018 since 2018 is my 10th year making internet content for you guys where Whoa. I like to do is a lot of things I like to maybe go back and play some of the best games I've ever played over the years some people have suggested heavy rain um this did not happen as far as I know which is kind of confusing because why wouldn't he play heavy rain again oh an actual interactive movie but I don't know Maybe, maybe he did play it, but that's like a, it's a nitpick. It's a small ass thing. Uh, Mass Effect 2 doing a, a negative or a, a fem evil fem Negative stationary. And stuff like that. Those could be amazing events that I hold. Yeah, an anniversary amazing special. events. Nothing DSP's ever done. I would constitute as amazing. Not, not really. Uh, I, I mean, maybe I was amazed when I saw him jerking off on stream, but yeah, I don't think amazing is, is a, is a fitting word right um me going back and watching my old playthroughs and doing reactions oh yeah watching his own playthroughs the shit that he can't stand doing that shit wow i love it you guys and you guys love it it's amazing compared to the stuff i used to do in the amazing can't it right risk a in the past pretty good right it could be very uh yeah when you said uh the stuff about the jews beneficial to everything it could be a reinvigoration there's things coming reinvigoration. up. For example, the Street Fighter 30th anniversary collection. That could uh, be very actually, okay. I'm from the future. And I will tell Phil from the past, unfortunately, what has happened to him in the future. Now, unfortunately, number one, Kat moved in. He was on stream. He was Um, I don't know if harassed is a fitting word, but she's never on stream again. So yeah, that, that fell apart. No cooking with the king. A successful bankruptcy, that's a highlight. A successful bank leaks, that's a highlight. Um, a lot of successful begging, that's a highlight. Uh, yeah, the Tevin's fault moment, that's that's a thing that happened when he got drunk on fucking Halloween. And yeah, a lot of begging. A lot of people leaving him, a lot of people dissing him, a lot of people hating him. And yeah, basically, that's it. That's what the future is like. No flying cars here. Just begging. Just more begging. No flying cars, no hoverboards. Well, we do have hoverboards, but they don't really hover. Very positive for me. Because those are games that I grew up with that I have a lot of knowledge of that I could do well in an online situation. And maybe people will come to watch me play them, right? And I can oh, do yeah. tutorial videos about them. Oh, yeah. Tutorial videos never happen. A lot of positive never happened debunked i'm debunking him in, in real time from four years in the past in the future activity possible but i have to get you know what i mean i have to survive i have to survive I have to survive to and not constantly be worrying about now taxes king of I, survivor uh, because of fucking things that people have done to me you know um <clears throat> so thank you guys for listening that was my 2017 holy shit what a year we had high highs with streaming getting better and better a new relationship that better I and better the streaming with the amount of trolling, trolling, the trolling taxes, five-year relationship ending, 
five year relationship ending different departments okay. attack situation i like um, how if if cat was watching this he would hear basically him shouting her out for being in a relationship and then being like well the bad thing is that i ended my five-year relationship with a girl that i liked well big ups cat if you're listening to this she got cucked she got cucked unfortunately i'm very happy in my new relationship but i ended my five-year relationship dude <laughs> what a year very fucking nice is the most tumultuous year that i've had in my whole life it's, it's so much shit going on yeah they can't film a season of survivor in gautopia it's way too toxic people are gonna die if anything i just hope that 2018 can be more positive okay wait is it f time are we going down i don't think so nothing is showing up it's all green here all right everyone so much time for some shout outs first of all let's do some shout outs shout out to Scruff Shark, who did a 10-bit cheer, and said, are you not worried about rushing into another relationship and it could lead into trouble? We love you, man, so we wouldn't want another incident like before. <laughs> another incident like before. It's a five-year relationship, you asshole. Another incident. First of all, another incident like before. A five-year relationship that was ruined by trolls. Ru what? What? Hey, big ups Omega Kirk for the Super Chat says, uh, it's been tough. It really is over the last decade. My life has been tough. It's been tough. You know, my life has been tough over the last decade. What? It, 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 is this fucking asshole not even gonna, gonna fucking admit that the relationship failing is, is fucking his fault? Because let me tell you this. This shit is not amicable. Leanna dumped the fuck out of his fat ass. Immediately. Immediately. He dumped his fucking ass. And he tried to, to get her engaged. And it didn't fucking work. But the trolls ruined it. It's like I fuck Leanna or something. Really? Did we ruin it? You got cucked by trolls. Your actual girlfriend left you because of fucking trolls. What a way to top off this abysmal fucking video. Okay. And, and amazing smugness. Look at this face. Let, let me get this again. A replay. First of all, another incident like before. A five-year relationship that was ruined by trolls. Okay, Phil, do you know how this makes you look? It makes you look like the most, most pathetic man alive. And let me tell you why. Because it's a five-year relationship with your closest person on the earth. And she fucking dumped your ass because of anonymous internet trolls. This is, I actually would, would like to believe this scenario, that his relationship fell apart because of trolls. He's so inept. His fucking girlfriend of five years dumped him because of trolling on the internet. Not his fault. Trolling. That's fucking toxic. That is fucking toxic. Okay. He can't <laughs> help it. Nothing is his fault. Nothing is his fault. It's not even her fault. It's some anonymous fucking asshole. On Twitter's fault, or on Kiwi Farm, or on YouTube even. Jeez. Now, so I fucking sad. Into. What a sad fucking existence. And Cat went to his ass. Versus back then. Great, Bill. When I started dating my girlfriend, that we were gonna have all that shit happen to us, right? Who knew that you know income levels could fluctuate? That Who knew he would jerk off on stream while having a girlfriend? That makes her kind of look bad, doesn't it? Doesn't it? If you have a girlfriend that you love and you've been with five years, and then you fucking jerk off on a live stream. That, that is great. That is really fucking chill and interactive. And she has to put up with this. She has to put up knowing that her fucking asshole of a dumb shit of a boyfriend bust a nut on fucking stream and ruined his fucking whole reputation about this. She has to live with this. And also he snores too much when he sleeps. So yeah, big ups. He didn't want to even wear the snort strap because he's too much of an asshole and cares about no one else but himself. We would have people swatting us. And we didn't know that. And we didn't know the amount of stress that we were going to be under. I don't think anyone could reasonably expect that because who knew it was a new thing. Who knew? Like, internet popular. Who knew coronavirus would be a thing? Who fucking knew? Internet famous as a YouTuber was a new thing. There was no way that you could predict what the fuck was going to happen. Now, But no, well, it wasn't new for some people, but for... For a person like DSP, it was relatively new. For a toxic shithead, 
it was relatively new to become popular. And nowadays a lot of them become popular, so it's not really new and you kind of know how to do it when you're one of them. Eventually you go and you box some uh, some washed up MMA fighters or something. East, I have some kind of an understanding and, you know, having conversations with my current girlfriend about stuff, you know, it's so, like I said, there's a difference. It's, there's, there's a difference. So you're, in, you're in the fucking honeymoon phase. Fucking idiot. You're you're still there. You don't even live together. There there's no difference right now. Cause with Liana, you were for five years. You went through the honeymoon phase. But when when you don't see any flaws in your partner, you went past that. Fact Come on. there, right? That Come on, don't be fucking silly like that. I met a girl and she's all nice to me. We're soulmates. Well, wait for a couple of years. Let's see then. The soulmates are usually together after like 30, 40 years. Here's someone who we love each other, we care about each other, and we fucking soulmates. He's acting like a like a Chad in high school that's dating a cheerleader. Dude, we're gonna be soulmates. We're like the most stable relationship for like two Me weeks. There. I mean, they are married now, and I don't give a fuck about their relationship personally. It's just funny to me because they're both little potato people, like weird, strange fucking guys. And it's just actually pretty interesting how they would interact. During the and from what we've seen on stream, it's very dry and boring interaction. It's really basic capacity interaction because with Cat, you can't really do much. She doesn't give you a lot of material to bounce off of, or she's not very funny, or clever, or educated, or can hold a topic. All her answers are I don't know, or I don't care, or this guy is a troll. That's basically all Cat can do. Trying times versus. It was a different kind of relationship that I had with my ex. Like what? Yeah. yeah, you had her for five years. Yeah, I mean, you had a relationship with her. Not you had her. Well, yeah, she was his daughter anyways, so yeah. Uh, but uh, yeah, after five years, relationships are completely different than after a couple of months after you started. Yeah, big ups the JG went out for the super chat. A trolls made Panda dump him. Buy two condos. Max out 14 credit cards. Whack on stream. Mobile game spending and file for bankruptcy. Big ups to the trolls. Well, that is the correct take. That is correct opinion. Uh, because funny enough, I think probably all of you are going to find this hilarious, but I don't think he finds the fault in himself in any of those, except maybe the credit cards, because that he would actually be probably not a, a real person and, and an actual fictional person. If you don't think 14 credit card debt is is your fault if you think it's somebody else's fault then you probably don't exist i don't believe people like that exist so you don't have to worry about that with me the choices that i make in that kind of regard are well thought out okay um really Kane, really really who took me a dollar really well thought out nothing is well thought out because all his plans for the future feature the word hope an overwhelming amount of times oh so no not really Nothing really is well thought out. Thought out. Long time when you have to rely on hope to actually survive. Watcher and lurker since you played Street Fighter 4 Madness series. Hope you have a good Christmas. Thank you much, Kane. Styles the deal. Brian, give me a hundred bit cheeries. It's Merry Christmas. Thanks, man. Thanks, Brian. I appreciate it. I hey, really Brian. That's the uh, the guy that uh, they played Apex Brian. together, a right? To say hello to you. Uh, in a few like, days. He seems like a nice guy. Resident Evil beating. And it seems like he he likes DSP out of I don't know feeling bad for him. Which don't. Don't feel bad for him. Feel bad for people that struggle. And struggle is a word that implies that you do something. To try and help yourself out of this struggle. And not just fucking hope. Mr. Fucking Hope. Don't feel bad for him. Not for a fucking moment. Not for a moment. The 10 bit cheer. He says, I think you'll get a tax cut, Phil. I mean, I may. This new tax bill may result in a tax cut for me. Or it could flip. I have no idea. I'm not going to, I can't worry about it until tax attorneys have the information and start doing work on it. All right. Jubaka did a 10 bit cherry says, Oh, how much is your condo rent wise? I'm looking for a place. It's not, I'm not, I can't rent the condo because I can't physically be She's there. So to do the pathetic, work to actually. Why not his parents? Are they actually incapable of doing it? It's not complicated. It's not complicated. Properties are rented out all the time. It's really not that much, but he had to bother with it. And it's not instant gratification and instant benefit. So it makes no sense for him to do it. Because he wants the instant shit. The gotcha stuff. He wants the gotcha mechanics. 
doesn't want the fucking long-term stability. Give me the fucking gotcha now. Give me now, the gotcha. It's out of the question. Put the gotcha in the well, bag. Morris Nobody gets chilled. Well, team star drama alert. DSP is officially in love. DSP really is officially a beggar. Do anything positive in regards to me? Here we are. Um, why would yeah? Why would he do anything positive? First of all, he's drama alert, and second of all, there's nothing positive to do about DSP. Unironically, there's nothing positive. I can't even make a five minute long edit with positive things about DSP. Not five minutes long. Because every one of those clips that I would put in this edit would have some bit of toxicity in it. Some bit. Even if it's him being grateful about tips, it's gonna be him mentioning how long since the last tip. If it's him being grateful about something else, it's gonna be him also saying how the trolls fuck with him all the time. There is no pure goodness. Or just like... Just... Just positivity. It always gets connected with some kind of toxic. Something toxic fucking thing on the planet i'm sure he would do a positive uh, video to help me out no the guy did a fucking no. positive thing in his goddamn life his whole fucking existence on youtube is based his off his whole existence drama. on youtube i love this the existence on youtube excuse existence on youtube well guess what phil the existence on youtube for people that don't do it as a job is actually fucking irrelevant it's irrelevant only your existence on YouTube matters because you have to beg people. Sucking the positivity out of others. All right. So he can make a buck. Sucking the anyway, positivity. Seaside did a 10 -bit you should suck some positivity. Says, since it worked out for him. Since now he can go and retire and DSP still begging. After these positive moments, right? Positive fucking moments. Uh, if you ever revive cooking with the king, you got to make your comeback no, video on Japan. He's Dramatic not doing it ever. Sauce. Well, the thing is. Stop asking him for it. <clears throat> The thing is, um, I already did the sauce. I already Stop giving him money and asking him things that you know if he if he's going to answer with a generic stupid excuse that would require him to put in some effort. So he's going to be like, no, I can't do it. And this generic excuse is why. So we should instead probably just make a, a video of, of his generic excuses and just post it for free. So if you even think about giving him money asking him for some dumb shit like this you can get your answer straight up i think that will be very productive i already have a step-by-step -step, uh a, a, a video series about the sauce so no i would not do cooking with the king with the sauce it would be new yeah fucking sauce that shit is garbage but cooking with the king with the sauce that's with liana we don't want her anymore he's there soup double g did a 13-bit cheer and this stupid message i'm not gonna read solid shock did a 55-bit cheer and he says uh Goodbye 2017, let's have 2018 and a, to be a great year. DSP, 10 years. Yes. Yeah, well, it was, it, it's still kind of was shit. Jeff Kim, 888, did a 20-bit cheer. Thank you, Jeff Kim. We had a 10-bit troll cheer from Trusty Hobo that I'm not going to read because I'm not going to waste my time. I'm and not going to read it. did a 10-bit cheer. Yeah, you should so. stop actually sending him money in, in any capacity because you're going to get more of a response from, uh, like, actually nothing. Nowadays, I think the, the thing is to, to troll Super Chat him with a, a name that is offensive to him like uh, phil spent a lot of money on wwe champions that's gonna be his that uh, that's uh, like the name you would say and then he can ban you but he can't actually uh un he can't hide your name well this is still stupid because you're giving him money and everybody knows he's spending his money on wwe champions good good job you told him where he's spending his money and where everyone knows his money is going everyone at this point come on it's not even a meme it's not a meme or a conspiracy it's really not so uh, don't waste your time now he's also giving me uh, relationship advice like i'm gonna listen so whatever all right folks it's time for a break when i come back it's going to be the christmas segment in this the segment christmas the show, segment the I worthless segment christmas. Tradition. Yeah, it's worthless. Done over the years. Worthless. Like actually, actually worthless stuff because he talks about some things that he did. He doesn't remember them properly. He doesn't know exactly what he's talking about. He asks chat. Chat, they're also confused because they're children. They don't fucking know anything. They're either children or really dysfunctional adults with uh, issues of liking to be humiliated and berated all the time. So yeah, his chat is kind of just as helpless as he is. Except apparently they have money to give him, which he doesn't have money to give anybody. So his chat is kind of better than him in, in a variety of ways. 
I used to do with my family, traditional foods, traditional things like that. And then I'm going to open it up to talk with you guys in the stream chat where we're going to talk all about. Oh, yeah, that's no, this is a talking him talking to his stream chat sucks because his way of interacting with stream chat sucks because he would ask you a question like chat. And then he would start reading one by one the things that are published. And answer to nothing. It's just going to be like, what did you have for Christmas? And he's going to start reading Nintendo Switch, PS5, Xbox. What kind of fucking interaction is this? You just It's just text to speech. He's not even responding to it. ...and stuff like that, all right? So thank you so far. Guys. Gives you the quick TTS. So far. We still have 326 subs, the most I've ever had. Thank you very much for the support when I come and back. And now that's about... As much as members we have nowadays, which is fucking hilarious. Imagine. It's the Christmas segment. Sound good? All right. About a 15 minute break. Then the Christmas segment. Thanks, everyone. I'll be back shortly. The Christmas segment. Well, I guess we're done with this. Let's see what else uh, is on the agenda for today. Hey, you got Red Dead Redemption. That's great. That's awesome. I played through it about a year and a half ago. I landed it to one of my friends. Still haven't got it back. But it's a good ass game. Now, let's see here. Christmas. Uh, let, let's see the, the thing that I started. But this is just the pre-stream, man. This is from last year. Look how the not so mighty have decayed. With the positivity and the Look at this. Wow. A Bob Ross t-shirt. The terrible, completely uninspired backdrop. It was one hell of a positive year for me on my streams. And everything kind of turning around when we came to public opinion and all kinds of stuff. Um... So thank you. Yeah, I haven't played a uh, Chernobylite. Thanks very much for that. Way I too really scary. appreciate that. And I certainly hope that you guys will enjoy today's special event. All right. So let's talk a little bit about the special event because there's a lot to talk about about what we're going to be doing today. Uh, it's only 10:47 a.m. right now. Okay, I'm just going to let it play today. and Starting skipping now. it because this is what awaits for you tomorrow. So let's be prepared because you know if you fail to prepare, then you're pre preparing to fail. And tomorrow was going to be failure anyways, unless he jerks off on stream and then Kat comes in and she throws a big fit and then they both start jerking off. That would be what would make tomorrow a success in my eyes if it fucking happens. <laughs> all right. And probably all the way through. Uh, that is true. That is true. Uh, radio robot full. Uh, he doesn't have a personality. He doesn't really. Because uh, all the personality traits that I can say in him are negative. So, I mean, yeah, he kind of has toxic personality, I guess, but he doesn't really. Because the things he likes is just a label that he wants to brag about. Being a gamer, being a movie buff, while only talking about fucking Harold Ramis in the original Ghostbusters. Nothing. He knows nothing about anything. And really not genuinely interested or curious about anything. And his fundamental lack of curiosity is one of his biggest issues because it prevents him from getting better, but getting his content better, uh, finding more people to communicate with and network with and so on. Uh, big ups JG Winnell for the super chat. Christmas clothing isn't behind a paywall like now. Yeah, now I was thinking yesterday he should put on his fucking sweater for free. It, it's, it's Christmas. Just put on the fucking sweater. But no, it's it's a uh, it's paywall. 8 p.m. All right. It all depends Christmas, on Christmas, dude. Come on. Christmas oh. miracles happen. How much fun we're having. Yeah. How many games I've got. How much right? fun we're having. How is this estimated? Is there a chill scale? Is there a chill meter? How is it? How is it estimated? How much fun we're having? Well, it's tips because, you know, if he doesn't make the tips, then you guys aren't having fun. Because having fun on his streams always for him has to correlate on to money. Because that's that's just how it is. Sounds good. Uh, how drunk I am. Uh, how dr yeah, it how depends I'm how drunk he is, by the way. Exhausted by then, etc. We'll see what happens. How much fun. Obviously, you guys are having the viewer. Yeah. Right? It all depends on all these different factors. Which means tips, uh, by the way. But this is going to be considered a marathon stream. Because there's because he can't at, at this point. He's the, that kind of a guy. Who can't, uh, who can't even make a poll for his chat and expect it to be correct. Because, of course, the assholes and the shitheads are going to infiltrate and vote for the option he doesn't like. So he gets salty. And it works every time. And then he has to actually rig the poll. 
by making up a number of people to subtract from the from the poll and then subtracting it to rig the numbers in his favor. This is actually something that he has done. And he did it the other day when it came to that was actually a pretty good um a pretty good anecdote. And and I'm going to explain to you why I'm derailing myself so much. Now the situation was uh, quote unquote people were complaining about the pre-stream even after he renamed it to the pre-stream podcast which apparently in his mind made it so people wouldn't complain because now it's his it's his own thing being called something else because that makes all the sense ever like of course it does and uh, the poll was if you like watching the pre-stream podcast or you're there for the gameplay and the podcast was winning but of course he he said there are this amount of people on stream let's say 300 and we have 500 votes those are the shithead trolls so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna subtract a a certain amount of votes that i decide i want to i just made it up and he takes it away from the the total the sum of the people that voted just so he can make it uh, the answer that he wanted to because that poll sucked by design it, it's made to piss him off because number one if people voted that they're there for the podcast now this means the gameplay the main attraction of the stream the main idea of the stream existing for him to play games they don't want to see that his fans don't want to see it so it's bad news for him either way or the other way if if the the gameplay wins then it kind of makes it obsolete for him to talk for an hour and a half before starting with the gameplay. Isn't that right? So both ways that poll went, it would still be a mess. It would still be a disaster. Big ups and respect for the, for the super chat. Uh, where can I tip and make some fake name to make a silly joke? Um, and happy Xmas or something. Yeah, happy Christmas to you. You can tip on the link below uh wlo dot link slash my name and that's where and you should be able to do anonymous or something if you want to but thanks for the super chat stream for hours on end for me to have dinner or whatever this is not any continue so yeah the the actual the bottom line of that derailment because i went on for for too long was that he rigs polls so he can explain to himself why the answer that one is correct and is organic and is good for him, despite none of these answers being good for him, because both of them says something bad about him and his content. Because this is where we are. It's it's just trash. Game There's no way you can you can twist it in a way that's good. Unless you're watching it because it's bad. Now that's in that point, it's still really boring. So you need somebody like a like a restreamer or watching edits or watching clips after the fact to make it more entertaining for you. Because even watching it for how bad it is, it's still kind of boring. It still is. It's just going to be some silly fun all day long, okay? So let's talk a little bit about that. First of all, let's talk about the games that I'll be playing, all right? The Angry Video Game Nerd video game. This is a game that came out in 2013, and then a sequel was released, I think, a year or two later. Yeah, you you can tip. I don't know why <laughs> that's a... You can't. I'm not asking for it. I'm not promoting it, but it is possible. Tips are a thing, so yeah. I'm just saying. It was remastered recently this year actually just a couple months ago but you don't have to do anything that's the main point you don't actually have to do anything and sold as a collection both on the nintendo switch and the pc well i'm gonna be playing the pc version because guess what it was cheaper all right let's let's skip through this this is uh irrelevant to to the purpose that's how <laughs> that's how long you know i used to be super fixed up and i will time i think it's since july it's going to be more like a tour of Minecraft. And then I'll be honest. Yeah, I'm, I'm already wearing the vest and a couple of hats. Two things happen. You just got to trust me. Number one, we got really busy with new releases this year. Oh, yeah. Let's see. What did he abnormal. play? What did he play? Never happens. Were but there the any terrible ones? Were delayed this year. That so many good st things came out in the summer. I just didn't really have time for those kind of downtime streams anymore. All right. And then number two, let's be honest. We kind of got bored of it. Like after doing Minecraft for about a year and a half, and basically doing um doing weekly sessions of building 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 it became a lot more tedious to have to always constantly say i gotta build this we're gonna build that it, it kind of lost its spirit of fun in my opinion it was the a, spirit a, of a fun it was about surviving exploring 
every once yeah, in a just while. like his life. <laughs> his life at some point became about surviving and crafting, and it wasn't fun. It was grindy. He had to beg every day. Life is like a video game. Well, when you play it like one. Something, something. Then all of a sudden it became every week we got to do a major project. It's like, it's like work. A major project. Mr. Narcissism has to explain himself playing video games for a crowd of children as a major project. A project. Like, who, like what kind of a guy you gotta be? What kind of a guy you gotta be? A project. For Just be honest with yourself. You're only lying to yourself because everybody else can see. Because guess what? They're not really all that stupid. They really aren't as stupid as he thinks they are. Just actually enjoying myself. And I kind of just didn't feel like doing it anymore. So we kind of phased it out. But I always said I would go back to it. And I figured today would be a special day to go back to the world, see how it's doing. By the way, I don't even know what's going to happen when I boot this game up because I don't remember where I was uh, last time that I played. <clears throat> and um, we're just going to play it by, by play it by ear and go from there. See what happens, okay? Maybe the whole world will explode, and that'll be the end of it. <laughs> Who knows? Okay, okay. okay. Then, well, it's uh, close to exploding, I guess. Oh, no, this was in, in 2020, so it already exploded. Later on, we're going to be doing three With the Rona. games on PlayStation 5. All right, we've got completely different styles of games. Fall Guys. What are we talking about fucking styles of games? Let's skip this bullshit. A tremendous amount of people with terrible internet who don't even know how to play... Whoa, Street Fighter, okay. The, uh, what do you mean what explanations for why he's Same bad at video games episode 45 the million broadcasting at 900p but the camera's at 1080p so now you can actually if for some reason one of those games decides not to work i don't know okay okay get lost actually get lost it's Four worthless minutes. then it went away and it went to a white screen okay more bullshit pc explanation okay. probably pc very very simple and upfront about that um, so that's today's stream. I'm hoping that over the course of today, I will entertain you in a festive way. Hopefully you guys will have fun with me with this variety of games and a live DSP tries it and everything else that's going to come with that. Yeah. Um, I'm just going to say this up front and that way people will okay, not let's see for the rest of the stream. Let's no, see. My wife is not going to show up on the stream. Oh yeah. Today. His wife is Every not showing up because she sucks. Event, people ask. Yeah. And I'm going to be very, well, they ask because you know what? It would be fun. It would be fun. Just close the fucking chat or only you look at it. Don't let her look at the fucking chat. Like always, because he doesn't give a fuck about his wife's experience on the stream, man. He really doesn't really doesn't because when she's talking, he just, just nods his head. She's there just to generate him more money because it's festive because she's there and it's a cool thing. Right, he doesn't give a shit if she's reading chat, if she's getting harassed in chat. He doesn't give a shit. Doesn't mean anything to him. He's just benefiting off of it. It's uh, his soulmate, by the way. Actually funny, because people already asked us on the pre-stream, so I will just clear the air right away. Alright? Two years ago, my wife moved in with me in 2018. And when she did, she wanted to be a part of my content. She showed up in two or three of my streams. And Terrible. the last stream she showed up in was a... Terrible. People realize she's absolutely uninteresting in, in any shape or form a human can be interesting in. She is not. not In none of those. It, the only thing that... And I was watching Tevin streams and stuff. The only thing that was interesting was what kind of meds she was on. What kind of pills she was on. Because she was zoinked out of her mind. She was out for lunch. And if that's her natural state, then Phil, you have truly found your soulmate. Halloween marathon. She even went out of her way to spend good money to buy a costume. She wanted to be there for all the... That's fake, Phil. She was going to a party. You told us anyways. You told us anyways. She spent good money, by the way. But DSP's costumes are the El Cheapo costumes. Gameplay Because of course they are. That day was going to be a fun thing we were going to do together. All right? Disgusting people. Disgusting people. And said really disgusting, nasty things about her. Yeah. And about her personal shit behind the scenes that had nothing to do with anything. Like what? Happened. Like like what? Like what? You being a homewrecker? Is this what they said? Is this what they said? Were they correct? Maybe they were. Uh, she wasn't. She wasn't happy with uh with with with, with fucking Jeff, you guys. She wasn't fucking happy. Now she's happy with Phil in his two story house. Working a part-time job for a guy who apparently, 
apparently barely makes a living, barely makes ends meet, and she just chilling there, playing Skyrim, working that part-time job. Very fucking nice, very supportive, very much family, like Fast and Furious. Very fucked up what happened, all right? Since then, she has said she has no desire to come on stream ever again. Now, it's funny because I've come on my streams and defended her and said, I don't know why people thought they had a right to do that. They don't. It's really messed up that they did that. People have come to me and said, oh, well, Phil, you see, you're an internet content creator. And therefore, what you got to understand is. Yes, yes, yes. And don't say it mockingly. And this, the mocking shit is really annoying because he tries to discredit the point before he's even told it to you. So he, it's already been twisted once as being a bad point. So you should, uh, when you listen to him, you should think that it's a bad point instead. It's very pathetic. It's, it's just people that don't have anything to kind of say in, in response to the point that, that do it like this. Really basic people. I don't expect this from a middle-aged guy. By the way, his, his hands are crossed. I believe him very much. Put yourself out there. You're in the line of fire. Yes, yes, you are. Yes, you are. Because people can be assholes. And they can also be anonymous. And the, the possibility of you being anonymous and you being an asshole. There is where the, the intersection happens. Where you get anonymous assholes that don't mind saying anything because they're both anonymous and assholes. So they exist and you should have known that. Especially you that gets trolled every single day. That gets people trying to ruin his life. You should fucking know, Phil. You should know. And you got to know that when you go on stream, anyone can be attacked at any time. And that's just part of it. So it was your fault. That is part of it, especially if DSP streams, because they're toxified. They are. Putting her on stream. To Big time. Back, all right. All right. You know what? I completely disagree. I don't think that just because someone decides to be a special guest on a stream that they should now be publicly attacked for no reason. No, you know that's what? not. No, sure. that's a, that's completely misrepresenting the point. That's misrepresenting the point. And you're answering to a question that was not asked was not asked and a point that was not made it wasn't Fair enough fuck it the point wasn't that cat should be on his stream and that makes her be there for humiliation the point is that if you're a public personality and even more so one personality that people don't enjoy very much and you have someone close to you who is actually very funny in the way that they look, the way that they talk, and the way that they generally behave themselves. Yes, they are in the field of fire. And the firing squad is, is loading up all those horse emojis. They are. Then she just won't be on my content anymore. That's, she's expressed that. So what happened in the past two years? Guess the same people who were the... Oh, look, my... Uh, discussing the middle-aged men a point that I made because i expect more that's my that's my thing it's not hatred it's actually i i expect more depth of character i expect more maturity for a guy who is middle-aged that's what i'm trying to say i got nothing against middle middle-aged people because they are my parents uh as well so yeah that's that's my point i love middle-aged people dude come on people to her now say oh she was the, my my point is that I, I expect more of him as one of those people especially claiming to be a mature adult to come on stream anymore that's what i mean keeps her hostage and phil says and big up tyler tells her she can't have an online presence and everything bullshit right, bullshit have no he didn't tell her that she shouldn't have a twitter what he told her is that if she has a twitter it's gonna be spammed with toxicity and if she has a Twitter, it needs to be some weird sock account somewhere. So nobody finds it and they know it's cat. Both ways. You, you know what I mean? Me. He didn't because this is again, we're, we're arguing with semantics. No, he didn't tell her probably that she can't have a Twitter. She can't be streaming. She can't be making videos. She can't be having an Instagram or some bullshit. But he told her that if she does, it's going to be really, really bad. Me? for offering to have her on stream. She accepted the offer. She comes and gets attacked. And then I tell her, okay, well, it looks like the only way to stop that is for you to not come on stream. She agrees she doesn't want to come anymore. Oh, now it's Phil's fault because he keeps her off stream. It's Phil's Fuck fault. Off. And especially Fuck during the off. holidays, really. Fuck off to all you screwed. During the fucking holidays, Phil. Get, get off this bullshit. What are you, a child? During the fucking holidays. Yeah, people die during the holidays, get murdered, get lied to get fucking prosecuted, all this bullshit during the fucking holidays. Because guess what? The holidays are just the time of the year. 
just like everything fucking else just the time of the fucking year and you put the meaning to a holiday so it's fuck off shits out there you're such wastes of fucking life you all you're, you exist to do is ruin people's lives because you're so miserable yourselves definitely a beautiful person she's beautiful person you're super happy funny, by the way actually. and no she's not very funny we've seen her playthroughs She's just as funny as DSP minus the ass and shit jokes. That is his, his weird fetish thing. That's his weird thing. That's not a, a cat thing. And I would also be surprised if cat also had this cat fetish, just like DSP. I'm spending time with her off the streams. We have a beautiful private life together that we keep private on purpose. So that way people can't mess with us in regards to that. And let me tell you, okay. since we keep our private life private and we don't really talk about it much outside of, oh, she made a meal or whatever. You know what I mean? It's really nice. My life today, my personal life is at an all time high because of the way that I imagine what your standards of, of personal life must be. Imagine what your standards must be if this is nice. Begging, not even paycheck to paycheck. We're not talking about fucking paychecks at all. He's begging day to day, like actual day to day, because one day he can make $10, for example, and then he has to make an emergency stream explaining to you how this cannot happen again because he has a business and he has to make that money back that that's that's happiness this is what you're striving for in life and i know you you gotta play the best cards that you got but he's got better cards than this but he's happy with uh with pulling shitty cards all the time just like happy with getting shitty pulls in ww champions that's that's your standard of being happy my okay that's great uh i guess we there's no point in talking about uh, uh the trolls winning anymore because that's happened if this is your standard of happiness trolls destroyed you totally destroyed you i work for my and they accomplished life. everything they started to do except those people that want him actually dead which i think is kind of silly if you have a problem with that you have no one to blame but yourselves especially if you're one of the people who was very very nasty two years ago DSP telling people they should blame themselves. The guy who never blames himself. Unless he is called out by probably thousands of people for something. Uh, like calling his viewers lazy. But that was getting out of control, so he had to apologize as a form of damage control, basically. It wasn't an, an actual legit apology. It wasn't heartfelt in any way. It was like a business apology. It's like Ubisoft apologizing for introducing NFTs. Which they still haven't done and probably won't because they're a terrible company. But anyways. Um, and it's not going to change. Maybe one day we'll see things die down. Maybe the crazy... No, idiot no, no. The trolling will... I mean, it's it might get internet. more tame because... Come on, it's just the fucking... Like, at this point, he's, he's getting worse. But the trolling is not going to get better in any case. Not going to get less trolls... If anything, maybe some people that are on the Wings bandwagon or fucking some other lolcow are going to come over to DSP because of how fucking toxified he is currently and how annoying he is currently. So, yeah, probably this. But trolling getting worse? I, I really, really doubt it. Really doubt it. Who stalk me in my personal life on a daily basis and try... Uh, hey, big ups, uh, Omega Kirk for the super chat. Santa Phil. It is what it is. Stay positive. You gotta stay positive. Hashtag DS positive. <laughs> Videos for Super Chat. Literally and also, um, yeah, that, that is true. If he keeps calling the trolls idiots and morons and mentally ill, I'm sure they're gonna leave him alone. They might even do it tomorrow, man. If he goes one day without calling him names. Make my life a living hell. Maybe that will... A living hell just alleviate but you're happy okay. with it right maybe it'll all just alleviate he's fucking it. happy this kid's standard now trolled on the internet most people that know that he exists and know that phil burnell is dsp gaming hate him most people that know of him actively dislike him his friends came out and make a diss video about him that is an hour long exposing his fucking bullshit so try and telling me how oh, this is the peak of his fucking life and not 2014 when he didn't jerk off and had a hotter girlfriend who was also younger hey big ups uh spoony ton for uh becoming a member big ups it sure certainly hasn't shown any please tell me phil especially if you 
pay attention to the shit behind the scenes oh yeah it's it's not gonna get any better dsp i i regret to inform you this 2021 will rock your ass but unfortunately the pay pigs are way too way too into it at this point to jump out some of them did but yeah still plenty left plenty it just gets worse so guess what oh well if you ever acted like normal people maybe my wife would come back on a stream but no certainly it's gone the that wouldn't way. happen so tough shit she would come back if she's pregnant or something she would definitely come come back if she's pregnant for the sake of uh, the pity box because if dsp which this is not gonna happen but if if they're expecting a child it's gonna be the biggest thing that's ever been milked the biggest fucking cow in life because they will have an actual human being that is not a massive fucking dent head yet because it's not been born but you will see him begging every fucking day about that child and it, guilt tripping people and also calling out the the trolls for hating on him for begging so much because he has a child they're hating on his fucking child unborn child they're wishing that it would do like a bunch of stuff i don't know explode or something yeah it, that's gonna be it imagine this but we're probably never gonna get to see this because he's not a very love making type of guy he's more of a drunk on the couch falling asleep type of guy more like that it's that simple she's got that she, vibe i'm sure she would one day love to come back to stream and have a good time with us and she's never gonna do that until the shitheads go away so i guess we got a long time to the wait the shitheads go away that's not happening it's not happening one thing you can't beg people for that's the one thing is for the trolls to go away you can't beg them this there's no begging segment that's gonna make the trolls go away there's no feel bad for me pity party that's gonna make the trolls go away none never gonna happen never it'll never happen it's more likely he's gonna have a child before that happens that is more likely because these people need to grow up in order for her to come back it's that simple it's just cause and effect you know no um well yeah it's cause and effect the cause is him being toxic and the effect is people being uh i would say mocking so about him being toxic hey big ghost black mage triple six for a super chat plot twist Phil and Potato Lady's child would be an integer overflow and would be smarter than Einstein. I'm, uh, imagine, dude, imagine. And he's like 10 years old and already programming for like Microsoft and shit. <laughs> that would be awesome. And my fucking son, my son got his PhD. He's like 13. You fucking lame brain son of a bitch. That's exactly okay, what's going to happen. You know that's going to happen. Come in and say happy Merry Christmas and maybe play a game or two with us. It ain't going to happen. It's just not going to DSP, you're not entitled to people being nice to you when you're an asshole to everybody else. And that's it. And basically, you're not entitled to a lot of things in life. You are entitled to life. And what I believe nobody would kill you. This is what I believe you're entitled to. But outside of that, not really anything. Not really anything by anybody. And uh, certainly not any more credit cards. Certainly that. It's gonna happen until these people go away, and it certainly doesn't seem like they're going to go away, does it? No, no, you're still toxic. You're still toxic, you're still a beggar. You're still a, somewhat of a scammer. Right? So, so no, 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 not really. Still here. Gonna be here tomorrow too for a special event, so make sure to check it that out. That being said, uh, that's that. And that answers the that's question. That. I'm, not gonna, I'm not going to entertain anyone who's talking about uh, he's not a children's entertainer, you guys. Talking about it, except he is. You keep bringing it up, you're just gonna get moderated like everything else. Get moderated, by honest, the way. You know. I love the term "get moderated." This is not about my wife. It's. Uh, what are the chances he has a baby? Probably zero. Probably zero, because if he has a child, like I just said, there's gonna be massive begging, actually cataclysmic begging, because a child for him is a the biggest meal ticket you've seen, because he gets. To play the the sympathy card with with his uh, with his pay pigs, he's having a child, you guys. He's a mature adult. He's having a, a real family, not just a cat, an actual kid, right? Yeah, that's gonna be the biggest reason to beg. It's about us having the biggest ever. So he would never, never uh, attempt to hide it instead of just begging for it. Big up Troy for super chat. Do you think the baby will be robust or tangy? Uh, maybe the, the shape of its head is going to be, if it takes after its dad, then the shape of its head is going to be very robust. 
and uh, the chin will probably be his mom's chin, which would be a very tangy chin. He has a very tangy chin. And a good festive time together. That's more now, most it's hilarious uh, horses do. About that, we already have people. The trolls are here. <laughs> Fuck off! They're they were coming here. Try, they're already gonna try to ruin it. No, you're not ruining shit today. Seriously, you're not doing anything. You're just getting the fuck out, okay? We're here to have a good festive Christmas time. That is true. That is true. Today. That I can agree with you. The first thing I agree with him tonight, probably. I mean, we maybe, I mean, my, hopefully, myself and the people who are actually here to enjoy the stream today, not the people who are here to just try to make a nuisance for everyone. We're actually good-hearted. Now, the if you want to see, I would guess the closest you could see DSP having a child is if you go and you watch Onision. Now, Onision has kids. And they've been neglected to the point where one of them fell from the second story of their house from the window and cracked his head on the pavement. And it was, uh, yeah, it took him a long time to find the kid. So if you if you want to see that scenario in in some way, in some way, go check out Onision. He's a he's a lol cow, but he's incredibly toxified. He's actually incredibly toxified. So be very careful. He's not even fun to talk about. It's just frustrating because he has kids. Because of that, in well -intentioned it has a weird pregnancy fetish. So yeah, it's it's really really bad. It's a really bad situation there. Out there, and you're not gonna be here today. You're just gonna fuck off, okay? With uh, grooming right. and and shit. Yeah, it's a it's a horror cow. It's definitely is a horror cow. Well, Phil is more of a your typical run of the mill lol cow, delusional online person, but with no apparent actual mental issues or conditions. I would say. So there you go. Hey, big ups, JG Winnell for the super chat. DSP should live stream the birth for tips. Dude, you think so? <laughs> hey, you guys want to see the vagina cam? Yeah, it's going to need the OIC to help him with the layout. Big ups, Omega Kirk for the super chat. What if the baby has more than one chin? Then... Uh, give it a pill and put it where you found it. That's not his baby, dude. His baby should have only one chin. Because it's his baby. He's the father. All right, guys. Come on, um, dude. So this baby is a fucking glitch. It didn't come out. That's the deal for today. We're going to be starting after pre-stream, Angry Video Game Nerd. And we're going to continue on uh, with various other games. Festive still, like I said, I'll start drinking once I start playing the games. Oh, yeah. Derek is definitely directing the, the childbirth scene. He is definitely having a, a, a Tarantino moment. Five DSP tries that we do wardrobe. The same way Tarantino is with feet is Derek with shit and vomit, which is yeah, it's grotesque. Changes between the games as well, which will be cool. Um, and you know, depending on time permitting, maybe we'll do some extra stuff with Street Fighter or whatever later on. Fair enough. That's today's marathon. Fair enough. That sounds good. Let's to you. see. It's gonna be same shit tomorrow, by the way. Same shit with uh, wrapping up the year. It was good, but it was also bad in these ways. Uh, it was positive because you guys gave me a lot of money, and it was negative because the trolls tried to take it away. Uh, it was positive because you guys gave me a lot of money, and it was negative because the trolls did a federal crime and impersonated me. Uh, it was positive because uh, you guys gave me a lot of money and uh, the trolls tried to fuck with it. But I already said this. But it's going to be this. It's going to be this. Um, and I hope it's you'll have a good time with me here today. Um, and not very likely for it to be a lot of toxicity, I would say. That would be my suggestion for tomorrow. Not suggestion, but assumption. Prediction? Yes, I wouldn't say. that It's going to be very toxic. It's going to be probably medium toxic, maybe... Maybe one or two like gold dust moments where he gets pissed at something, maybe. Hey, Bigos Black Mage for Super Chat. If he ever actually had a kid, it would be suspiciously darker than Wesley Snipes. Really? Really? Be very, very dark, probably. I don't know, man. I don't know. Bro. But then then is when the soulmate factor comes in. Let's see if that lady is a soulmate. Let's check that baby's skin right now. Not get back to regularly scheduled stuff. No, I don't think he has a secret child. That's 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 lame. That there's no way this guy with no filter on his camera in in OBS, I mean, there is no way we we never heard a baby crying in the background because babies cry a shit ton. And he would come back on stream because it's fucking dark side Phil. So if he had a fucking baby, he would come on stream completely looking like he never slept a day in his life. He's going to be looking like garbage. 
more more so than what he do, does right now which is 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 good enough then he's going to be complaining how it's tough he he will not be able to to hide it it would just physically be impossible and from for him revealing he has a child it's not going to damage him in any way it actually won't and it's going to help him beg unlimited amounts it's actually like like he's cheesing the 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 mechanics because it's going to help him beg massively because then you can't even question anything give me a hundred dollars i need diapers give me a hundred dollars i need the the formula for the food the for the baby baby milk whatever bullshit give me this amount of money for kids clothes give me this amount of money for a crib give me this for this it you can't question it that's so good so yeah, that's what, what would happen in the reality where DSP was a functional enough human to have a child. But fortunately, fortunately, at least as it looks for now, the Burnell bloodline won't be continuing through Phil. Which is a positive thing, because we certainly don't need any more offsprings of, of the Burnells from what they've produced right now. Tomorrow, Christmas Eve, it's going to be a... Oh yeah, and uh, what Gold Dust moments means, it's... It's those rare moments when he's super toxic or it's it's like the Tevin's fault moment or some stuff that's going to get clipped, that's going to get remembered, that's going to get memed. That's that's what we mean by uh, the gold dust moments. It's those moments that make him truly who he is. Holiday themed edition of Ask the King. In this episode, it's going to be me answering your questions. Uh, some of you have been submitting questions for about a week and a half, two weeks now. Um, on my forums, thekingofhate.com, and you could still submit questions if you type. Yeah, the plot twist that that DSP is his own child. He is the child that is locked inside that prevents you from being able to have kids because you already are one. And having more kids would imply that you would have two kids. Exclamation point! Just like he has two jobs while having zero. Ask the king into the stream chat right now. You can still submit questions for this show tomorrow, which I hope you will. Okay. Yeah, I don't know. He's doing it. Yeah, he's doing it after Christmas. So, yeah, this year it's going to be on Friday. Pick up Omega Kirk for Super Chat. Save the baby. It's not a game this time. That is true. This shit is not a game. So if uh, if they get a baby, then got to keep it. Um, Well, they don't got to keep it, but I'll be taking questions they probably later. will keep it. And? Unless it's this, the darkest secret ever is that that they had an abortion with Liana or with Kat. That would be pretty crazy, I guess. Probably during the live stream, I'll also take questions. But that's just one of those theory, you know what I mean? It's just shit that, that, that is made up, so it's funny and it adds more to the lore while not being a part of the lore. It's just something that you can say that would be, hey, this would have been pretty funny if, if it was actually true. Because there's a lot of things about him that we will never know if they're true or not holiday theme we talk about a lot of holiday theme stuff tomorrow during that event um as well as other things i'm sure it's year end i'm sure people are gonna have questions about games this year and everything i mean what a year it's been right so it'll be a fun time um it's only gonna be one stream it's gonna start later than usual you know typically my stream started around 10 15 but for ask the king i take the time to review all the questions get everything ready so it'll start between 11 30 a.m. to like noonish Pacific time tomorrow, about an hour and a half later than you. All right, let's skip through the <laughs> schedule, fucking garbage. Thing is, um, I will probably do those countdowns early January. Oh, uh, fucking bullshit! Those were worthless, anyways. You know what I mean? Like, I feel if we start talking politics right now, I oh politics! Right now, I actually, let's see, let's see. Are we gonna talk to politics? January to bring back the retrospective event, but we'll wait a while. Retrospective uh, begathon. As for, you know, news right now, there's not a hell of a lot to really talk about. Sadly, in the United States, the biggest thing everything's going on is political. And you guys know I don't like to talk politics. What I was happening on Christmas last year that was political? Was it still like fallout from the elections? Probably that. I feel if we start talking politics right now, I can tell you right now, I actually am very opinionated on what's going on with oh, the no, don't. right now and the stimulus. Please don't, because then detractors have to talk about politics and it's going to divide everybody and it's going to be just tism. Just tism. So don't talk about this shit. That our, our, our government... Plus, right he's going to be full of shit. It's not just because of that. It's just his stakes are fucking terrible always, so go figure. Cash out for the American people. Um, And it keeps going back and forth. Keep, oh, it's done. It's not done. It's done. It's not done. I can sit here and talk about it. 
But I don't think you guys are here on the Christmas Marathon to hear me blab about politics, are you? Yeah, pretty much. We're never there to hear you blab about politics. Actually, very opinion. We're, usually people are there for him to play video games, but he doesn't seem to be playing a lot of those nowadays. He needed and a little bit upset about everything going on, but I'm not going to talk about it today. So I'll just tell you right now, if you ask me questions about it, I'm not going to answer them. Uh, this is supposed to be a festive Christmas event. You want to ask me about something about Christmas, that's different, but don't ask me about politics. All right? I'm not going to derail the stream with political shit today. It's just not going to happen. So just for warning you ahead of time, okay? Okay. Let's do shout outs, guys. Let's do fucking do shout outs. Shout outs to do today. Um, it's like he's right too, because discussing fucking politics on a stream that's not related to it, it's it's never fun and it's never productive and it, it never leads to anything good. Of course, sadly, it's I more toxic, more toxic and dividing your fan advance. base. All right, because I have to say this in all my regular streams. It's very sad. However, he would to. he would very much like to talk about politics because he loves his opinions being validated by his chat because that's they're the only person that would validate his opinions because his opinions are garbage uh so yeah he he loves it and he would like his political beliefs also be validated by those mouth breathers in his chat so seems legit why he would want to talk about it but yeah that's never never a good fucking choice all right, ladies and gentlemen, sadly, especially if you're um, fucking Phil, because of tons of malicious activity against me this year, oh, malicious activity. Right. Let's see. Did I somebody impersonate you? Did they steal your identity? Not yet. Soon. Soon enough. Basically, have to do what's called a tip audit whenever a I get tip a tip fucking I don't audit. Recognize. Remember this? He was the fucking IRS. He was doing audits on everything. Tip audits goes in and, and checks your docs. If it's correct, he checks your docs on fucking uh, on PayPal. Like it could be 100% legit on a stream. What does the tip like, audit saga. I love this. I just have to, open my PayPal I just have to dox you and check if it's a real fucking na name. Information with Very nice. To make sure it's real. Uh, I've had an individual and or individuals because it's not clear. But I've had a certain groups of people this year who've come in here and repeatedly over and over done fake tips. Okay. Fake tips. And the I don't even know how this is possible, is but when they do yeah. These tips, they I mean, if you really want to piss him off, then you fuck with his money. That's we already know that. But fucking with his money is also kind of gay ops and fucking with him in real life. So I no, don't do that. I guess just watch him suffer. He's going to suffer eventually. If not now, he's going to suffer eventually. He's on the spiral. He's riding that fucking spiral. Legit or they could be legit, but it's not clear if they're legit or not. And if they're not could be legit one, tips that money it's taken from me in the future which sucks because you may not hey by the way i would uh i would like to say this for for these streams if there's a moment where you think it's it's a highlight or something fun enough you can just drop it in the comment section then i'll add it to the chapters so we can make because this for example this one is almost four hours long and i'm gonna divide the segments that were that are the videos we're watching usually but if you want to, for example, highlight when we talk about a kid scenario and all that shit, when you listen to this and when you find something that is interesting, you can just drop it in the in the comment section on the on-demand fucking video. So that was the announcement. I even know, I, that I'm was not going to know what's real and what's not. Because I usually put in the chapters, the videos we watch, and maybe if, if there's something really funny that happens and like a really big highlight. Ah, what did I make today? I have no idea because someone could just try to get the money back later on. But in addition, there's yeah, that sucks. Uh, it's 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 dumb. The the chargebacks are dumb. For my PayPal account, it could hit me. I know it's it's a way to fuck with him, but it's also like it's pretty moral. Please. So yeah, it really could screw me over behind the scenes. So because of this, whenever I see a tip come in that seems suspect, meaning a sus tip, it's not backed by anything. It's just like an anonymous tip that comes in from a credit card that's also like an anonymous credit card kind of a deal. I usually will just say I'm not accepting it and refund it. I already got one today. I'm gonna okay. Tell you, I'm gonna read I it mean, that here. is a thing um, you can do. You want to protect yourself completely from like fake yeah, shit. I'm going to read it out here that I'm getting, I already got a few tips today or one tip today that I know is, is probably going to end up being bogus. Oh um, yeah. He needs, he needed to, uh, he needed to beg for anonymous tips. And he was telling you that that is true, Manny. That was true. Uh, all you need is a debit card. That's what he was saying. This fucking awesome guy. 
All you need is a debit card. You don't even need a PayPal account. And if you need it, just lie about it. Gonna... Just write in your fake information. So I don't get your real information because you can't trust me with it. You can't trust me with it. Accept it. All right. Wow. It sucks because here's the it thing. It sucks. It sucks. It actually does suck, Phil. I'm glad you understand how much this fucking sucks. People, you, people that enjoy the videos you made and would like to support you are afraid to do that because they have absolutely no trust in you being faithful with their personal information and not posting it in a discord or in a fucking twitter dm or some other shit or threatening people with having it come on do i want to sit here on a stream and have to do this no but i have to because if i don't refund it he has to beg as well actually can hurt born me. beggar Behind that's the why the the ep is called born beggar so it's not his choice he was born to do it it's his destiny it's not a choice to beg it's a destiny get these tips i have to check them today i may be playing a game i have to pause and check out and see what's going on with that okay so it's already kind of been something i've had to do for two months it really hasn't affected things too negatively which is a good thing but at the same time please understand i have to do this it's just something oh yeah he has necessary. to you definitely have to you are a stream regular if you're a true fan of my content and a fan of me and you want to send me a tipping, behind the scenes tip. tip tipping helps you more than anything please but isn't, it, isn't it the best if you're an actual pay pig an actual one now the best thing for dsp is to send him money behind the scenes and let me tell you why because first of all he doesn't have to read it out on stream which means it's off the books in a way it's it's behind the scenes it's off the books. He doesn't have to announce it. He doesn't have to tell anybody. And you can also leave it in your, in your message to tell him to not announce it. Such as, I'm pretty sure only Ice Coffee has done. And the other fucking people, Planet Jeff, the other guys that, that like to support DSP, they've definitely done it as well. So this is the point. If you want to support him maximally, you should support him in the most shadiest way, which is send him behind the scenes money. Go the extra step you should do that 100 percent paypal account yeah verified is, instead of when you're gonna send me a tip oh i'm just gonna use a credit card anonymously and do a quick transaction oh now it's not anonymously okay that means now he needs it to be verified beggars can't be choosers have you heard of this you definitely have but yes here we have the choosing beggar the pretentious beggar the guy that you, he can be living on the street and you can give him like a fucking night to stay in a hotel or something he's gonna complain that their bathtub is too small or some shit like that because he's the choosing beggar that's trademarked you can put the tm in the end anyone can charge back at any time and screw me over if you make a registered paypal account you got to put your real info in there your name your address so what uh, bank account info. so what and once that's in there now there's protections for me I get what's called like seller protection. So if someone ever gets beggar like, protection, I basically get covered. I won't lose money because of it. Okay. Um, and when you have a verified account, I know that I can trust your tip and I don't have to sit here. I know I can trust your tip. tip audits and shit. You see what tip I'm saying? Audits, Mr. Fucking IRS. You should be tip audited, um, bro. You should be fucking audited. So Let's see how much money goes to that secret PayPal account. What was it? Dark side fill at gmail.com. That was his PayPal address from the 6k statue guy that he was sending pictures of of his statues in the middle of the night pictures of she hulk in the middle of the night oh he was so into it i would definitely appreciate it if you guys would create verified paypal accounts if you're looking to tip me because it helps tremendously for me for peace of mind and knowing that i don't need i'm not going to get screwed over um and just knowing that it's real versus having to sit here and ask, geez, someone in the chat, did they tip me today or is this fake? Is someone impersonating someone? Cause <laughs> Both ways, you're pathetic. You're pathetic any way this one goes. So I don't know how you're going to rationalize this to not being pathetic. I, I don't like having... I don't know how it's a oh. thing that happens. Now, some people, of course, will spin it and say... Oh, some people, you okay. That, you're, you're, you're doxing yourself. You're exposing... Yes, it. you are. You're locked. Wrong. How is it wrong? I you do. You do, Phil you do you see the first name the last name and the email fucking address which is more than enough for uh, your average person who just has casual amounts of information on on their facebook or whatever so yeah it, it you are in for phil for fucking dsp 
he shouldn't be having any of this fucking information. You can't trust him. You can't even trust him with the fucking date. You can't trust him with the time of day. All I see when someone tips me is the name that you created when you made your PayPal account. Now, the name you created. And if you want to make a verified PayPal account, which is, by the way, his preferred method, you need to use your actual name. Now, did you see how he got lost in the semantics? From he wasn't seeing anything to he was seeing only the things that you put. But if you want to have a verified account, you need to put your legit information. Otherwise, it's not going to work because they want you to prove that shit. So did you get it yet? How he was blatantly wrong about something he pretended to know so much about? Yeah. Full of shit. Yet again. Account to be public, which you choose. You choose what name. And I know that because some people, it's their real name. Some people, it's not. It's like, a oh, yeah, screen. it's a fake name. Well, unfortunately, you can't make a verified PayPal with a fake name. That's not a thing that happens. You can probably use PayPal with a fake name. You can probably send him a tip with like anonymous or whatever. But you can't make a verified account with a fake name. Good luck. So whatever you make it. And I'll say hey, what's up, uh, Nani Soka. With Happy Christmas. Your PayPal account. That's it. I see an email address and oh, your Happy holidays, let's say, because it's not Christmas yet, dude. It's like no two days. PayPal being semantic that right now. They go to jail. They, that'd be exposing your info, info. And, you know, just like if you go to a store and you charge something with your credit card and the store gave your information on the internet, they go to jail too. You see? So okay. don't worry about that. Okay? Is Phil going to go to jail? Is he ever going to go to jail? But anyway. um, That would be hilarious. That being said, if you're thinking of contributing, Please consider creating a verified PayPal account. In fact, someone did, and I appreciate that, and I'll give them a shout out here. Wow, for in fact, I someone fucking that. did. Some delusional fucking pay pig. <laughs> it's, it's so funny to me that they think that, that they're helping him. They're doing him a massive favor by giving him money. Dude, the only way you can help him nice. is let him go without the fucking money. Let him struggle. Let him build upon himself. Let him get better as a human fucking being. He never will, because you give him everything he asks for. So why would he? Why would he improve in any way when he's still getting the money? He's still getting the quote-unquote support that doesn't support him at all. It supports his bad habits. It supports his addiction. It supports his terrible fucking spending. That's what it supports. You're not supporting him. You're really not. I'm supporting him more than people that are giving him money. Um, thank you for that. And again, I hate even having to talk about this and having this be a part of my content, but it just it happens. Yeah, it you, just happens. if you hated talking about it, you would not make it a part of your content. And you would get a job if you hated talking about it. And you would get a job just so you don't have to talk about this bullshit. Because that's how it works when you hate to do something. You do everything in your power to not have to do that. But you don't. Because of this one individual who's literally buying fake credit card numbers off the internet. How do you know that? How do you know they're fake credit card numbers and he was buying them off the internet? Or that just made sense to DSP, so that's just what he stuck with. This makes sense to me. Let's just believe that. Sounds fucking good, doesn't it? It does. Spoilers. Me with fake tips for the past two, three months, and it really, it really hurt me financially behind the scenes. Um, Fake tips, dude. I have to do this to protect myself. Okay, guys? All right, now it's time for shout outs. <laughs> so, <clears throat> all right, uh, let's see. Maybe the shout outs, there's going to be something interesting at first, but you want. probably not going to work. Okay, here we go. It's moving. Okay, so. Over a day ago, Fantasy Star PG cheered. He said, You may know this, there, but there's a possible glitch with overnight cheering and sub gifting. Sometimes the overnight contributions will not show up on, uh, when I'm reading my leaderboard or my, my Streamlabs queue the next day. Um, he says, it seems to be even worse on your day off. My guess is the overnight trolls do something. Are there so many overnight Oh, yeah, I guess. I guess we can just blame every issue on an anonymous online person. That's very easy to do. How many comments it can hold? Let's do that. Nothing is Phil's fault, the guy that we know about. To your attention. It's uh, Mr. Sock Account 64. That's the guy who you got to blame. This fucking random fucking guy. Um, I think what happens is, for some reason, when I'm not broadcasting. Okay. Right, now this is a conspiracy theory, by the way. 
and i haven't heard it i'm gonna hear it now but i'm just warning you in advance this is gonna be a conspiracy theory because 90 percent of what dsp is uh speculating about is just conspiracy theories and but the worst thing is he convinces himself in that just like with twitch that they kicked him out because of the trolls there were finding out instances where it kind of kind of sounded like he says a hateful slur and then they send it to twitch that's what he decides to believe i'm not actively refreshing my stream labs Q, which shows all your your contribution. Oh yeah, Streamlabs not very reliable. Um, it can lock not up. very much. Has a tendency to lock up, and then not show stuff. Now sometimes when I refresh it again, it will refresh with all the data, and sometimes I'll hit refresh and none of the data. I don't know what that is. It was some kind of a disconnect. With some Streamlabs, kind of a disconnect. Money that he receives doesn't show up, which is by the way, this is probably the biggest issue if you use Streamlabs and something like this happens because it's actual money that is happening. It's not fucking some some bullshit nonsense. It's money doesn't show up. And he's like, ah, whatever, it doesn't show up. To me. Well, good fucking job, man. What the fuck? And by the way, that also has absolutely nothing at all to do with uh trolls. Trolls have no control over how Streamlabs work. Yes. Right. It's just yes. Even he's not delusional enough to think that trolls fucked his Streamlabs, despite getting banned eventually from Streamlabs, which is very ironic, actually. The thing with Streamlabs, it's a quirk. If I were streaming every single day and actively refreshing it every day, usually I'd, I'd see all your contributions. Sadly, it doesn't work like that. Okay. And contributions. <laughs> it's such a greasy fucking. It's so fucking. This terrible term. It's both. The fact that he calls them contributions and uh, also the, the second thing is how greasy he says it with the contributions. And uh, yeah, that's basically it. So it's just I, I, I don't like it. I don't like it. Just say fucking money, man, or whatever. Season. You know, I do my best. To fucking contributions. He's the only guy that talks like this on a live stream. Like he's trying to lie to you. Uh, thank you for your charitable... Uh, contribution to the stream instead of saying thank you for the fucking tip or thank you for the this amount of money uh sorry if i ever miss any of your your uh messages so golden colts did a series of cheers yesterday let's read out all of his cheers first all of all right golden cucks no we're not reading this because that's not even gonna be bait because it's golden fucking colts contributions thank you for your contributions he's like cartman but, I don't know, Cartman is likable yeah, on some levels. Yeah, he's a sexist, a racist, misogynist, um, toxic to his friends, toxic to um, his mom, toxic to everybody. But he is likable in some way, and he is funny. All right, let's skip through this. Let's see what this is. And uh, later, I want to watch some uh, some devouring segments. Let's see. Maybe there's a Christmas uh, devouring with the pig. I received a tip Can watch. from someone who says they're banned. They're trying to get unbanned from the stream by tipping. By sending money. No, Stop. never do that. That's fucking stupid. You're only going to get ridiculed. Not the way that you go about doing it. Every Steve's new video. I haven't seen it unless we're talking about the stationary video, which was, as far as I know, his last. So, no, I guess there's no new video as far as, far as I can see. You either contact one of my moderators or you email me and I review the case. And if I feel that you're war war uh, worthy of an unban, I'll unban you. He tips me. By the way, is it from a verified account? No, it's an anonymous credit card tip. That anonymous credit card back. fucking tip. And he says, I hope that you'll consider unbanning me. By the way, this Let's won't be see. a charge back. Okay. So I'm going to refund this. Was it this, this exactly Christmas when he ate the um, the bullshit men spies that he enjoyed so much? It was the tastiest shit he's had in his life. A uh, miserable Christmas unrecorded. Hmm. Let's see. Let's just watch some unrelated feasting with the king. I don't know. This this festive begging is a little bit too much. And I'll be watching this shit tomorrow. So yeah. Uh, let's see some feasting with the king nonsense shenanigans feasting with the shenanigans uh mediterranean indian goat curry sonic 
Oh, he put on the hat for that in the beginning. I'm pretty sure he did. Uh, there's more disgusting content. The Halloween nonsense. Papa John's. Let's try this. Let's fucking try this. Because he's on... In this from this year, February 7th. A DSP tries it. 178. Papa John's epic stuffed crust pizza. Plus ranch sauce. Uh, I'll be streaming for about half an hour more. So let's just wrap this one up. Uh, watch this video and then I'll be gone. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the latest new edition. Now your question might be why this video? Because uh, no reason. I just saw the thumbnail with this vest and sitting at the wobbly chair. And I thought it would be a good idea. But maybe it won't be. Let me just scroll through. Maybe there's better, better shit. Nah, it's all just disgusting. It's all just repulsive. And then everybody else eating, which is more attractive and entertaining than DSP eating. So yeah, I would rather watch the Nikocado guy eat himself to death. Of DSP His own choice, dude. For my he loves it. And uh, a different setup here today because we're doing a retrospective marathon event. So yeah. Not the usual me going sitting on the chair. Okay, retrospective. The but <laughs> there's a brand new kind of pizza at P Papa John's Pizza. And hasn't even started eating already burping pizza chains have offered in particular he's an animal obviously has always had this as a pizza offering and now papa john's has it okay and i'm curious because this kind of pizza is all right stuffed crust pizza all right all right pizza stuffed with cheese in the crust okay pizza Hut has done sounds it good forever. they were the ones who i think originated stuffed crust can pizza, out pizza the hut dude wrong now, of course, everyone in a frozen kind of pizza does it. You get DiGiorno stuffed crust and all of that. DiGiorno. But when it bon comes Giorno. to fast food Is it the same crust, thing? I don't know. I'm not Italian. Much, it's always just been Pizza Hut who's done it. Now, Pizza ben Hut stuffed Giorno. Crust, all right. I'll fill with sand. Sadly, Hail. I hate to say it. Not very good. I the hate to say it. Every crust. time. Every single time. He says something. I hate to say it. You know there's going to be a smug negative segment coming up. Because it's always like that. That's the pattern. That's how it works. I hate to say it, followed by smugness. Either I hate to say it, Twitch is a piece of shit. I hate to say it, these other streamers are shills and they're piece of shit. I hate to say it, but you guys are not giving me tips. I hate to say it, but a lot of stuff he likes to say. Cheese tastes like you're eating uh, like a string. Yeah, I know. I know. Buongiorno means uh, like good, good day. I was just, uh, I was just joking. Palio string cheese shoved into the crust. That's exactly what it tastes like. There's no additional seasoning, nothing. It just tastes like they shoved. Oh my god, this is the video we're gonna get, huh? With the seasoning the discussion. Oh, pizza yeah, hot. this is a good chicken. It's seasoned, and you can taste the spices and the tanginess of the spices. Mmm. Mm. Has gone downhill. When you look at the last several decade, you know, decade of Pizza Hut. I think their pizzas just keep getting worse and worse. I'm being just honest, okay? Um, okay. So I think uh, DSP's content is getting worse and worse. I'm just being honest. Admittedly, when Papa John just said, being honest, actually, pizza, I was skeptical. I didn't know if this pizza. Yeah, was Italian lady is no more. Uh, since I went to uh, OBS instead of Streamlabs, their their Italian lady sucked, man. And I couldn't do this to my Italian lady. Replace her with an inferior counterpart. Instead, I took her out back and I shot her in the face. It was going to be any good or not. Chill and interactive. Pizza Hut, it's all about the crust and the, the pizza itself is kind of shitty. And also very, very, very greasy and everything. All right. So, to test out Papa John's stuffed crust pizza, I ordered two different kinds of pizza. All right. All I'm right. Gonna try both what of them are they? today live on stream with you. And we're going to have an experiment at the end. Experiment? I'm actually going to try ranch. Oh, he's going to eat food. That's a fucking experiment. It's like he's 12 years old. We're gonna try. Look at him holding up the fucking ranch sauce. Look at the fuck. Look at this fucking guy. Look at him. If you're listening to this, he, he looks fucking ridiculous and stupid. Because he's holding up a bottle of fucking ranch. And he's sitting there in this gamer chair in a vest. In the experiment. He's gonna partake in an experiment today. The experiment is gonna be if he likes it with ranch or not. He's gonna ranch it the fuck up. Big ups to fucking Phil for doing those experiments. No one else dares to do. No one dares to do it. Epic fucking guy.
He's the fucking guy. No one else can do this. In in like actual shameless fashion as like him. I'm gonna do a fucking experiment? Can I eat this fucking ranch and I like it? You need to hit the tips goal first, guys. Why? Because people have told me. Fucking ranch it the fuck up. Ranch sauce is good. Now I never He's gonna do an experiment. Whoa, it's gonna blow his mind. It's like that video of the little kid trying a, a french fry with with the um, with ketchup for the first time. It's like the, the best thing ever. I'll I'll show it to you because it's a really fun clip and it's like Italian. 10 seconds long. I'm an Italian guy. I was raised oh, in Italian. I'm an it no, no, no. You're you're not Italian. And your parents, they're fake Italians. And I'm not in any way related to Italians in any way. And I can tell you, you're the fakest fucking Italian ever. And you have no sense of identity as a person. So you put labels on yourself to classify yourself as this type of person and that type of person. As a gamer, as a movie buff, as a fucking food connoisseur buff, as an Italian, as Polish. You're fake as fuck in every single one of those. Fake as fuck. Like Turkish fucking jeans. Never, in, I don't think they have ranch sauce in an Italian restaurant where I grew up. They never heard of this. They don't even know what this is. Okay? So, I would never fathom this. Ever. Alright? But, I think this is a prime opportunity to do two things. Try the new stuffed crust, epic stuffed crust pizza from Papa John's. And also... Yo, yeah, he needs to, to do a, a, a DSP tries it on Tide Pods. Uh, this this bleach has is very nice citrusy aftertaste. I can see on the label it says it it has a uh, lemon extract, so that's the the citrusy taste is burning down my throat. Very nice. I give this bleach a seven out of ten. It's a mixed bag. They will not. By Hold the way, on. Cross the the ambulance is here. Say, oh, the stuff crust pizza sucks because it's with ranch. That's completely separate. All right. Yeah. What is this fucking discussion, man? What is this discussion? Pigs planning fucking ranch. And the same way how he's gonna eat the ranch with the pizza. Wow. All right. Let's get started, ladies and gentlemen. Um, First of all, the two kinds of pizza that I got today. Meatball and the meatball? Italian feast. Pizza? The Italian feast. Hey, it's all for right. the kings. So what is on each of these? They're Let's feasting. It's for the emperors. It's just that's it. The Roman emperors. Looks, pretty good. Looks like a standard slice of pizza with meatballs on it. Feasting with the Romans. Okay. The Italian feast. The Roman reigns, dude. Has pepperoni, salami, Italian sausage. <laughs> he's Italian, so he, he's going to call everything by its American name. It's a pepperoni. It's a, a salami. Be spicy Very sauce nice. And banana peppers. Yeah, okay. he doesn't know shit about shit. Shit about shit about being Italian. Italian. I have fucking underwear that is more Italian than him. That that says it's made in China. Give me a fucking break, Italian. That's the, the only Italian thing is his fucking grease on his hair. That's the only Italian thing about him. The only Italian thing about him is the food he devours. That is also cooked by Americans. Two different kinds of pizza that we're going to be having. Italian today. fucking guy. Today. Italian fucking guy. The Italian stallion. On DSP tries it. Now, these are both stuffed crust, meaning they're supposed to have... Cat <laughs> should get her crust stuffed, dude, with some cheese. Cheese inside the crust. <laughs> uh, stuff... <laughs> romance crust. Yes, the crust is indeed filled with cheese. Okay. So we're going to see... Yeah, here's the... That, that is true. The grease on his hair is not even Italian. It's Polish grease. It's Polish. That's the Polish part about him. What happens? Polish. All right. We're going to see what happens. Um, <laughs> Kurva pierdole. With the ranch sauce, let's uh, just try Polish the guy. and see how the pizza tastes. Okay? So, first of all, I'm very let's, curious. Let's get to DSP trying the food. Four minutes into the DSP tries it. And also, yes, I love... I love that the mature adult with the business degree is eating off of paper plates. Nothing says successful, happy, mature adult than paper plates. I love paper plates. How the cheese is going to taste. Paper plates are great. Exactly the same as pizza. If the food is extra good, you can eat some of the plate too. That got the sauce on it. But we're just as like... Makes it extra tangy. Cheese inside of this damn thing. 
or will it actually taste different? Let's find out. I'm going to give it a bite. Just the crust. Oh, okay. I'm Let's see. Just the crust. See what it tastes like. I got a bit of meat and a little bit of sauce. That's going to be it. No, I got a mouthful of meat and a little bit of sauce. <laughs> yeah. Does it taste like cheese? Perhaps. Does it have a cheesy taste to it? <laughs> look at the fucking... The look he gave... I don't know. The camera or whatever. Was like he's drunk at 4 a.m. In the middle of the night. Just eating pizza. Completely zoned out. Zoned out of life. You, you know this? When you're just fucked up in the middle of the night. And you put anything that you can get to in your mouth and just to survive and then you just have like an otherworldly experience of how good it is because you're fucking drunk as fuck in the middle of the night <laughs> like a nice feel nice that's pretty good wow is it cheesy the truth is what is no, the truth that doesn't taste like the pizza hut stuffed crust pizza wow that tastes better great it's chewy dough Okay. And chewy dough. The, the cheese. That's a that's that's a negative. The side of it doesn't just taste like they stationary negative. A string cheese. It actually has flavor to it. Like it tastes like it actually is like a seasoned cheese or something. Of course, I have no idea. But it tastes <laughs> much better. Of course, I have no idea. It tastes like cheese, and it's better than something else. Thank you for the robust fucking review that I could have read on on fucking Google whatever reviews whatever could have read it in a YouTube comment. Hey, it tastes like cheese. It's still better than a fucking Domino's shit. That, that's what he would have done. That's what. It's a hot stuffed crust. Fucking, but instead, you for this review, you have to, of course, spend 20 minutes of your time watching it. So you can feel that it's cheesy and it's better than this other shit. Now, of course. Big ups to fucking wanted, robust to opinions. The regular pizza down at the tip and see what that tastes like. Yeah. Mmm. Tastiness. All I can taste is salt. What? Okay, let's look at chat for their reactions. Mmm. That's also good. Chewy, flavorful, cheese plus sauce. It's not like one of those that there's no sauce on any. You can see there's sauce all throughout the piece of pizza. Right? It's actually weird. Someone warned me. They cheese? said if you get the stuffed crust pizza, order with the extra cheese because they screw it up. Yeah, or you can make no, your own cheese. Just don't uh don't take a shower for sometime put enough cheese on it that's not true okay this mine was a toxic good, comment please right? take a shower mine looks good <laughs> i don't see any problem with that yeah, it looks good that was pretty tasty all right now, i didn't get to try a meatball it looks like the meatball just kind of get shoved onto the piece they're all not right. really evenly distributed um, sure so let me i'm gonna take a bite of this italian one this one's gonna have banana peppers and it looks like some pepperoni and sausage on the tip let's see what that tastes like oh god okay well, falling apart here oh no toppings that's why i can i cannot believe this is actual fucking content and he thinks this is quality enough to ask people for like a hundred two hundred dollars a day this shit this shit this basic fucking human 101 this tribal fucking shit sitting there like a drunk ass in the middle of the night eating off a fucking paper plate isn't this beautiful isn't this what life is about isn't this the reason why we're going to push through the pandemic and, and go out the other end uh, better as a species, as a one community of people? Isn't this why? This is the reason why. This is the reason why we keep going. This is the reason why people are, uh, are deciding to, to not commit suicide in Minecraft, of course, and continue living. This. It's for this. For the guy that eats the fucking pizza and it falls all over the place and falls on his plate. And then he tells you it's good because it tastes good. And if it's bad, he's going to tell you because it tastes bad. Yeah, and later he's going to digest on the couch with his wife. This is one of my favorite DSP-isms is when he told us that his wife was digesting. Wow. Mm. <laughs> I don't even know what black pilled means, based good boy. I actually don't. <laughs> Mm. So, uh, I guess, I don't know. I don't know. That is good. Wow, it's good. That is good. You I have the know. seal of approval. That is good. Just arrived, like Beautiful. Five minutes ago. That's delicious. Because you get seal of a approval. spicy kick from the sausage, the taste of the pepperoni. Oh, the spicy kick. It's like a Spartan. It kicks you in the fucking face. <laughs> The, the spicy kick from the sausage. The it's like that Randy Orton finishing move when he just kicks you in the face. That was his finishing move. Remember Randy? 
in like 20 i don't know 14 15 16 maybe before that when his move was the punt kick he would just kick you in the face and you would go to the hospital Honestly. wait until all the other wrestlers find out that you can just kick somebody in the face and win the game but then the banana pepper is tangy and it's it tangy all the, the banana pepper in clown that. world so just grading the actual um grading the actual italian feast pizza whatever it's called italian specialty or something hey where the christmas music go that's really good that's very flavorful i'm gonna take a bite of the crust of this one as well all right mmm fucking delicious delicious so tasty mm. Mm. Mm -hmm. is it tangy is it robust mixed bag out of 10 mixed bag out of 20 that's good so the cheese that's in the crust, unlike just tasting like mozzarella cheese, it actually has a sweet mozzarella, which is nice. it's in Italian. That's how they call it. But also mozzarella. The cheese is just like 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 melted cheese, but there's no added grease. Fucking Italian. His his claim of being Italian just because he came out the vagina that was partially Italian. It's the funniest shit in life. And he was raised Italian, by the way, raised fucking Italian. He's nothing. He doesn't belong to anything. That's why he's so funny because he has absolutely no identity not even a gamer gamer because people don't fucking like him in his community that he claims to be a part of people don't like him in any community that he claims to be a part of that's why he's nobody because no one recognizes him as one of their own not the fucking gamers not the streamers not the youtubers not even the fucking italian italians you ever seen him hang out with an italian to it which is interesting because the maybe he he counts uh, watching the Sopranos as as hanging out with Italians because they talk about the Gabagool all the time, right? Gabagool, that's Italian. I'm an Italian now. Greasy. I said the Everything Italian thing. It. And the Pizza Hut pizza. When you look at a slice of Pizza Hut pizza, you'll notice the crust is big and chubby, but then the rest big of the and chubby, eh? Very very skinny, like like cardboard thin, and then you're trying to balance all these toppings on it, and you try to bite, and the whole thing flops and falls apart. This pizza holds up. It's actually, look, it supports itself. Wow. Right? That's what you want out of a good pizza. You wow, it supports pizza. itself. That's unlike Phil. Unlike fucking Phil. Supports itself. It supports itself. Even the pizza can support itself. And not the fucking 40-year-old guy. You get a real fucking job. Wow. Pizza supports itself, unlike the guy with a family. That supports its own weight. <laughs> supports now, his case, own weight. One is a little bit heavier because supports of the his own weight. And Phil lets his own weight go in the hands of Derek's numerous Derek's, actually four or five of them. You put an extra finger on. There's actually very few Derek's. But it's not cardboard <laughs> thin. It's actually chubby and thick and full well, of toppings. Right? Hey, that's like his wife. This is good. Now, I didn't try the meatball. Except the toppings are, are not Italian. That's not the, the fill topping that she got. Probably the gym topping. I should try a meatball to give you my opinion. Before yeah, I should, you I should try meatball. more of these balls. Try a meatball. You should try getting friends in general, but you can try a meatball as well. Um, the problem is they're not really positioned. Yeah, well. okay. Imagine you're, you're hanging out with this fucking guy and you're eating pizza. You're just casually eating a fucking pizza. He just starts talking to you. <laughs> he puts on this vest. And he starts talking to you about fucking eating the pizza and how tangy it is. And it, it's supposed to support itself. How long until you kick this guy out of your house? In minutes in chat. Chat. In minutes. How long before you kick him out of the house? If he does this shit. He sits next to you. You're hanging out. Like the first time you hang out with him. You don't know much about him. He starts giving you this. How long? Oh, we see a one. Okay, so one minute. Okay, one hour. Tyler is uh, is generous. We get a one hour here. The tangy balls. Okay. All right. So it it it, it kind of seems like you don't have a lot of patience for for this kind of guy. So hopefully you don't get to hang out and eat pizza with him. He's like, uh, should I should I eat a meatball? Is there kind of greasy the spiciness of the sauce? To bite into the meatball. <laughs> fucking right? Italian so dude. Please bite here. The fucking Italian stream. I need to make the Italian stream. And we're gonna go on, on Duck Duck... Not Duck Duck Go. The Pig Pig Go. The real one. And we're gonna look up um, Italian. Every mention of Italian. 
And we're gonna watch all those clips. You're gonna find out how he's Italian. He's mega Italian. Mm -hmm. The meatball's okay. Epic. I was, I was, uh, I was looking forward to it. I was uh, really nervous, really anxious about whether he's gonna like the meatball or not. But I'm really, really happy he did. After taste, very glad it's good. Spicy kick to it, oh no, a spicy kick. Okay. Obviously, you can tell the toppings at Papa John's are not fresh. These are probably frozen or refrigerated toppings. Yeah, just awesome. like the food you cook at your house. It's not bad. Okay. It's obviously not a great homemade meatball. It's okay. I would well, say the meatball is just okay. Okay. Not bad, okay. but not great. Still better than okay. you as a streamer, I guess. I don't know. I'm trying to come up with these burns, but it doesn't so, always work, man. Between Sometimes the two, it's just trash. I actually like the Italian <laughs> one better. I think that the Italian one has a good combination of the different meats and the banana pepper. And it works really well. Uh, the meatball is just kind of okay. Um, but the stuffed crust wow. is actually... Especially with this vest. It's exceptional. It's next level with the vest. With the, the vest makes it something else. Really good. You and go from an Italian review to a special needs review very quickly when, once you see the vest. Now, here's the thing. I don't know how much heavier the pizza will be because of the stuffed crust. Bro, what the fuck is this bullshit? I don't know how much heavier the pizza will be. When have you weighted pizza? It's, it's for eating, for putting in your mouth, and then swallowing it, and then digesting it. Come on, you should know. Like, normally when I eat pizza, I'll eat like maybe three pieces. <laughs> what? Okay, maybe because this is so uh... heavy, there's so much cheese in it, maybe I would only eat two. Um, Pricing-wise? Pricing? Let's talk about right pricing. Now, Papa John's is doing a deal. Oh, it's a deal, like everything else. Uh, that's a that's a buzzword. Okay. One sure. pizza. Hey, big ups, uh, Agire nine nineteen ninety eight for the sub. Large size pizza, stuffed crust with one topping. So this meatball pizza was twelve dollars with the deal. I don't know what the normal price will be if the deal goes away, but it was twelve dollars for that one. Okay, for this one, which is considered a specialty pizza, where there's three meats plus a vegetable. This one was three meats plus a vegetable. Okay, that's that's like a dick plus balls. It's great. It's a great deal. It's an amazing fucking deal. Pay twelve dollars for it. Very expensive for a fast food pizza. <laughs> At the same time, very expensive. By the way, completely ignore that I'm the guy asking for tips every day. Ignore that. Ignore it. But it's very expensive, man. But it's just for the show. There's a lot of toppings on that. Pizza. A lot of toppings. So, and again, that was a deal at $19, okay? That was not the normal price. I think normal price is way over that. So- hey, Big ups, uh, Omega Kirk for the super chat. Level one meatballs. Fucking mission one meatballs, man. It's the default meatballs that you can, uh, that you can equip. You're still on mission one. Yeah. They don't, uh, you need to upgrade the meatballs as you go along. Those are the pricings for the new Epic stuff. And specifically, his meatballs that were burned when he was making them, and he was making them in a, Fucking dreadful way, dreadful way in that big pot. And it was just black on the bottom. It was just black. It's literally tutorial meatballs. That were his meatballs. Pizza right now, Papa John's, if you're interested. Um, so balancing that, balancing that, I would say okay. $12 for a one topping pizza with the stuffed crust isn't that bad. I do feel that adding $7 to the price tag just to add a few more toppings is kind of pricey. At the same time, it's undoubtedly true. The one with the more toppings tastes way better. Okay. So I guess you got to, you know, your mileage may vary here on how much you want to spend and how much it is at your local Papa John's. Because from what I'm going to understand, regional pricing is different. Where you live, this may be more expensive or cheaper, depending, because they change their prices different places. Um, But I do like it. And I, I'll tell you. I like this way better than Pizza Hut stuffed crust pizza. I feel that it's way less greasy. The way less greasy. The crust itself is puffier, and the, the pizza holds up. It's not like, oh, you eat the crust, and that's good, and the rest of the pizza is floppy and disgusting. What? And by the way, another thing about Pizza Hut... This is confusing. I, I think it would be the other way around, but okay. I have to say, when you try to warm up leftover Pizza Hut pizza, it's disgusting because the entire pizza portion of it becomes like cardboard, like a rock. It's gross. This pizza, you could tell because it's chubby and it has an even distribution of ingredients and the dough is chewy. This is going to stay good even if you don't eat it right away. You want to have it for leftovers later in the week. It should still hold up, okay? 
So, I like Papa John's Epic Stuffed Crust Pizza. This is really good. In fact, I'm gonna. Hey, if you liked it, it's really pizza, good. And I'm gonna give you my verdict. Great. All That's right. great. I'm so happy he likes it. I was really, really nervous. Oh my god, this bite. This is a great screenshot segment. It's like he's biting a piece of wood. Mm. The look of pain in his eyes every time he takes a bite. Mm. Unmatched. I really like that Italian one. Again. He likes the Italian one as a purebred Italian. The balance of the meat. He loves it. That's in that. The balance of the meat. The, the balance of the meat. That's like when you have a threesome or something. The balance of the fucking meat. The tanginess of that pepper is really good. I really like that. Um, the one downfall though, look, it's coming off. The cheese is coming off the top. The next bite, that whole thing might come off in one chunk. <laughs> the meatball. Okay, is good, meatball review. Not as good. Only half. Let's go into it. Topping, I would say. Okay. Okay. More topping, so, less popping. Never mind. Them. On a scale of one to five. Okay. I would Let's say, get to the numbers. Let's get. We're on the numbers. Very important. As you know, this is where you, you make or break your review. As we know from his Fallout 4 review, that was a mixed bag. That was a nine point seventy five out of ten was a nine point something out of 10 as a mixed bag. Let's see how much this is going to be very, very important in scientifically uh, estimated gameplay, not gameplay review. The meatball epic score, stuff crust score is the word is about a 3.75, 3.75, three and three quarters. Very, very, very scientific review. He th thought about every facet of, of that thing that he's talking about. Everyone. The Italian specialty is about a 4.25. 4.25, okay. If you want to add some extra decimals, it can be 4.257361. That's going to be the exact score. Exactly. Scientifically proven. I would actually rate it as higher if it weren't so expensive. But oh, it no. would have been higher by about uh, 0 0.376. That's, that's how much. $19 okay. for a freaking pizza? Yes. Rough. Did you fucking see on the receipt before you paid it? It's $19 for a fucking pizza. Yes. Fast food place? Yes. It's pretty expensive. Yes. It'll be one thing, if it was a gourmet pizza from a high-end... Gourmet pizza. ...style Italian pizzeria... Now, that wouldn't be 20 bucks. Nah, it's Papa John's, a fast food thing. I shouldn't be paying $19 <laughs> for that damn pizza. Yeah, $100 for a fucking vest? $100? Too expensive. What? For a vest that I can buy for 10 bucks and then wear myself and not see a, a fat, ugly dude wear it who's fake Italian? So, 3.75 huh? out of 5 for the meatball. Okay. 4.25 out of 5 for the Italian specialty. All right. And the stuffed crust is delicious. The cheese is not fucking delicious. Polio string cheese actually has cheese flavor to it. It's good. Okay. Now, of course, what you guys want to know. What do I think about dipping pizza in ranch sauce? Everyone's freaking what? out. Yes, everyone I is freaking the fuck out. <laughs> with no meatball in it. We are freaking sauce. out. Okay. Freaking out. I'm losing my I mind here. This, thinking, really what, what, what is Phil thinking about dipping ranch in pizza? Actually, dipping pizza in ranch. That, that way uh, goes better. Yes. What does he think about it? Let's see the actual review. Opening the ranch. Let's see. This is he going to manage to open it? It's already open. Haha. <laughs> you got faked again. All right. Puts it very gently. He's a professional. No one else can put ranch like he does. What? So I put some ranch sauce down Dude, on the come plate. on. This was the you closer, the closer the music. Ranch sauce. I put it down on the plate. Play it itself again. In a ranch. This, I don't know. All right. This. Let's see. This, this is, is extreme content. Too hot good? for YouTube. Dipping pizza in ranch. How can this be good? Oh my god, here goes, you guys, here goes. The look of pain, the look of suffering. Oh no, it's like he tasted shit. Oh no. Huh? What? Okay. Oh my god, disgusting. <laughs> disgusting fucking, just look at him. <laughs> just looking him fucking chew this food. Is is? whoa, this played again, dude, what the fuck? Just looking at him is the stuff of fucking nightmares. And he's he's hamming it up so much because it's, it's fucking it's literally just ranch on pizza. That's all that it is.
That's all that it is. It's ranch on pizza. And this is what you get. Like a 10 year old child and you're looking at him to see his reaction and he's hamming it up to entertain you. Look at this. Eh. Eh. It's, it's ranchy and, and pizza-y. Tastes like pizza with the, with the ranch. And it's very tangy. Okay. Can we get the, the final verdict? Mix bag? Disappointing. Disappointing. It's like eating cat's food. Ladies and gentlemen, I think that's gonna do it. <laughs> I think that's gonna Heck, do heck, it heck. For this episode of DSP Tries, people are mad at me. Because they're saying I used light ranch. I don't. I. I People are mad at you because you're fucking hamming up basic shit such as putting fucking ranch on pizza to feel special. Well, all right. Fuck this. One more bite. One People more bite. Oh my god. Bite. Okay. He's being bucket. forced now. It's, this is forced. This is at gunpoint. Meatball in there. Okay. Meatball. Eat that fucking meatball. I'll get some meatball. Come on. Get some meat and a little bit of sauce. He's looking as as if he's in pain, man. Okay, anytime Yuck. now. Oh, yuck. All right, that's the review. And that's the end of this stream, everybody. Thank you so, so much for letting me in your home or in your phone for this uh, for this evening here, since it's evening where I'm at. Uh, enjoy the unreleased music by, by Lil Piggy, the Born Beggar song. It comes out maybe tomorrow after my stream. I'm going to premiere it. Not the, not the song, the whole EP, the whole three fucking songs, four songs. Uh, so yeah anyways watch this thanks everybody for the chill and thanks for having fun with me tomorrow is gonna be even more fun than than today it's gonna be even longer than today so make sure you're here or i will hunt you down and i'm coming for you and i'm gonna dox you publicly everywhere everywhere okay sound good now enjoy this and go listen to the song this song is now out I love it. It's now out. Go listen to it. Go spam it. Uh, yes, I'm going to be restreaming him live. We're going to be doing races with Santa. We're going to be doing uh, top moments of the year voted by chat. That's going to be a tournament bracket. We're going to be doing uh, other stuff as well. I was going to reveal this thing that you're looking at right now, but it's already revealed. So there you go. That's it. Tomorrow I'm just going to premiere it, I guess. So yeah, that's going to be it. And... Uh, Big ups and that's it. Yeah. Thanks. I'll listen to this. That is a business related. Can I still have it? It's WWE Champion time. Go, 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 go. It's the money, stupid fuck. I love it. Go, 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 go. I eat it. Hell. It's been tough. I always think that it's my fault. Drinking gin. Yep, I'm toxic. I love Hulk Hogan's dick. My ass is so fucking stretched. Oh no, you did it, you motherfucking piece of shit cocksucker. Mark my fucking words. I'm coming for you. For now. Go, 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 go. Be here tomorrow, or I'm gonna destroy your face with a pistol grip, dude. I swear. <laughs> okay, sound good? <laughs> Alright. I'm signing off. I'm clocking out. Pieces of dumb fucking shameful slurs. Why am I toxic? I love it. Hey, Mr. Brunel, you there? I am present. I understand. He's claiming that he's got $5,000 a month in expenses and only $5,000 a month in income and nets about $35. Um, it's Kevin's fault. The topic I want to discuss is depression. Depression is not a joke. It's not something to be joked about. With. Depression is not a joke. You are not a horrible person because you have this. It's not your fault. There's still this back here. 
and it's still in the back of my neck, the back of my head, the back of my mind, and it's always telling me. It's WWE Champions time. It's been tough. Um, over the last decade. Yeah. It's been tough. The company's name is Burnell Productions. It is internet content creation of on demand and also hey, by to this. video streaming services. Big up to your dad. I'm the one. I gave myself a shout out by DSP. Please tip me. <laughs> I'm the one who operated a successful YouTube channel. Because I have bills coming up. Please pay my bills. I'm nervous. Draft for cash. You better take a sale, sale, sale. Please pay my bills. I'm nervous. Draft for cash. Get a real fucking job. I'm the one who operated a successful YouTube channel. Please tip me. I'm the one who operated a successful YouTube channel. Because I have bills coming up. They fucked me again, left and right, and my ass is so fucking stretched out at this point. It's time to push back. It's time to push back. I'm the one who operated a successful YouTube channel. Please tip me. I'm the one who operated a successful YouTube channel. Because I have bills coming up. I've never, ever used a hateful slur. Ever. And that pisses me off. Oh, oh my I'm God. It's so some awesome. Come on. Bill's a nigger. You better take a sale, 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 sale. I've never used any hateful slurs, and that pisses me off. Hello? For now?